Hello everybody, welcome to a midnight edition of Genshin, because yes, uh, hi, uh, uh, I'm tired, I just woke up from sleep, and it's great, sleep is cool, oh my gosh. <coughs> so, it is time to do stuff, uh, actually I gotta do some stuff before the day ends, because I literally just left this for the stream because I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be streaming while the commissions are still up, so I guess I don't need to finish them right now. So I left like one left, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. But, um, uh, hi everyone, hope you're all doing good. Yo, 2am, I know, right, Bulborb7? How are you, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, so early. So gosh dang early. You know, as I've said before, I got, uh, my dad wants, is gonna pick me up to go see my grandparents at 11 a.m. So, that basically meant I could not do the stream at the original time I wanted to start at, so... Some plans have changed. Plans have definitely, absolutely changed. Kind of out of necessity, really. As, as that happens sometimes, you know. My dad yesterday was like, let's go bowling at 5.30, literally just kind of like last second. I'm like, bro, like, you gotta give me some heads up. My dad is like the master of not giving me any heads up on plans. Like if I knew, if I knew even about this plan with my grandparents, like maybe more than two days ahead of time, maybe I could have freaking planned this out better. I could have been like, oh, okay, maybe I don't do the Persona 5 stream on Friday. Maybe I do it on Thursday instead. And then I just get to bed earlier on Friday, stream earlier on Saturday, and go get, like, more rest for this today. But, you know, that, that didn't work. What am I doing? Oh, over there. Hello. Why are you still up, Thomas? I'm going to ask anyway just because yes. How are you, man? Good morning. Always a good morning, no doubt about it. Mm, there we go. That's done. All right, now my commissions are done because that was my last one. Now I can go claim the rewards. Also, I think I had a thing at the Adventurers Guild too. That was kind of holding off on. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to switch Candace out. I have Candace rank ten. I just got her literally rank ten uh, today, yesterday, I guess technically now. See, there she is, rank 10, boom. Candice Grey Heron obtained, done and done. Now it's time to switch to another character what for this you? team again. You got a view indeed. You got a view, you got a view. If you got a view, you got a view. Mm -hmm. Oh, not Sag. Don't be Sag, it's okay. Everything is fine. I have six, I'm sorry, seven characters I don't have, well, seven characters in plus these three, so ten characters total, I guess. Still gotta get the friendship rank ten. Alright, who should I do this time? This is also a rare appearance of Bulbor in a Genshin Impact stream because of Genshin Impact. Oh, I know, cringe game, very cringe game indeed, I, I agree with that. Um, uh, hey, Bulbor of Seven, since you are here right now in this Genshin Impact stream, who would you like to see me reach r friendship rank 10 with? Would you like to see me do this with Beto, Kujo, Sara, Dory? I seem to have something against Electro characters, apparently. <laughs> Razor or Rosaria? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do... I'm not, I'm not doing Diona. I'm not doing Ale yet. They'll, they'll, those will be later. They're my highest level character still available. Which which one looks better to you? Her, 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 or him? Make a choice based on luck. Ah, dang it, Thomas. Who do you think I should do? You, you'll be my lucky choice then. In that case, <laughs> also known as an RNG generator. But why? Oh man, Razor looks cool. I'll scout ahead. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let Thomas be my RNG generator then. I think that's only fair. Wait, when's the Spiral Abyss reset? 
three days. I always feel like I stream Genshin like a couple days before the freaking Spiral Abyss resets. Happens every time. Oh, this is not voice acted. Okay, I always every when I had this come up, I played it on mute and it looked cutsceney. So I thought maybe she'd say something, but I, I guess it's not anything. Wow, Jet's letter. That's so cool. All right. I just want to claim my commissions now. That would be really cool indeed. That would be freaking really great indeed. <coughs> By the way, I, I must say right now, Redly is in the voice chat with me right now, but I, I don't know how long he's been there. And at the same time, like, I think he's probably asleep. Probably asleep, honestly. I'm probably going to wake him up. Unless, for some reason, he just can't hear me at all, which would be thing, but I don't know. The Dirge of Bilk Bilkis. What the frick is that? What did I just start? Thank you for coming. Man, I'm so confused. That clearly was not an important quest, though. There was no voice acting. There we go. All done, all done. I don't know, I, I mean, Razor's alright. He's definitely like one of those four star characters that people would use early in the game if they got him. Because he is kind of like a good early game character, so. I, I never used him though, obviously, which is why he's level, what, 20, 40, something like that. <coughs> it would be hilarious if you accidentally wake him up. I know, I, when I, I came into the voice chat before starting the stream, I'm like, hello? Are you there? Is he, is he there? I, I even pinged him too. I'm like, and you, you're, you, how long you been there? I'm like, I, I don't know. Paying attention. I, I don't know anything, man. I don't know anything. You know, I'm going to try to just hold myself off on this because it says increase the level cap of the Tree of Dreams. I don't know how much I got for this tree, but I'm going to hold this off until, well, until my main comes. When my main is here, my main is here, and that will be great. Game cards. Oh my gosh. No, it's just a VC with like, um, because you know, this was, um, this was once a tier four stream, so it's just kind of like, you know how I let people who tier four the game into the stream, and then if they want to let anyone else in, I let them in too. That's, that's kind of what's going on here with this, with this playthrough, you know? The truth of this world. I just let people in that. What could it be? I don't know. Are approved, I guess, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, yeah, it's it's fun though. It's fun. <coughs> anyway, I I need to not fly around like an idiot. I need to actually uh, I need to do something. That's what I need to do. I need to go to uh, the Archon quest or the. The Lantern Rite quest, whatever this is called this year. It's definitely... Oh, yeah, we're doing this today, too. We're doing um, all Haytham's story quest starts. That's, that's what we're doing today. So that'll be pretty cool. I I don't want to take the Hobbits to I, uh, Isengard, though. I really don't want to do that. You can't, you can't make me, man. <laughs> Hi, Pichu. How are you? Hope you're doing good this morning. I need to switch my team. That's what I need to do. No, I also need to go to the teapot. I need to do, like, everything. I need to make sure everything in this game is done today. Like, that way I'll never need to play this game again. Just kidding, because obviously it'll be another update and I need to play the game again, right? Map. Open map. There we go. Go to pot. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna, like... I have... Everybody has thoughts to share except for Candace. Well, I guess that's good, because she's ranked 10, so... Yeah, yeah, all right. We'll talk to literally everybody except for Candace, son. That makes sense to me. All right, hello, Albedo. How's it going? Hello. I heard the sound of footsteps from afar. Wow, you did. Is there anything you like to do? <laughs> Where should I begin? In your company, I never lack inspiration. For drawing? It's good for both drawing and experiments. And not just for these, but for many other things. Speaking of which, I used to think interaction with others was a waste of time. But after meeting you, I 
I'd rather spend my time on you than other matters. This is a unique anomaly. I think I likely know the reason why. So, can you also give me more of your time? I'll accompany you while you sketch. Thank you. Then today's subject will you be you and your realm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, after we're done, may I have the pleasure of inviting you to dessert with me to continue our time together and to thank you for your company. I know, right? Imagine being named Candace. <laughs> Uh, you're doing good. You finished watching the first Lord of the Rings movie with the same people we watched Cast in the Sky with. It was fun. That sounds nice, anyway. That definitely sounds nice. They made a joke about how the next movie we watch should be Uru and Ramono, stating that it's a visual novel, which is basically the same thing. Mm, I, I, would, I wouldn't really say it's the same thing, honestly. But, eh. Well, hello there, my dear partner. Remember, if you ever find yourself caught up, I'm never caught up. I don't know what you're talking about. Anything you want to do? I was just about to head out for a bit. Care to join me, my dear partner? But the trip might be a little inconvenient. First, we'll have to go into town and buy a few things we'll need. After that, we'll head out of town for a while, and we'll likely need to return to the police station again before the day's through. Are you going to arrest a criminal? Excellent question. But naturally, the answer is no. I'll leave that task of apprehending criminals to colleagues who specialize in that kind of thing. Actually, I was thinking of visiting the relatives of some convicted criminals. Some of them are elderly folks, some of them are just kids. It was my conclusive evidence that landed their relatives in prison. If it wasn't for me, then they wouldn't be left all on their own now. Wow, you really care a lot for them. Yes, of course. It's Detective Hazo's duty to establish the truth. But once the case is solved, the criminal's family are the ones who will face public ridicule and discrimination. Of course, it is my hope that they can move on from the events of the case sooner rather than later and just continue on with their lives. After all, speaking just as plain old Hazo here, I'm a firm believer in helping those in need and being kind to other people. Uh, the difference is, Pichu, that uh, Udawe Ramono is not just a visual novel. It does have gameplay. And on top of that, the game is like, it's like 50 hours long. A movie is generally like two to three hours long. So I, I don't think you can really compare the two, honestly. Not to mention there's no voice acting except for the Japanese dub that's in there. And... I mean, honestly, do you want to read? Do you want to read a Japanese dub for 50 straight hours? <laughs> no, I don't know, man. You fall asleep eventually. Who plays a video game for the graphics? Crazy people. I mean, if the game has good physics too. I mean, if it's not just like good graphics, but also good physics, that's always fun to play. I'm gonna pay them visit with some gifts, or were you just gonna leave them stuff on the doorstep? <laughs> As my partner, I knew you'd catch on. You're already thinking a step ahead before I've explained anything. But the way we understand each other, it'd be a waste of time to elaborate. Anyway, we'll leave once you're ready. My intuition tells me that with you coming along, this will be the smoothest and most enjoyable trip yet. I mean, it was way more than every five hours last time, if you forgot. The second game and the third game are not the same. There's much more gameplay in the third game. Oh, right. I got I got to talk to this guy. I, I don't like Tainari. I, I just don't like him. I, I really don't like him. Hello there. <laughs> I can hear you coming from... Anyway, uh, is there anything you'd like to do? Me? Just thinking about some recent tasks that need to be completed. Who goes to the gym this to week, use the to venting some machine? And record their results at parties TI. Thomas, that's it's sus. It's also about time to draw up the next patrol schedule for the Rangers. Nothing especially urgent, though, so this can all wait. So, uh, anything in particular you want to do? He doesn't have a hoodie. Oh, wait. Yeah, he does. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Nope. Oh. So then, why did you ask? All right, I'll go ahead. Nope, too, too late, Thomas. You already were sus. <laughs> do you want to rub my ears? 
No, I don't want to rub your ears. Holy freaking crud. Get no, stop. No. Oh my gosh. Turn this back to me. Uh don't blame me. I gave you the opportunity to go first. Actually, uh I don't really mind if someone I'm close to rubs my ears. Oh my know? gosh, no, Tynar, I don't sure like why, you. I don't want to rub your ears. Everyone seems to think that it would make me angry. Over time, do not discuss ears or tails in Tainari's presence became something of an unspoken rule. It could sometimes be quite amusing to watch people's faces as they stumble over their words. Uh, it's probably for the best anyway. It might get irritating if people I barely knew started coming up to me and getting all touchy-feely. They're saying that I can. Of course. They might not feel as nice as you're imagining, though. They honestly just feel like any regular cats or dogs. Well, I'll be the judge of that. So about your tail. I give you an inch, so you take a mile? Okay, fine. As long as you're happy. I'd be willing to take hundreds of group photos with you. So a pet or three is nothing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he has a tail too, see? Tail, whoa. Anyway, Candace. There we go. Put a pillar behind her. Because we can. Hello. If you'd like to speak with me, then you'll have to cough up some Mora first. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you'd react, that's all. How do you like it here? <clears throat> well, even though it's nothing compared to the palace of Alcazar's array. How would you take that I out of context? I suppose it could suffice as my backup base. It'll do. It'll do, come on, it's gotta be better than that. How do you take it from it'll do to it's amazing? Oh? You mean... You mean what'll it take for it to beat the palace of Alcazar's array as my primary base? Wow, good to see my young apprentice show some ambition for once. Mm, really, ambition. I'm impressed. But if the knowledgeable Lord Sangama Bay is to serve as a renovation consultant for this place, you'll need some Mora. A lot of Mora. No rush, though. I'm sure you'll save enough Mora someday. <laughs> I suppose I might stay here a little longer now that there's an opportunity to earn big mora. <laughs> Hi, Zim. It's because Thomas asked if he had a tail too, so I was just showing him the, the tail. <laughs> this convenient timing, I guess. Hey, look who it is. Whoa, it's Beto. Are still holding you up then? I can't believe it's Beto. That's crazy. Would you like to have a chat with me? Sure, I'm down to chat about anything. Well, you must be a little weary of hearing about my sea travels from all the stories people tell. <laughs> Let's change it up. Tell me about your adventures. Um, I fought a dragon once. Was some in fight fighting militarals. Oh, nice. How big was it? Probably bigger than your ship. <laughs> Incredible. So, I fought a sea dragon and you fought a sky dragon. Oh, if we went adventuring together, we'd be invincible. I know, right? Going to the library to socialize. That'd be funny. <laughs> this was a great chat. And now, a toast. Cheers! Hi, Esteban. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Why is Kale even here, actually? How have you been recently? If you ever feel unwell. Is there anything you'd like to do? Actually, I was wondering about inviting you to go camping with me. My mood's been pretty good these past few days, and I just finished an exam. Master Tainari says I should take some time to relax. We should find a nice wide open place to enjoy the scenery, and bring some ingredients to cook over the campfire. When are we leaving? Shall I get ready? Um, I was thinking maybe we could leave today. Today? Um, Actually, I only handed in my exam paper so far. Master Tainari said he'll mark you when he's got a spare moment. But if I don't get a good mark, I'll have to start revising again right away. And you said you were up for it, so I didn't want to let this opportunity go by. Then again, now that I think about it, even though we could find some ingredients on the grounds, 
We'll need some time to think of a good location. And if we're going out into the wild, there's a whole lot of other things we need to prepare for, too. Oh, we go camping here. Huh? Here? Actually, yeah! I never thought of that! Plenty of open space, a great view, and no danger. Consider it the trial run before we go camping for real. Alright! Oh, this is such a good idea! You're so good at this kind of thing. Uh, wait! Are you we're sure Tubby won't mind? We were assuming we needed just to fall asleep. Oh man. That'd be a thing. So yeah, you gotta wake up in six hours, you said. Oh man. Yeah, I only slept like four hours before even doing this stream myself. It was it was great. <coughs> oh man, I can I can thank the plans of my dad for that. Like, oh yeah. Like, uh, we'll go see grandparents at 11 o'clock. I'll pick you up at 11. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, fine. I actually woke up a little later than I wanted to and started a little later than I wanted to. But I'm hoping within 11 hours I can just, you know, finish everything. I hope. I hope. I really hope so. If not, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> oh, man. Then I'll probably have to stream some more on Monday, I guess. Just to get it finished. Uh, let's see who to throw in that I haven't. Okay, Rosaria. Wait. No, I'm using Razor, right? So if I'm using Razor, I should actually throw. Because I don't have Razor, I believe. There you are. That makes sense. That makes sense. Save changes. Hello, Razor. Hello. Hi. Looking. I am looking for you. Oh, I already talked to him apparently. Okay, cool. If you can't sleep, you don't want to. Who? I read that already. Uh, cough, cough, as he cough, cough. Wait, 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 wait. Did she fall asleep in a movie theater? Are you serious? Is that what I'm supposed to take out of that comment right there? Oh man, rip Candace indeed. I can totally do whatever I want. No, I'm kidding. Nah, nah, nah. Your Yao Yao is close to level 90, so you just got no books. This realm. Wah, wah, wah. That's unfortunate. If you ever have All right, this hey, Holly was level seven though. Jeez Louise, I don't even use her, and she's level seven already. All right, so that's done. Now we just gotta start up, I guess, the lantern right quest because yes. Are you guys ready for this? Let's let's start this thing up. Oh, do 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 do. Hi, Wolfie. I, I mean, I woke, like I said, I slept four hours. I woke up just a little bit ago to stream today. My dad's going to pick me up to go to my grandparents at 11 a.m. Otherwise, I would have started this much later in the morning, not midnight. I mean, honestly, this is, this is an hour later than I want to start. I want to start at 11 a or p.m., but that didn't really happen. <coughs> eh, race is all right once oh shoot yeah I can't I can't say I've ever done that honestly may I ask you to see my teapot or no um oh frick well uh, not right now since I got a cutscene I gotta go through <laughs> uh never you've never done that before seen it happen before sure it happens all the time why is a higher level than Zhao. Whoops. Wow, send a cat over. That sounds pretty cool too. Who goes to sleep just to dream? I mean, I think some people do, don't they? <laughs> Sometimes dreams are nice. Mm, find the cat, you just cuddle it so it wouldn't make you sleep. Kratos, um, cutscene. <laughs> Truth. Huh? Young Lee? What a pleasant surprise meeting you here! Oh? 
Why, the pleasure is all mine, as is the surprise, surely. It must be fate that brings us together in this place. How have you fared as of late? Yeah, sadly I do forget most of my dreams, but you know, like, even if you forget it though, you know, you sometimes will at least know that you had a nice dream, you just can't remember all the details about it, but... Still, it's like, it's nice to have good dreams, though. I feel. Everything's been going great. Things have been going alright. Everything's been going great! I sense you are older and wiser than the last time we met. It seems your travels continue to yield valuable insights. Thank you, Zhongli. You are too kind. So, Zhongli, are you here to listen to stories over tea again? I had originally planned to set out after this last round of tea. However... However? I had planned to take a walk to Chingsa village and gather some nascent bamboo shoots, which are currently in season. A villager there once gave me a small sample, and they possessed a most excellent flavor. Huh? Nascent bamboo shoots? Why can't you just use normal bamboo shoots instead? Wait, Paimon knows! Because Zhongli prefers the finer things in life, right? Okay, Mr. Particular, let me guess! Ahem. <clears throat> The nascent bamboo shoot has a uniquely tender texture and a delicate sweet taste that its normal cousin cannot match. <laughs> An astute observation, Paimon. You know me well indeed. Lantern Rite is almost upon us, but besides the bamboo shoots, there are a few other items I have not yet procured from Director Hu's list. May I ask if you have already made arrangements for the days ahead? Opportunity to say hi to some of our friends, but before we were able to figure out a schedule, we ran into you. Well then, might I invite you to imagine the sheer delight that is a soup cooked with the freshest nascent bamboo shoots in all the land. Generous cuts of pork belly and crisp, fragrant bamboo shoots placed together in the pot and left to simmer slowly for half a day. I've never had anything like it. I'm already drooling. I mean, what? <coughs> yeah, I'm sure it's different, too. Well, I mean, it is different, because I had new characters in the last time, so. But, um, yeah. I don't know. It's so dumb. Like, everyone misses the freaking events. Like, oh, yeah, I, I missed the first one, because I, I started as it was happening, and I never really got around to it, so. But, because it took me, like, a month to get... Like, I played it... In February 2021, I didn't get really back to it until March 2021. By that point, I was already too late, so I was like, oops, I missed it. Your friend were in a scene together on our own world. We couldn't stop laughing at something we saw. Oh. I see, I see. Uh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Hyman's on to your plan. You just want to hoodwink us into fetching your bamboo for you. I would love to. Why, I assure you, I would do no such thing. I merely wish to inform you of the freshest, most succulent and flavorful bamboo shoots one could ever hope to taste. You... Ugh. Let's go, Traveler. Hyman's taste buds can't take it anymore. I'm ready to go when you are. Collecting a few bamboo shoots shouldn't take too long. Hyman has got to get her hands on some of that soup. Such fine specimens are indeed well worth the excursion. Very well. I shall leave the bamboo shoots to you. Should you have the good fortune to find some, please share them with me as well. Yay, I'm fired. Let's go. Time I knew he was just bamboozling us. However, there is no need to rush. The streets of Lear will be bustling with visitors and filled with all manner of celebrations during the festive period. By all means, go wherever your interests lead you. The nascent bamboo shoots would be but a wonderful final touch to a most exceptional feast. What an honor it would be to savor them in the company of friends. I'll savor in the company of friends so I can sue you! I mean, what? <laughs> a wooga! Oh, dang. <coughs> 
Yes, indeed, Pichu, indeed. <laughs> we will check in with you later at Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. I'm sorry, why are we checking in a funeral freaking parlor? We're heading out. Enjoy your walk, Young Lee. Young Lee's gonna die, so we'll check in with <laughs> him at the funeral care, parlor Yang later. Yang. Sup, what? Oh, oh, wait. Um, frick, it's. It's Pichu Gaming, but with a Japanese name, I believe. Because I remember seeing your comment change to Japanese, and I was like, wait a second, who is this again? Oh, yeah, it's this person. Yeah, I, I realized that. I, I saw it before, beforehand, so... I'm, I'm on to you, man. I'm on to you. How are you? How are you? What the heck does your new name mean? <coughs> it's to die for. It's your game, but anime. Good. Heck yeah. Crumble. <laughs> scared the dog. I'm a scared dog. Scared dog. Oh no, I scared the dog. Arf, 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 arf. Anyway, uh, that's not what a dog sounds like. They don't go arf, 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 arf. Whoa, they make me go far. Oh, bamboo shoots, man. PC broke. Bamboo shoot. Nascent bamboo shoot. Oh, this one's only just sprouted, and it looks super fresh. Paimon thinks this is the one. Uh, oh, not that one. Oh, they're on the ground. Okay, I see. <coughs> Man, imagine just grabbing bamboo segments. Alright, alright, we got this. We totally got this. It's it's eight. AR fifty five is max war level. A short and slender figure, something, something, something. I use your phone to get a new one. The wrong pipe? Whoopsie. It <coughs> doesn't sound how I expected it to sound, honestly. I think I'm okay now. Thank you so much. Enough is never enough, Paimon. That was scary. <laughs> well, at least you're all right. All thanks to your savior here. Oh, I I realize that's not how bamboo go? shoots work, unfortunately. Greetings, everyone. My name is Yao Yao. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoa, he's so well mannered. My name's Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh, nice! You sacrificed Ito. Good job. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. I came through Stone Gate, intending to head towards Liu Yue Fontaine, Harbor. Fontaine, man. But then I became captivated by the beautiful scenery, and before long, I was completely lost. Just now, I was so mesmerized by the waterfall that I slipped and fell into the water. If it weren't for Miss Yao Yao's help, I shudder to think what might have happened. It's all right, Mr. Dvorak. The splashing around the bottom of the waterfall means the stone path is always wet and slippy. You definitely have to be careful. Next time you're exploring an unfamiliar environment, try to focus on what's right in front of you. Don't let your mind wander. As long as you watch your step. Accidents like this won't happen They anymore. literally have the same personalities, yes, Em. I understand. I'll remember to be more careful next time. Oh, are you hungry, sir? Oh, uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> Please, sir, it's quite all right. I was born and raised here in Liyue. It's only natural for me to extend my hospitality to any guests who are passing through. I expect you still have quite a long they, journey They're the of same you. person. It's very I, I, important to keep your energy levels up. They're the same voice actor, but they're also the same person, too. So, I mean, eh. I still have some lotus flower crisps left in my backpack. Why don't we split them between the four of us? In my opinion, they're the same person. Uh, she even has some for Paimon! <laughs> You're welcome! I know they're not in the same game, but they're so the same person. 
If only there were more. What did you find at your door? More? You already had the Sumter Beast share. Having a healthy appetite is a good thing. It means Paimon's still growing. If I'd known I was gonna run into you, I would have made a second batch. Hope you're taking notes, Traveler. This is how you treat your Paimon. What do you think, sir? Dang. Are Leeway's snacks to your taste? I wonder if they're not sweet enough. No, no, they're perfect. When I was traveling through Mondstadt, I had a chance to try one of their moon pies. It had a meat filling unlike these crisps. But apart from that, it seems like they follow a similar cooking process. Both are delicious in their own way. As for Fontaine's cooking, though, uh, it's been a long time since I've had a taste of home. I'd change my traveler if it mattered. On a box full of beans it's outside your door. What? I'm one of the main organizers of the Iridescence Tour. But how? Iridescence Tour? That sounds somewhat familiar. It doesn't ring a bell. The Iridescence Tour is one of the biggest music festivals in Fontaine. We're looking to expand, though. Our aim is to hold a festival in every nation. At least, all the main organizers share this goal. Unfortunately... <sighs> It's a long story, so I'll spare you the details. But anyway, so the main reason I'm traveling all around to VAD is to promote our music festivals. But I have some personal reasons, too. Well, Count the ready. cans. Just tell us already. And then kick the Let can once you're done. Well, to explain it in full, I'd have to start with a story from my ancestors. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Oh, I love listening to stories. Honestly, I just started using my Traveler on Geo just because, honestly, that was probably the most convenient due to its, like, Geo structures, but, eh. Pretty nice if you don't have Zhongli. You can just be like, I make a Geo structure and I just stand on this one. I need to make a platform. Mm-hmm. We want to hear it, too. Okay. Then I'll start from the beginning. The story goes that my ancestor, who was also a Traveler once slipped and fell into a lake during his travels. As he was sinking and gasping for breath, he heard a wondrous tune in the air. They say it was the most beautiful, moving melody he had ever heard. Even in that life and death moment, the ethereal music seized his full attention and almost made him forget the fact that he was drowning. When he finally came to, he found that he had already been brought ashore. Not too far from him stood an unfamiliar woman with an almost divine aura. Once she saw that he was no longer in danger, she left without a word. My ancestor tried to run after her to give his thanks, but although a mere dozen paces separated them, no matter how quickly he gave chase, Dang, he drew two cans no closer of noodles and remained a dozen paces behind. In the end, all he could do was to bow in thanks to the woman as he watched her walk away towards the rivers and mountains in the distance. Before at last, he turned around and made his way home. Once he returned to Fontaine, he began to learn an instrument so that he could spread his story far and wide, just like the Bards. After generations of retelling, embellishing, and dramatizing, people have come to think of that lady as something like a fairy. The story's become something of a local legend in Fontaine. It's called The Lady Overlooking the Lake. People now say that if you go down to the lakeside and play an instrument, so long as you play a pleasing melody, you will hear a fairy lady who is hiding out of sight, playing along with you. Wow! That's a nice legend. Ah, uh, at its heart, it's a true story. Exactly. It may just be a legend to others, but for me, it's a real part of my family history. I wanted to find out the truth of this tale. So I decided to retrace my ancestors' steps and search for that lady's modern-day descendants. Of course, there's no way of knowing where my ancestor fell into the lake all those years ago. So I always knew that the search would be akin to looking for a needle in a haystack. I've spent many years on the road now, and I'm nowhere near as fit as I was in my youth. <sighs> the wish that I've spent half my life chasing after has now become something of an obsession. I haven't lived half of my life yet, but still, I understand how you must feel. Paimon too! 
It's like... Mm, imagine if you saved the center of a lotus flower, Chris. Which is the best part, by the way. Because you wanted to eat it another day. But then suddenly, sploosh! It falls into the water, never to be seen again! Sploosh! I know, we definitely remember that for the rest of our Kaboom. lives. Kaboom! <laughs> There's no need to feel sorry for me. I've made some progress over the years. For example, I've concluded that the story must have taken place in Liyue. Oh, so you finally found a lead? Yes, uh, I got no fact, idea what your profile picture is from, actually. Hello? I'd always known that Hello. Monsta is the city of song and freedom. You're very quiet, but, more recently, but hold on. I heard that the animal Archon returned to Mondstadt for a festival in the fall, and learned that he himself is a patron deity of music. So I prayed for the Animal Archon's guidance oh, in the yeah, Mondstadt Cathedral. Yeah, yeah, I and as can't soon as I set foot well. <laughs> back outside the front gate, yeah, I, don't know what's I noticed a mic. cluster of leaves being blown in the wind. I put you up to 200% for west, now. <laughs> a friendly local I'm going to just instantly regret it later when you're randomly loud leaves. again. <laughs> so I followed their advice and this made my good, way uh, here. Lantern right, by the way. I mean, I only got one other one to compare it to, to be fair, so... <laughs> I didn't yeah, miss the first one. Wait, wait, was the first one like the worst? The second one was better, and this is the best one. I'd say so. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, I would hope it would get better with each year. <laughs> yeah. Right. You get it. I knew I'd find someone that agrees with me eventually. No, that is definitely not Lauren in the voice chat. That is uh, that is Phil. <laughs> Yeah. Legends told by those treasure hoarder guys to scam gullible grannies from Jinsa Village. Rex Lapis has returned to the world. Just give me some incense and a little mora towards the travel fees, and I will pass your gift on to the Lord of Geo and ask him to keep you and your family safe and well. All right, I'll go talk to Zhongli so right now. And so on. Don't worry, Yao Yao. We, uh, we have a lot of experience with deciphering omens and stuff. And anyway, you only got scammed if you handed over Mora, right? Actually, to express my gratitude, I did spend rather a lot of Mora on several bottles of fine wine, which I left at the Statues of the Seven along the way. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. Well, how about this, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't I bring you all to Yujing Terrace to see Miss Ganyu? I don't know very many people, so I can't help you out much. But Miss Ganyu and the Qixing know just about everything. If you've been scammed, they'll help you get oh, your Mora fuck. back. Oh, sorry, and sorry. And if they're <laughs> telling the truth, and you want to keep looking for that lady's family, they'll be the best people to ask. I was out of nowhere. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I got a nade thrown at me. I mean, oh, I wait, what are you playing? Cyberpunk. Oh. Dang, did they, they fix all the bugs yet? <laughs> yeah. Did they really? Oh, dang. Actually, yeah. <coughs> Light bulb, controller, knife. Oh, no. But you've already helped me so much. Well, I was going to take some new medicinal herbs and plants I picked to misc on you anyway, so it's no trouble at all. You know what? It's been a minute since we <laughs> saw Ganyu, too. It should be nice to pay her a visit before Lantern, right? Let's get moving. All right. Well, my sincere thanks to you all. I will never forget your kindness. Okay, everyone. Please follow me. <laughs> I'll be your guide. Remember to watch where you're going, okay? Uh-oh. Paimon's out of a job. Eh, oh, well. Paimon will just be a cheerleader instead. Oh, well, Paimon. You weren't getting paid for this job anyway. You'll be fine. Still, you want to know how many um, how many uh, primos I got right now? How many? Is it like almost uh, eighteen thousand? Okay, I was gonna say fifteen k. Twenty <laughs> fates on top of that. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I did not even notice that. So yeah, I'm I'm ready for when Eula has her rerun. I got I'll hate them, like you know, pretty early. Did you? And I made, yeah, like twenty to fifty. Oh, nice. And um, 
I decided to do the very good, I mean bad, idea of uh, spending a fat 60 trying to get his weapon and instead I get, um, Lost Or, no, uh, Skyward Atlas. Yeah. Oh, that's a rip. Yeah, I don't even use Kree, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I don't use any Catalyst characters either, so mine would be kind of wasted on me if I got that. I mean, I do have Nahida, and she's supposed to be, like, really, like, meta-defining, but I have not played seriously in, like, a long time, so I'll probably just put it on her. And I don't still know don't know how Dendro characters work, so I just wouldn't be able to use her right at all. Yeah, I have uh, Sack Frags on her right now, though, so... <coughs> I mean, that's fair. I think she runs off of Elemental Mastery, so... Yeah. That's definitely fair. You got 2,096 primos and 10 fates. Dang. Hold on to those 10 fates, I see. Why not even hop up here? Like, I'm just gonna hop on to this for no reason. Alright. Down we go. No! Oh, the pillar would have just been the background. Ah, Liyue Harbor looks very different from when I came last. It's almost as if I'm listening to the same melody, but with a richer timbre and new variations added. I'll well, see you later, man. Have a good one. Lanterite, after all. It only comes once a year, so they always have a big celebration. It's fair to say that this time of year is when Liyue Harbor looks the prettiest. Great. Let's go and check it out. I don't know I why I read that as see it all up close for myself. I read that as I don't know who to pull for other than Futaba. <laughs> I don't I don't know why I read that. Oh my gosh. They're just gonna add all they just should add all the persona characters into Genshin as crossover characters. That'd be cool. Every the member of the Phantom Thieves will be their own element. Smiles and laughter everywhere <coughs> I look. It's contagious. I can almost feel the music in the air. I have the urge to start waving my conductor's baton. <laughs> I'm glad that you're enjoying the city. Mmm, the city. Very nice. Do, 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 do. I mean, Zhongli is pretty meta-defying. I would... I would Hi, everyone. Defining. I'd recommend it. Here. What a nice surprise. Hello, Shenyan. Let me introduce some new friends. They are... Traveler Paimon and Mr. Dvorak, right? <laughs> I've known them all for quite a while. I can't believe Redley uh, divorced Shenyan for Yoimiya. I know, that's wild. <laughs> I, I did not expect to advertise a Lee West stop Mr. for the Purple iridescence tour. Shenyan was one of the few people willing to give me the time of day. Uh, I, that felt out of nowhere, honestly. Feels like I've been chasing this iridescence tour bandwagon halfway around the world, but I keep getting stood up. What's going on, Mr. Dvorak? Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Shinyan. We've had a string of terrible luck recently, and every time we've tried to put on a show, something or other has come up to stop our plans from materializing. <laughs> Is that right? Hmm, I guess it can't be helped. So, what brings you to Leeway Harbor at this time of year, anyway? Thinking of putting on a music festival during the Lantern Rite celebrations? A lantern oh, speaking of Redley. <laughs> no, uh, oh, his nose is I'm cold. That's sad. Personal business well, this go. time. Oh, so no Lantern Rite music festival? I mean, that's not Imagine just a Lantern Rite without a music Hosting festival. A music festival takes a lot of funding and personnel. Moreover, I've never worked with the Leeway authorities before. Even if I were to start putting something together right now, I think it'd be too rushed. Wait, but we're going to meet the Liyue Qixing, aren't we? And they're the ones in charge. Uh-huh, that's right. Miss Kuching and Miss Ningguang can make anything happen. You mean... Because they're gods, that's what? why they can make anything happen. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity! Well, sure, it might not work out, but it can't hurt to bring it up as a suggestion. Well, I guess we shouldn't... Be a huge hit. That's the spirit! See, even the traveler agrees with me. Mr. Dvorak, 
don't let yourself be put off by the fact that a few things haven't worked out Dude, recently. Dude, my eye hurts right now. <laughs> As for the performers, I can put you in touch with some local artists. Yeah, I think so. My friend like Yunji really is a well-known opera right singer in Liyue. With her support and a commissioned song from the Yunhan Opera Troupe, we should be able to get something going. <laughs> well, what about you, Shinya? Are you just <laughs> going to sleep this one out? All right, Zim, get some good sleep. <laughs> See you later. Before. If we actually manage to make the iridescence tour Lantern Rock Grand Concert a reality, you think I'd let anyone else perform the opening act? Wow! There's that rock and roll spirit! <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Dvorak? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. But the opening act is not something to be chosen lightly, Shinyan. I will judge your work by the strictest of standards, so please make sure you are fully prepared. All right, well, if you also get some good sleep. I thought you'd never ask. Whew, guess my shopping time's getting cut short. I'm gonna head back right away and start working on this. Yao Yao, if you run into your senior on the way to the Chisheng, please send her my regards. Okay, I promise I will. Good luck with your music, Shinyan. You got this, Shinyan. So about the senior of yours Shinya mentioned just now. Is that anyone we know? Yes, it's Shangling. She's mentioned you two before. Shangling's always thinking about cooking. Whenever she gets scrapes or burns, she just leaves them to heal by themselves. She definitely needs someone around her to look after her. I know you must have looked out for her a lot too in the time you've known her. So, thank you for that. I didn't take Zhongling as the, the clumsy type, but... Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Holding on. <laughs> Wait, why is this line going to the wall? That oh whoa! Wait. That oh, was strange. Oh, Master, is it okay if I go and say hi to her? Oh, it's her. I mean, I guess oh, she's everyone's oh, master. Yeah, now, dear. Oh. Not about to run off anywhere. Not a okay. bundle of energy. No, Yaya's like you. voice actor sounded like um Christine Marie Cavanos. Really? I got really confused. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't she voice someone in this game already? I don't know. I have to double check. Yeah, me too. I haven't seen you in days, Master. I've missed you. Oh, bless you, Yao Yao. You do say the sweetest things. Ah, look who it is. Visiting friends during the lantern, right, are we? Greetings, Madam Ping. You're half right, Madam No, she Ping. doesn't, I guess. We were all no? Huh. I thought she did. I thought she did too, honestly. Uh, hello, ma'am. I am a musician from Fontaine and an organizer of the Iridescence Tour. I don't suppose you've heard of it. Master, Master! The Iridescence Tour is a super famous music festival! <laughs> an old lady like me wouldn't know much about that sort of thing. A music festival, you say? It sounds terribly exciting. Uh, we can organize a lantern right music festival. We'll be rich. Oh, right! Madam Ping, how would you feel about that? You're an elder of Liyue, and you know all about Liyue's cultural traditions. Hearing your thoughts would definitely help us figure out how best to approach it. For example, do you think it might be a bit too modern, or is there any other issue? Why not at all? Music pays homage to history and culture, and it can also be a bridge between different civilizations. Times change, and the music enjoyed by the youngsters of today is no doubt very different from the tunes I was accustomed to in my youth. <laughs> Nevertheless, all fine things in life can be appreciated. And so, I look forward to it immensely. Here, here. I do believe that, my own dear grandmother aside, you are the wisest old lady I've ever met. Oh, goodness gracious. You're all being suspiciously sweet today. Yao Yao, whatever have you been feeding them? Master, you're in such a 
such a great mood today. You're even cracking jokes with the rest of us. Oh, well. I'm sure you must have plenty to be getting on with, yes? Run along now. Don't let me hold you up. Thanks, Madam Ping. We'll see you again soon. We'll see you the next time we come back to Leeway because, yes. <sighs> Dang, gotta go over there now. Gotta go over there now. Oh, shoot. Where did Redley go? He just said my nose is cold and then disappeared again. Oh, okay. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Pillar. Let's go. And when you meet with the Ministry of Civil Affairs, please remind them that the yes. <laughs> are not an excuse to procrastinate their work. Understood, Miss Ganyu. I'll take my leave now. You went to Inazuma, Redley? Dang. What brings you here, Yao Yao? I've brought all the medicine you asked me to pick for you. Oh, and here's a pack of sweet flower seeds as well. Uh, also, also, these dried Qingxin leaves make a great pot of tea that's very good for you. You're not AR-55, you, know you can't. I've work recently, but you can't shouldn't work. push yourself too hard. If you're not careful, you'll end um, up falling asleep in the grass again. Pichu wanted to steal glaze lilies from my world, but he can't because he's not AR-55, so... Uh, no, you can't do that. Well, this is weird. It's like a responsible younger sister talking to their disorganized older sister. Uh... Hi, Mon. You're running your mouth again. Thank you, but Paimon's criticism is quite valid. I do have a tendency to neglect matters outside of work, and that's something I should improve on. Oh, my apologies. I don't believe we've been introduced. Ah, Paimon will do the honors. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. I want to tell Ganyu about the Mr. Dvorak mm. and something, something, something. What's wrong? Did Paimon go over everything a bit too fast? It's definitely an ambitious plan. If there's anything you didn't quite catch, Paimon's more than happy to go over it again. Huh. It may be a little difficult to make this happen. Oh? Well... The Lantern Rite is the most important festival of the year. Our celebrations must not only be visually spectacular, but also appeal to the tastes of Leoa citizens from all walks of life. The Iridescence Tour is relatively unknown in Leoa. It's difficult to predict how a brand new show will be received. It would be quite risky for us to bet everything on this one music festival. <sighs> All very valid points. I completely understand. Therefore, we will not replace or cancel any of our pre-existing program. However, I will submit a proposal requesting to put the Iridescence Tour special performance as the final act of this year's festivities. I can't lower my so world level music two will levels. will certainly add to the festive atmosphere on the night of the Lantern Rite. As for the venue... Hmm. Let's reserve a space at the docks. So we're not stealing anyone's thunder, but we will end the night on a high note. Yes, my thoughts Genuine precisely. Event. <laughs> now I just need to take some time to give this proposal some polish. As long as I clearly lay out the pros and cons, and highlight the key points of the proposal, given that Ping and the Traveler have both given the idea their blessing, I'm confident that Qixing will be sure to give it serious consideration. Mr. Dvorak, I will need to discuss with you the number of musicians who will be coming to Liyue, as well as their catering and accommodation requirements. Oh, yes, certainly. Let's step to the side and discuss further. As soon as there's work to do, Ganyu's as diligent as ever. I couldn't agree more. Master once said that everyone has things that they are good at and things that they are less good at. So, with that in mind, Ganyu shouldn't feel compelled to become perfect at absolutely everything. 
I'm good at taking care of people, so that can be left to me. Wow. Hey, Yo-Yo, can you take care of Paimon, too? Paimon's getting hungry again. Paimon, you're trying to freeload oh, again. Whoa. <laughs> you're trying to freeload again, Paimon. Now, but if you let me know what you like, I can bring you some. Oh, did I never send that? I'm sorry, Redley. I'll Apart I'll send it to you now. Crisps, what else do you like? Anything sweet and anything that's made from slimes. <laughs> Here's what I've drafted so far. Anything else you want to add? No, this is excellent. I'm racking my brains, but I don't think you've missed a single thing. Perfect. Then we'll leave it as is. I'll go make an official copy. Oh, perfect timing. We were just wrapping up our discussion here. That was quick. Not at all. Every second counts for a complex proposal such as this. I will inform the Qixing of this development immediately. Please give me a moment to pass on the message. Yao Yao, thank you for bringing my herbs. I will make sure to take them. Remember to make tea from them first, Ganyu. You mustn't just chew them raw. Uh, I... I will. Okay, I should be getting back. If Yao-Yao stays out for too long, Mom and Dad will be worried sick. Everyone, I'm sure that the music festival will go off without a hitch, so don't worry. And in case I don't see you before, I wish you all a very happy lantern rite. Thank you, Yao-Yao. Happy lantern right to you, too. We should go get dinner together sometime! Hmm, no, no, no. Stay put and wait for two hours? I mean, at least I, I'm allowed to adjust the time, but like, it's just so bizarre. Oh, I didn't get to put a pillar. After a short wait, Kaching and Ganyu arrive at the square. Greetings, Traveler, Paimon, and Mr. Dvorak. Call me Kuching. <clears throat> Ganyu has brought me up to speed on everything. I'll get straight to the point. The Qixing have approved Ganyu's proposal. Over the next few days, I will be working with Mr. Dvorak on behalf of the Qixing to facilitate the organization of this concert. Unbelievably efficient, Kiching strikes again. Please. The Qixing have a duty to deal with matters such as these. We have merely moved things forward to the next step. On a more personal note, I am an avid supporter of all things new and innovative. As such, it is my privilege to work with you on this exciting project. Thank you so much, Kiching. I'd become quite discouraged after our recent failures and was expecting the same outcome once again, so... I didn't dare to get my hopes up. <sighs> Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined this going so smoothly. It's like a dream come true. Right. Time for me to call in the performers. Why to stage a concert at a high-profile event like this is a rare opportunity. We'll make sure it's a night to remember. Yes! Our music band's finally getting fired up! Yes, indeed. I know exactly what I'm doing from here. For a musician, Music will always be the language they are most fluent in. What about your ancestor? What about the fairy lady? Hi, Cloud. Hi, Luigi. How are you guys doing? Antarctica is a continent indeed. Man, I, I never knew that. <laughs> Africa is a country? Whoa. That's insane. No way, man. Oh, that. Well, that can wait for another time. Oh. Can you? What's wrong? They told me all about Mr. Dvorak's situation, but I was so engrossed in drafting the proposal that I forgot all about it. Oh, that's quite all right. I, I don't even know what the person I'm trying to find looks like, so it was always going to be a long shot. Uh, don't worry about me, Ganyu. Uh, your time and energy are needed elsewhere. I, I'm sure you already have plenty to deal with between this concert and everything else going on during the Lantern Rite. Thanks. It was just that I had a few initial thoughts when I heard your story. For instance, I wonder if this lady your ancestor met might have been an adeptus. What do you think? 
Definitely possible. We don't have enough information yet. To tell you the truth, Mr. Dvorak, I am somewhat related to the Adepti myself. I am part human and part Chilin. The Chilin is an illuminated beast. I know how important your quest to get in touch with your roots must be to you, because I've been there myself before, trying to find out where I belonged. Did you say the Adepti? And your illuminated beast? Part Chilin? Are you telling me all the rumors of the Liyue Adepti are real? So it's not just artistic license? You bet they're real! Trying to track them down is tough, though. Like Julian Karst itself. There's nothing specifically stopping you from going there, but getting in and out of there is quite an ordeal. Yes. Anyway, if you're looking to uncover a lost melody or shine light on a forgotten aspect of Leo's cultural history, I'm probably not the best person to ask. But if it's a person you're looking for, then I just might be able to help. I see. I think I understand the situation now. In that case, Ganyu, shall we divide the work between us? Yes, that was also my thought. Great. So Mr. Dvorak and I will concentrate on things here in the city to make sure the concert goes according to plan. In the meantime, Ganyu will reach out to our network and try to find the person he's looking for. How's your workload at the moment? Will you be able to make time? I can probably get through everything in two days, as long as I don't sleep. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean, as long as I don't sleep? As long as Even I don't for sleep, someone totally. with illuminated beast blood in their veins, working for such an extended period without a break will take its toll on your health. Somehow that does not sound persuasive coming from Kuching. Be it but three moons from the start, he who returns is not he that departs. Hmm. Even I know the importance of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. In that case, three days. All right, I can work with that. If you have the time, would you join me for this search? You're well known to many of the Adepti and respected among the people. I'll feel much more at ease with your company. Of course. Okay, then let's meet back here in three days. What's this space, Mr. Dvorak? We'll get to the bottom of this. You're all so helpful and kind. I, I really... I just... Uh... That was a Justin, loud chair. Imagine if we found the Adeptus Yeah, my chair always does that. <laughs> and got them to come to the that performance. sounded louder than usual. Wouldn't that be amazing? It'd be such a happy Nah, reunion. I think it's the norm and now. that's exactly what this <laughs> festival's all about. I'm sure the wind that guided you here feels the same way. You're right. Okay. I'm going to pull out all the stops to make this lantern ride a true extravaganza. We should probably get going. Mr. Dvorak, could you come with me to confirm the site? <laughs> My chair oh, woke you up. You. Honestly, I thought it was just us talking about Jin Yen and Yoimiya that woke you up, because you literally commented right after, after I had mentioned that. I thought the timing was, was too convenient. What are your thoughts on music? What does it mean to you? I agree, Paimon. Music sounds <laughs> nice. Truth be told, the question of what music means to people is one that I've been pondering for quite some time. Let's revisit this question after the concert. All right, sounds good. Hmm. <laughs> Dang, stand. Oh shoot! It fell off. Crumble. Oh gosh, no. It's perfectly standing on it. Rise. One of those things where it's like, nope. Crumble. Nope. <sighs> Quake. Wake. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want, a, I want a nice pillar in the middle of the stage. Quake. Mm -hmm. Or like right there. There we go. A lady <coughs> Bywin, what is it? Her name is <laughs> Soldiers. I've been gathering intelligence outside of the city with the goal of uncovering and dispatching any trouble ahead of the festival. 
I am told that a strange melody was heard somewhere along the coast. I was wary of investigating further on my own, so I was just on my way to report this incident to Lady Ningguang. But I'm worried that if we don't act right away, we may miss the window of opportunity to take appropriate action. Cher makes the I same understand. sound as this little bank you have? Case, what? I... What do you mean? Have a new phone, you can take a new picture of your phone. That sounds fun. Do it. Spinning chairs are nice. Yeah, Kuching. You're busy enough as it is. There's a ton of different things in the city that needs your attention. Leave it to us. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we'll definitely be able to handle it. Uh, well, he will handle it. With the traveler on the case, it's as good as dealt with. Thank you. This will be a great help. I will inform Lady Ningguang about the situation. Once it's resolved, please come and find me again at Yujing Terrace and let me know. Oh, when you open it? And say hi to Ningguang for us! You have my thanks, too. Stay safe and come back as soon as you're finished. Good luck. You open it, but it's very noisy. Aww. I want to hear how noisy now. Where are we going? Oh shoot, that is way out of town. Hey, just send us way out of here. It's like, no, get out of here. Okay, go get healed. Thank you very much. Now we go over there to go places. Oh yes, I'm gonna try to hit a tree and fail because yes. You have to unmute? What's wrong with unmuting? Beg for mercy. We're like right there, we're right there. You're running a fan in the winter? Byron said the strange tomb is coming from around here, right? Paimon doesn't hear anything. There doesn't seem to be a soul in... I was just wondering who in their right mind would come out to a place like this. So, it's you two. Paimon? <sighs> How'd you sneak up on us like that? You nearly gave Paimon a heart attack. Magic. You look pretty alive to me. Can't have spooked you that bad. You... you... Uh, fair enough. Oh, I know anything about the strange music. Ah. You're here for that, too? Saves me a bit of explaining. Come with me. I've already reconned the perimeter, so we should be safe. That sounds like you're living in a very cold environment right now, and I would want nothing to do with that cold. Sounds way too cold. Freaking January, you have your window open with the fan on. Like, oh boy. And isn't he in stuff by the door is in pretty good like condition, though. You say it New York? Been too long ago that someone was last living here. Isn't that where? I don't yeah. think so. He's on the East Coast somewhere, but it's not New York. I, I, I want to say he's like. I, I don't remember what. St I don't know if he ever set a state, but it's not New York. It's like South and like Central portion of the east coast somewhere probably virginia somewhere yeah like virginia maryland i want to say but i don't know yeah. arkansas you're not in arkansas man <laughs> not arkansas, bro. arkansas i'm pretty sure is central time zone too so that wouldn't even that wouldn't even work for the time you're in right now Quake. oh summon that ran the pillar or the empty. house there's nothing valuable left here at all I'm pretty sure you're on the East Coast, man. You're, you're not in Ohio. <laughs> pretty sure, pretty sure. The fine. The windows <laughs> are all fine. So there definitely wasn't a break. They are all fine, Paimon. 
That's West Coast, Redley. Washington's West Coast. How strange. It looks like it's been looted, except for the fact that there's no sign of a struggle. Hi, Noodle. The bad guys could have sneaked in while the owner was gone, but then how do you explain why the door and windows are intact? I'm not West Coast. I'm literally Mountain Time Zone. Seems you've done a pretty thorough inspection. So, any theories on what might have happened here? Yaylon, you didn't hide some of the evidence from us on purpose, did you? Why would I make this more difficult for you? We're on the same side here. Okay, well... Paimon gives up then. Paimon's got nothing. What about you? Give up as well? Difficult to theorize with so little evidence. It must have been something to do with that melody. Your instincts are pretty good. Hmm. Or perhaps it's not instinct. The strange melody is one of the few pieces of information you have available, after all. I mean, East Coast Let is a given, given your time, you. Redley. A long time ago, there used to be a group of bandits in the Leroy countryside who would sound a horn every time they were about to raid a village. But Keep it wasn't going a rallying east, you cry to the rouse East Coast. Their fellow really? It was a disconcerting tune, meant to intimidate the weak and warn them of their impending doom. To escape with their lives, the villagers would abandon their homes and flee overnight, taking only their most valuable belongings with them. Thus, all Everything coasts are East behind. Coast. No. The bandits were eventually brought to justice, but the fear and trauma remained in the villagers' hearts. Whenever they heard that melody, they would feel like their lives were in danger once again and flee immediately. The culprit of this crime exploited that very fear to get access to this house without having to force their way in. That's quite the story. The victims obviously will have gotten quite a fright, but at least they won't be in any great danger. The important thing now is to find this copycat criminal. If we use elemental sight... On any other day, that'd probably be a good idea. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work today. Take a look around and you'll see what I mean. This criminal is clearly well-versed both in using music to commit crimes and in making a clean getaway. Not only did they stay off the muddy road to avoid leaving footprints, it looks like they were also careful not to bring any gadgets with so much as a trace of elemental energy. Evidently, they were intent on keeping even the most experienced investigators off their trail. Wait, what do you not read right, them, Noodle? I'm one of the best trackers in the business. They're not about to get away with their little scheme on my watch. So basically, if we want to find the culprit, we just need to follow you on. I would say yes, Redley, but I mean, I kind of need to not be in co-op mode to, you know, do this event. Mm-hmm. As long as you can keep up. Since the culprit's trying to be cautious and low risk, I'll bet they left through an area with some vegetation for cover, but not so much that it would slow them down. <laughs> Yeah, I figured that's probably what you didn't read right, but, you know, I just had, I had to clarify, I just had to clarify. I guess I'll just hit every little bamboo. Here, look at this. Oh. These tracks are superficial, but they definitely didn't Superficial? Whoa. Something heavy was I don't think we have way. enough room for Meaning more than one official here. Right direction. Okay, okay, she running, she running. Crumble. You run while I summon some huh. pillars. Their pace has increased. Normally, people carrying a heavy load slow down as their journey goes on and they start to tire. Whatever's motivating them to speed up must be psychological. For instance, reaching the home stretch. Why do I have the police on me? I was shooting at the people who were shooting at me. <laughs> this game hates me. Oh no. Dang. Just, he just called me noisy. <gasps> oh no! Here they are! Look! A treasure hoarder tent! Ugh, not the treasure hoarders again! It's He's so always quiet, Redley. He's always quiet. I have him on 200% volume. Apex. Come on. Let's round him up. I literally have him on 200% and he's still quiet. <laughs> 
always funny when that happens. Doom music now. Huh? It's playing Doom music now. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, treasure hoarder, I'm here. Hey. Oh my god, I got one you? tap because she had a Where shotgun. You come I was from? trying to beat out a shot so I could be in the clear to shoot her. Hmm. The evidence is <laughs> conclusive. Okay. Confess, and we'll go easy on you. Oh, I play my patience here. is running low, so why don't you do us both a favor, hmm? You kidding me? You think I'm scared of you? You think I'm scared of a pillar? Oh, man. Perhaps not. <laughs> but you should be. Oh, <laughs> looks so dumb. Oh. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna use Yaelon. Curses. Seems like you're not all talk after all. There's no going back now. Better up my game. Got him. <laughs> mercy! Have mercy! Oh, it's a little late for that. I've come this far. I might as well finish the job. Redley says, act like you're arguing with Danny. <sighs> I surrender! I surrender, please! I'll do whatever you say. I don't think that would save please it. Have mercy. I don't think it would save the, the loudness, Tell us though. everything. You have one chance. And I'm warning you, don't make me ask I just twice. Realized what he meant by that. I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so Lantern Wright's nearly here, and like a lot of people, I wanted to buy a few nice things. I know I'm with the treasure hoarders and everything, but I don't really have any kind of experience with robbing people and whatnot. So I, uh, I don't have the guts to break into somebody's house. Again, I have him on 200% volume, Redley. Turn him up. No, not at all. I'm just telling it how it is. Okay. Continue. I racked my brains trying oh, to think of what oops. I could do. And eventually, I remembered something from back when I was a kid. The bandits would blow their horn, and my grandma would grab us kids and run. I remember the tune, so I... I figured I'd try oh, it for myself. Oh. I mean, just to see what would happen. At first, anyway... I seriously didn't expect that family to pack up and leave. But they did. And they just left all their stuff right there for the taking. It was too easy. I just... I couldn't resist. It was completely wrong of me. I know that now. I'll return everything that I took. It's all still in perfect condition. And will be like it was never gone. Please, give me a chance, huh? Let me make it right. Give you a chance, huh? Sounds to me like you'd rather strike some kind of a deal than spend Lantern right behind bars. Yes. 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 You know how to bargain, I'll give you that. It's just a pity that you didn't confess at the first opportunity. You'll have to take a walk with me. Once we've returned the goods, we'll find the owner of the house, and you can apologize to them in person. After that, I'll escort you to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, ma'am. You know, as a former victim of this kind of crime yourself, I doubt anyone understands the fear you inflicted quite as well as you do. Does your greed matter more to you than your fear? More to the point, if you can play a, a tune from memory, don't you think you should be capable of making an honest oh, living? Right. You mean... <laughs> That's enough hints for you. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on all of this yourself. There's not much left to wrap up, so I'll take it from here. Guess this is where I'll say goodbye. Sure, well done, Yelon. You're not deaf. Let's go. Redley's not deaf. Hmm. What is it? Uh. Is there something else? I'm still not sure how you first got your hands on this information. So play it safe when you get back. Don't mention to anyone that you ran into me out here. You helped a lot with the investigation and arrest anyway, so it's perfectly fair for you to get all the credit. Just take it. It works better for me, too. See you when I see you, and happy lantern right. Damn, such a with her taking it from here, it's as good as resolved. Whoosh! Random event, a strange melody, complete! Oh, come on, don't break the fourth wall, Paimon. It's a shame that we never got that treasure hoarder guy to play the melody again. I'm quite curious myself. Right? How could anyone not be? When we were chatting with Miss 
Mr. Dvorak, music seems like such a positive thing. And most music is, right? It can help us relax, feel all warm and fuzzy, recall happy memories, or even just think happy thoughts. I would never imagine that music could be used to commit crimes. Imagine committing crimes with music. Their bad deeds influence the emotions associated with the music. Oh, really? Huh. Makes sense. <gasps> Paimon's musical understanding improves again! Well, anyway, now that everything's resolved, let's get back to Leo at Harbor. Paimon's still waiting for us with our random event rewards. What did I say was bad? I just said she literally broke the fourth Crush. wall. That's all I said. Holy artifacts. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um... Gonna go back to Leeway Harbor and then I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You know the urge to re-download Sky just to see if it's even worse? More speed. <coughs> don't do it, Noodle. Don't do it. You kicked the addiction. Now you need to not indulge the addiction again. That's what you need to do. Oh, oh, okay. Island, we're back. Everything's all sorted. I fell on That's her face. Great news. Oh, please wait here a moment, if you would be so kind. Lady Ning Wong instructed me to advise her upon your return. Island hurries off. Whoa! My greetings to both of you. It's Ning Wong. No see. No need to be so formal with us, Ningguang. We've known each other for a long time now. You must be super busy with all the preparations for Lantern Rite. Don't mind us. On the contrary, I think it is those that I have known longest to whom I should extend the greatest courtesies. Alas, on a different day, I would invite both of you inside for some tea and a brief respite from your travels. But you're quite right. Trivial matters aside, there's no escaping the fact that we have a grand concert to organize. Once the performance itself is over, we'll then need to invite the representatives of the Iridescence Tour for a discussion on future collaboration opportunities. The financing arrangements alone could well entail many rounds of discussion. Simply put, there will always be work to do. Whoa, you're already thinking that far ahead? <laughs> well, we can discuss more current affairs if you'd prefer. I trust you saw this year's Ming Shao Lantern at the docks when you arrived at the city? Yeah, it looked like a goose. Which adeptus is it modeled on this time? Seagazer. I believe you're familiar with the name. Legend holds that he was free spirited and easygoing. People described him as a cheerful soul and a loyal friend. I remember it's been too long, I can't seem to recall. On this marvelous lantern rite, we pray that the fallen heroes may be guided home. If the sound of music can flow like the rivers and streams into every corner of the land, perhaps the souls of those who have gone before us will hear the song of a new era. I wonder whether the melodies will be to their liking. Oh, they're gonna love them! I'm unsure of it! At least, if the guy you mentioned is anything go by, the Adepti and heroes of the past sound like a positive and free-spirited cheerful bunch! They're sure to be open to new music! <laughs> well... Let's hope so. I heard that you'll be going on a search with Ganyu to find the descendants of a... Fairy Lady from a Fontaine legend. I'm sure this quest to uncover the truth behind an ancient story will turn into a most charming tale. Do share it with me, won't you? I couldn't bear to miss out. Absolutely. I'm scared of saying Ning Wong once because it began with <laughs> Begin with the word N? Yeah, totally. Um, no. I don't know. Radiant Sparks, Paper Theater, Vigilance at Sea, Behind the Scenes. What do you mean behind the scenes? Uh, go to quest. Let's do Oh dang, that's a lot of stuff. M! Wow, it's the letter M. It's such a privilege, right? Oh gosh, what's going on? 
Go to the North Wharf. Wharf is a funny word. Uh, oh gosh, I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. Help. What? Wait, you can't do lantern right with me though, can you? I can't have you come in for this, like, I don't think you do. Can you? Hmm. All right, Radiant Sparks, quit eating hair. I can't help it, I have to eat my hair. I just want to know if it's still horribly easy to encounter someone creepy. Your avatar resembles a girl because that was horribly easy for you. <coughs> Even when you didn't resemble one? Really? Oh gosh. But wouldn't that be like almost every game, not just that game? <laughs> Then again, I don't know anything about that game, so it's hard to say. Quake! Alright, perfect. This isn't even voice acted? That's so lame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I feel it like in the back of my freaking mouth, and I can't, like, I'm not gonna stick my fingers in the back of my mouth. I swallow my hair, I swallow my hair. Your avatar's Kuon in Sky did not even know you played that. That's interesting. Uh, score 1,000 points in Challenge, Cloudless Sky, and Radiant Sparks. Go to Challenge? Wait, can you do this in Kuon? Is it possible? What? In the co-op? Uh. Mm -mm. Alright, I'll let you in because I don't know. I, I guess they can co-op this maybe. That seems possible. Solidify. Oh, Roy, let's solidify everything. Ugh. <coughs> Worth it. More speed. Felt much easier to do in Sky, probably because the reporting system so doo doo. Oh, really? I thought maybe it was just like I don't know. I don't know anything about Sky. I assume it's just like one of those social games or something, and thus that's why it, like like attracts the weirdos. All right, good job, good job. Just like beat that hill of churl into the freaking ocean. Cannot start challenge while in co-op mode. Well, sorry, Redley. That's so sad. That's so sad. For you rest for a while. Oh man. Uh, flip? Oh. Oh. <coughs> Wait, am I not falling? Oh, now I'm falling. Oh, no. I need Kazuha. Bean, tell that to the game, not me. <laughs> No, I really do need Kaza. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab Kazuha. Alright, I knew this team was worth keeping around. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, and now I understand. Wait, I got the coins? Yeah, I actually thought I missed the coin. Alright, let's do this. <coughs> you can do the Yalon one co op? Oh, really? Well, that sounds pretty cool anyway. Oh, 
All right, time to epically speed run through everything now. Now I understand everything. Nice. Very nice. Boom. It's flying around like, hello there. Oh, hello there. Oh, jeez. Got them all. Let's go. Challenge complete. 200. Ugh. Was, was that a silver medal? Did we suck? Did I, did I really suck that bad? Oh, my gosh. I have to do it again. I have to do it again because I sucked. That's so cool. All right. Okay. Well, at least I know how the mechanics work this time. <coughs> you want me to run a domain with you? Oh, I swear. Mm, do, do, do. You know I don't run domains anymore. You also know I need to go to sleep as quickly as possible, if possible. But I, I don't know if I can. We'll see. I died. Oh no, don't die. Do you see anyone in the community actually bring up that they exist since they only focus on wholesome things they do with friends? That makes sense. <coughs> Green tutorials is overrated. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody reads tutorials. There we go. Did I grab him? Okay, I did grab him all. I wasn't sure. Oh no, 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 fool, fool, you foolish fool. Oh, you foolish fool! Time to go. Okay, 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 we're good. I'm just screwing up everything right now. This is so good. Alright, alright, come on. Give me the time. Oh, yeah, that's much better. 3,700 points. <coughs> Negative reading comprehension yet again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I went to change my party because I didn't read. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's fun getting all of them if you can. If you can. I mean, you know, I did. So that's cool. Alright. Why, why are you out in the middle of the ocean? That's so far. That is so far, honestly. I slept four hours. And honestly, Pichu, this was literally my only day that I could play this. Because, you know, I got, I got next week. And... <laughs> You know, do you, do you, like eight days remaining. We're running out of time here, so like I gotta, I gotta do this here. This is what better time than right now to do it. <laughs> Not my fault. My dad decided to be like, oh geez. I mean, e it's either I do a Genshin stream or I did Persona 5 Royal, and at least a Genshin stream would give me a chance to actually sleep <laughs> if I get it done early. Wait, why is there a chest here? Why is there a chest I've never opened here? Okay. Well, that didn't even give me any primo, so that was worth. That was worth it. Off we go. Totally worth it. Harder Kratos is trying his negative reading comprehension. <coughs> you got 3.7k and didn't. Dang. So then, what's the weighted score with things? Oh, 30 primos. You got 30 primos. How? Now I'm curious. 
All right, let's do this. Radiant Sparks Part Two. Ooh, perfect. Oh, I passed that one. Oh my. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, jeez. I mean, genuinely cool person's kind of debatable, honestly. <laughs> Some flying shenanigans, and now we go flying some more, then we fly some more, then we fly even more, and then oh my gosh, here we go again. Just gonna keep on flying all the way to the end of the level. Oh boy, oh geez, 3600 points exactly. Very, very nice. Oh yeah. Alright, give me them points. Thank you. Go to challenge. This one's in Sumeru. I thought they were all taking place in Leeway. What the heck? I feel ripped off. <coughs> Fast, that's why you... I, I somethinged the first time. Ooh, a Radiant Spin Crystal. Nice. Wait until Inazuma one. Spoilers! No, I'm kidding. Yes. I don't care, honestly. Alright, let's do this. Time to absolutely destroy everything. Oh, yes. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. No, I didn't get them all. Alright, whatever. I don't need a 100% score. That's okay. Never oh. Again. Okay. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, anyway. Moving on. This is quality gameplay. This is very quality gameplay indeed. Oh, no. What have I done? It's Bennett's fault. It's Bennett's fault, everyone. That's just the reality of things. It's Bennett's fault. He did it. <coughs> he killed the entire party with his bad luck. <coughs> All right, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Boom. Or Bennett, he did nothing wrong. Bad. I was very bad. I know. <coughs> Alright, that's done. Now we gotta go to this one in Monstat. What in Azuma one? This is Monstat. <coughs> Which also doesn't make any sense, but I mean, eh. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Going to a domain now, so we can go do some more of this stuff. Wait, how do I? Oh, into the wind. Up here, it's hiding. There you are. Yeah, you lied. How could you? <coughs> Lying to me, young man. I can't believe you. Easily? Why would you easily lie to me? That's so not right, man. Nice. Ooh. How do I lie to you? What do you mean? What? What do I? How do I lie to you? Tell me. Nice. 
Very nice. Possibly hate Bennett. I mean, Bennett is so OP. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Two. Uh. Wait, what do you mean, where'd Phil go? He's here. <laughs> he never left. Did you really see Sixum? Hi, hi, Vamp. How are you doing, man? Maybe. Why would you do that? Level 50 in the battle pass. Nice. Oh, you know, I said I wasn't going to do any wishing, but I forgot about the standard banner existing. I should technically do my standard banner wishes. <coughs> I'll do that later in the stream, though. I'm not going to do it right now. All right, that one's all done. It is time for uh, Yunjin. No. Dang, what is these? Cliffbreaker, Banner, Flutters, and Drum Rolls. A bling, obliging little y Yugui. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what the heck that even is, but sure. Let's, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's either Yunjin, Jinyan, Ningguang C6, or Yao Yao. I'm considering Ningguang C6, honestly. Because <coughs> Yoi Mia. <laughs> you c 6 your Bennett because of Yoi Mia? Oh, I can't believe it, man. You actually did that. Crazy person, you crazy, crazy person. All right, I need to go to paper theater now. Let's do this. Northern Wharf is waiting for us to go over there. What is Trinity Soul? I've never heard of that before. What's my pity at for Standard Banner? I'm gonna check that real quick. I'm on dot mo. Let's see. Wish history. Ah, oh, so I okay. I still would not get. <coughs> I see. I still would not have enough. I updated. I updated it with my New Year's Eve wishes too. Okay, yeah, I get the 72 pity, though, on standard banner. If you don't get Yao Yao, then you'll never get Yao Yao. You don't know that. If they put Yao Yao on a Eula banner, or if I get her as an off banner poll, heck, they could put Yao Yao on an Ayaka banner. I, I, I mean, I would wish for Ayaka constellations, too. If they put him on, on one of those banners, I'd, I'd do that. Oh snap. Sequel anime to Persona 3 as a dumpster fire and not even throw away. Persona 3 had a sequel anime? That's kind of odd. Asked passerby. Hello. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm thirsty. Bro, last time we talked about this, Redley, you said. Oh. Okay, never mind. You corrected yourself. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> I was like, man. Remember when Eula was supposed to come out in 3.1? Oh, boy. <coughs> 
This is 3.4. What update is this? Silly, silly, silly. So what, if it was 3.3, .3, would it be 3.6? No, I'm kidding. Like, 0.5, I guess, would be 3.6. That would make sense. Uh, da, 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 so much unnecessary lore that's not even voiced. And it's the freaking lantern, right? For crying out loud. You know, I'm not complaining. I mean, it's to get me through it faster if it's not voiced. So it could be worse. Alright, Yingong. I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've been you to Homeward Brave, Bra Brave Beard. <coughs> Dang, alright, let's do it. Dragon select the two stage sections to switch their position. I guess the section will be moved with such a change of position. And then he hits the door and we win. Yeah, let's go. <coughs> Mercy to exercise life. Save a parting from a closest kin the brave. Okay. There's a room. Wait, you can kill him? Oh wait, it's because he ran in that red thing. I get it now. But you don't can't apparently spell establish. Just don't wash your new soul. It's not even can anymore. And the arena ultimax directly contradicts it with Akihiko. I don't understand what that means, but sure, I'll take your word for it. Oh snap! There we go. There we go. <coughs> My lack of brain will absolutely destroy me. Can't wait, man. Oh no, I got an upper section. Oh no. Oh no. Performance failed. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go, that's how you do it, man. Oh yeah, treasure chest. <coughs> Time reunion is brief. Indeed, indeed. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Does this kill me? No. Uh... uh okay this one seems like this is going to be impossible honestly and he'll just fall to his death <coughs> <laughs> Sounds like Akihiko died to me then if it, if he contradicts everything. Uh. Okay, okay, how about How does this make sense? <coughs> you need help on that one? I might. Nope. Feeling right. stupid uh, right now. Um, so you're doing the right thing, uh, wait, press B, just restart the performance. Yeah. Uh, do the one that he's on to the whole one, yeah. There. And then wait until he gets to the middle one and then swap it out for the whole one again. And now swap it back. 
Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's true, that's true. There we go. Yiving is today wholly alone, and how shall I return to the Adeptai's home? Man, I wish it wasn't so bad with puzzles sometimes. Um... <coughs> I'm not doing this right at all. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Can't move that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't move that over there either. Oh no. No. Oh, oh, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> we got it. Just on accident. <coughs> it all works on the end. He lost his persona due to committing the crime of being an adult. Well, see, that's why I don't like Persona 3. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's... Shoot. Oh, wait, this is easy. Unless it isn't. Okay, I got this. I got this. This is perfect. This is going to be so easy. <coughs> so easy. Got him. That was way easier than the previous two. Hey, welcome back. Oh, man. Certain gaps on the stage come equipped. They do indeed come very equipped. <clears throat> oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Okay. Press that button and we'll see what happens. You were listening to Nirvana Heart Shaped Box. What? Okay. This. Oh no. <laughs> <coughs> Wait. Oh no. Walking over it. Oh no. I'm gonna restart it again. Hmm. <laughs> that works. Okay. No, not that. No. Cool. Uh. Do. Yeah, sure. That works. Um. Got it. <coughs> wow, that's a long name. Yeah, that's uh Redley, that's Pichu Gaming. Just changed his name to Japanese, because yes. So now now he's now he's very anime. Over the peak scene three. Too stupid for this. What if I huh? Wait, no, I can't oh. <coughs> if I do that I die. Oh, oh I, I I remember how to do this one. Do you now? 
I'm not smashing my head onto it, that's for sure. There's oh. a switch. What? There's a switch on one of the tiles. Yeah, there is, but if I walk on the switch, I die. Oh, wait, I see what I gotta do. Oh, no, this is stupid. Oh, no. <coughs> yeah, I see what I gotta do now. That... Swap those. All right, perfect. It needs to be a fast forward button. I feel. Let yeah. you know when you change your name and profile picture in case you get an imposter again. Makes sense. Makes sense. I hate for some of you for not making sense. It's exclusive to Trinity Soul, but I thought the I thought the whole thing with. Sony users can only be teenagers was the thing in general, though, in Persona 3. So now I'm even more confused. To open the locked door, you must first obtain the key to it. Switch from Nintendo? Where's your imposter? You make your own imposters. <coughs> oh no, there's a key. Oh, that segment's locked? I didn't know that. Yeah, this, one's actually this one's hard, you said? No, I just haven't done it yet. Oh, oh shoot. No, no, no! Oh my gosh. <coughs> Wait. Oh wait, I know, I gotta wait, just gotta wait, just gotta wait, there we go. <coughs> Done, made it. Easy. You, Peach Revolver, Twisted J, and that ice guy, you don't remember the name? Revolver Jesus is right there, but one second as you confirm how old he is. I don't remember who Takaya is. Who's that? Oh no, how are we supposed to? Oh. Oh. That was not thought through now, was it? Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Alright, that's fine. We can do that. <coughs> Wait, I was still on that scene? Oh, I'm so dumb. Do, 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 do. That's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. <coughs> Light bulb. Mm, oh no, this is not good. This is still not good. Yeah, let's say this is, not, this is definitely not good. Oh no. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Victory. Let's go. <coughs> it's working. Lark's brain keeps frying. My name is now Lark. Who knows where this person dwells? Who knows indeed? Some unlock stage sections can be unlocked by using keys. I don't have to think about that actually. Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, so I just died. Okay. Someone gave you PTSD. We'll see about that. <coughs> I mean, you can literally fight the Persona 3 and 4 protagonists in 5, so I mean, like, it's. They're probably all connected in some way. So the easy one, the last one was harder. Seriously? Bro. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're good. <coughs> oh no, I, I've died. All right. Wait, how is he supporting me? How I don't understand how he's supporting me. What? Oh wait. Oh wait, he got rid of like some hazard, uh, like a hazard, didn't he? <coughs> okay, okay. Made the puzzle easy, <laughs> but how do you make it easy though? <coughs> There we go, done. I just finished it too. Huh? I just finished it too. Oh nice. I didn't know you were doing it too. Yeah, I just got on. Oh that was the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. And here Redley was saying that there was a harder one after that, but apparently not. Mmm, primo gems. Looks like it's about time for us to meet up with Ganyu. Ivan, why are you rushing me here? We don't have to meet Ganya this quickly. Primo gem times 20. 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 Oh boy. That's a lot of primo gem times 20. <coughs> oh, I could have gotten birds. But I did not get birds. Kind of sad. Alright, we're done with that. So... Perfect indeed. Alright, wishing time. Surely I'll get the 5 star, right? Yeah, you'll get it. How many you got? I did one pull. One pull? You got this. You Wait, got this. Reset so I can buy the... God. I also really want to buy the battle pass for SMGs, but I also have to save up money for something. So <coughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> battle pass is only, yeah, I don't know. It's just only worth it if you're really beginning in the game. Yeah, I mean, like, that's 680 Prima Gems at the end. Fragile resin are also pretty good. Eh, I never need fragile <laughs> resin. Just the tune to accompany them. Yeah, because you like log for like twenty minutes every day. Yeah, and I have two thousand out of one sixty now, so I mean that's you know. <laughs> yeah. Cause funny. Oh God, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> <coughs> like thousand out of one sixty. Yeah. Wait, backstage helpers? Kitch! I didn't realize it was Time more. One with nature. It's just a bunch of dialogue. I just went through. Yeah. It was a piece of cake. Do, 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 do. I wish the Xbox controller's button presses weren't so loud. I know, they're so loud. Like, the Switch one just makes no noise at all. It's just like the Xbox, like, I'm just gonna make so much freaking noise. So dumb. <coughs> you thought I was playing a different game? Why do you think I was playing a different game? That's crazy, man. That's crazy. 
All right, that one's done. Now I gotta go to Vigilance at sea. Good thing is a travel, po a teleport point to Beto's ship now. Did you do the Yao Yao one already? Yeah, that was the first one I did. I'm doing it all in order. Goldfish have good memory. Hmm, do they though? <coughs> all right, skip your dialogue so I can get to the next games. Is it a new challenge? Yes, it is indeed. <coughs> Can you remember single pathway if it was told you five seconds after? Aw. I had to log into my college account for like the first time in six and a half years. Because I was trying to see, like, if there was something wrong with the email, because I had, like, emails getting sent there, but then suddenly, like, I wasn't really getting emails there anymore. The oh. but, like, I had to, like, go through the trial and error remembering my freaking password for that. I remember my username, thankfully, but, like, the password, I, like, I wasn't sure on. But thankfully, it actually took me, like, three guesses hmm. to figure it out, so... In the world do those symbols really so it was one of my... That's one of my, like, known passwords, which is good. Oh my gosh, there's so much tutorial. Follow the wind. <clears throat> but yeah, it was... It was dumb. And the worst part is, I don't think I figured Time anything out when I was looking through it, either. Hmm. I think I need to just, like, complete redirect or something and figure something out. Goldfish's memory is significantly better than that. Is it though, Redly? Is it? Wait, where's the where's the challenge? Uh, it's at the opposite side of where you. <coughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Oh no, I don't want gameplay details again. Okay, yeah, that's pretty close. Just gotta get. Oh wait, I was literally right. I was talking to her apparently. Okay, cool. Start Vigilance at Sea, please. Thank you. I'm just doing the Tranquil Water one. That, that one's just solo. Wait, match? Yeah. I didn't know you could do... The Tranquil Water one, then it's a uh, single player. But the, like, <coughs> or whatever. Oh. Like, I, don't, I don't know what the multiplayer one is called. But if you do that one, then... I didn't even know there was a multiplayer one until just now. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Can we play with friends, or does that have to be randoms? I don't know. It's probably good. But yeah, you're fighting them. Whoever has the most, and whoever is alive by the end, uh... Oh my gosh, this guy's got 42 already. Holy crud. <coughs> they will dump out the cargo. Hi. There we go, there we go. No, no, this guy's got 52, man. Oh, that guy finally got his first 10. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> Green tutorials is overrated. Especially when you don't need them to succeed. <coughs> this guy's got 86, man. He's so good. Wait, I died? Oh, no. Crazy. Everybody else is on. Oh, well, it's a player, but... Everyone else is what? I was gonna say, everyone else is. Oh, man. I just, like, almost destroyed myself in my own freaking whirlpool. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm in first. Oh my gosh, I'm in first. Well, I was in first, right? No, I'm still in first. Oh snap. There we go, there we go. It's legal whirlpool behind. You can't stop him now. Die. No, get me out of the whirlpool. <coughs> Need my health back. Dude, 133, that's so good. Do, 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 do. No, no, this guy's winning. Oh no, this guy is actually winning right now. There we go. All right, all right, we're winning again. We're winning again. Let's go. No, 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 stop, stop. That's mine. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's go. We got the W. <coughs> Woo, Wave Riders destroyed too. Dang, that guy was violent. Four thirteen hundred. Was that good? Xin yeah. You only usually get like 600, 700 when you do. <coughs> oh, really? Is this like wind trace then? You just gotta keep getting more points until you get enough? Basically. Ugh. Fun. You just gotta do it like five times if you do um, co op. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't I gonna change my avatar? I totally was. Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. <coughs> 36, 40, 44, 48. Okay. I need a random number between 1 and 48. No, oh my. Sixteen. <coughs> Who's sixteen? Eight, twelve, sixteen. Oh, frickin' Venti, you. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, I'll be Venti then. All right, give me, uh, hey, Redley, want to come and play boat game? Maybe we can all play together. I don't know. That'd be cool. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Mm. I got yo yo. You do. I mean, you're not really interacting with random people. You're just facing them in combat. <coughs> Uh, let's see, event details, give me them deets. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Oh, well, I have the Yao Yao one and then the, um, Gaylon one. <coughs> Fair. If Zhao Lemonizatics win cycled Paimon, how far would she fly? If, if Zhao what winded? Hmm. Collapse soon is 4.27 in the morning and your exam practice is done for next Thursday. Uh, good luck with your exams, man. Red Lee, join me. Let's play boat game together. <coughs> what do you mean Canadian Windblade? I'm confused. You're in a cutscene? Oh my gosh. You and your cutscenes, man. You and your cutscenes. I guess I'll just go grab 60 more Primo Gems then. <coughs> Who should I even invite, honestly? I I'm, I've been leaning Ningguang because I could get her C6 with that. But I don't know if I should. Honestly, I should do my standard banner wishes first too, because I do have a I do have a guaranteed four star coming up too. <coughs> so I should make sure I'm not gonna just pull a Ningguang randomly and then be like, "Well, rip." I mean, not that you use her in the no. first place. Well, I mean, I used her in the last Spiral Abyss because the freaking Golden Wolf Lord. Uh. <coughs> annoying having that thing in Spiral Abyss because it just floats around. I had to use Ganyu in order to actually freaking win because 
decides to stay out of your range on the ground for like excessively long periods of time. It's on pair. Oh, <laughs> his Genshin on Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's funny though. Ah, okay. Bradley, how long is your cutscene? I want to start another one, I guess. <coughs> Let's give it your all. Three point seven k attack at level eight. Let's not do that. Yeah. And it's on a score calculate it to Y. We are your ability is depleted. It reaches maximum level. Challenge will not grant you more points. Potato mode activated. Oh snap. I wanna be potato. <coughs> I wanna try one single player just to see how that works. Hmm, yes, zero coins. Amazing. I like how there was like clouds around as if there was other players, even though there wasn't other players. <coughs> there we go, new challenge points have appeared. Oh no 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 Don't suck me in. Don't do it. Dangerous vortex has appeared in the center of the sea. Don't die. You know what's good for you. Vortex really that dangerous though. I'm not taking damage from it. <coughs> oh, this has suction properties. Okay, I get it now. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, where are the coins? I need more coins, man. Do, 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 264. Oh, wait. What? 828? That's it? Man, yeah, co-op is way better. You get way more coins. I mean, there's Phil in the voice chat who's here. And Pichu Lover is also here. Oh, yeah. There's, there's um, four of five of us, if you count me. <coughs> so, yeah. Alright, Sussy Gussy. Don't be such a sussy gussy, man. <coughs> the downpour certainly rouses the spirit. <laughs> but it's best to dry your clothes as soon as possible after the rain stops. Done, never mind. Wait, are you done or not? I'm confused. <coughs> well, hopefully it'll be done by the time I'm done with this round. I'm gonna say, are we really waiting 20 seconds for this? <coughs> Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Wow, I love how I didn't pick up the first thing I ran into. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. Waves. Challenge coins and sea servers are about to disappear. Prepare yourself for explosions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull in some magnetism. Why would you be able to play the liar here? What do you mean? Wait, how do I take damage? Oh my gosh, a barrel hit me. Hey, 
And it, like this timer is just so moot because like everyone's gonna die. Like you're you are like better off timing your death, so that way you don't just lose, you know. Oh hey, I died. See, amazing. I just think it's dumb that you lose all your coins though if you die. Gosh, I'm stealing all my items. This guy's got 140? Oh my gosh. Dude, oh my gosh. <coughs> 68 coins, nice. 89 coins, I'll take it, I'll take it. Why did I lose health? Why am I losing health? Help, help. Nice, very nice. That guy's not even in first place anymore. It's like, I'm gonna stand there. Nothing. We need to destroy him now. We need to get some. <coughs> no, I'm not gonna win. I'm not gonna win. No, I didn't win. Also, if you look to the right side of the screen, you'll see the liar icon is there. I didn't see a liar icon. Yeah, Honkai Impact is their other game. And, eh. That's the thing Genshin ripped off. Indeed. <coughs> they ripped themselves off, and it's really dumb, and I hate it. <laughs> <coughs> I personally despise the heck out of that, but eh. So, Redly, is the cutscene done? Turn autocorrect off. It'd be nice if Twilight Princess came to the Switch. It'd be cool. I would like that. <coughs> boom, 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 boom. Mm, I almost got enough to invite a character. Excuse me. Ugh. So anyway, no, you're not ready yet. Okay, then I'll go back and do another one then. I guess Rip trying co-op in this, right? I mean, I own it on the Wii and the Wii U. But I'd buy it on the Switch just so I don't have to play it on the Wii U. <coughs> eh. Anyway, let's give it your all. Oh yeah, let's do some matchmaking. Oh, we're playing with Japan. Oh yeah, let's go. <coughs> Phantom Hourglass is pretty bad. You you didn't miss much, honestly. Wind Waker's pretty good, but yeah, don't play Phantom Hourglass. It's not worth it. <coughs> Beer Tracks is the same way. Don't play the... Oh, wait. Wait, wait. You played Spirit Tracks, but not Phantom Hourglass? Well, in that case, I mean, Phantom Hourglass is literally just Spirit Tracks, but... But with Wind Waker instead? <coughs> yeah, so if you didn't like Spirit Tracks, then don't play Phantom Hourglass. It's literally just more of the same, basically. Do I have a shield here? What the heck? Nice, I get shielded from an explosion. No, oh, I'm getting bumped. I'm getting bumped. No, Whirlpool, I'm dead. Ah, 
Um, I think most people universally agree that Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks are not very good Zelda games. So, I... That might be the opposite. It might be your opinion on this one, and I'm afraid. Sorry, Pichu. Sorry. <coughs> My opinion's more shared with the general Zelda community. It's not that great. You're gonna get 3DS just for the Mario Kart 7 and the 3D Majora's Mask in a great time. Why? <coughs> <coughs> oh jeez, a lot of whirlpools. Holy crud, I just whirlpooled the heck out of this area. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> <coughs> Minish Cap is amazing. It's definitely an amazing game. Well, I'm dead. I only got 80 coins. Dang, let's go. Oh no, he dropped the whirlpool on my face. <coughs> well, that was cool. That was pretty cool. See when kaboom snap. I destroyed two wave riders. Nice. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I know what you mean. Of course, it went dead. That's unfortunate, though. How did that die, though? What happened? You just banned return to your home world. <coughs> I don't know how many points I'm missing at this point, but we're getting there, we're getting there, we're almost there. Doing a match make again. One with it's definitely, Minish Cap is probably one of the best handheld Zelda games. That scene is done? Oh. Well then, I guess after this, then, we can go ahead and, uh, try some co-op. Play Between Worlds is alright. I liked it, but it wasn't, like... I don't know, it was just kind of links Link to the Past 2.0, it felt like. Yep, that's all I mean, I don't agree with that, but I would pro I would probably put Minish Cap in my top five, honestly. Like, let's see. Twilight Princess, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Minish Cap has to be in the top five, right? I mean, I can't think of anything else. I mean, I think Four Swords Adventures is a very underrated Zelda game, personally, but that's just me. Challenge the same color as fireworks and team challenge coins. Snap! I died. <coughs> oh, so the red ones hurt you. Okay, now we can touch the red ones. Oh my gosh. This guy's just taking all my coins because of freaking lag. Thanks, lag. <coughs> Whoa, M. It's M again. Let's go. In the lead. Okay, we're going for the blues. Here we go. We're gonna get the W now. It's free right now. <coughs> that one's 
No. I'm not touching that, I refuse. Did I just get myself, like, zapped with you? <coughs> what? No, I won. Don't don't say he won. I won. Once I got 200 last second. Did he seriously win last second? I was at I was in the lead. Uh, I think saying Minish Cap is the best Zelda is like saying Rosario is the best Tails again. They're both really good. We'll probably consider them the best, but others are just better. South Park 64. I remember seeing that game. <coughs> Donkey Kong Jr. Racing. All right, Redley, join up, man. <coughs> the wind knows. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. <laughs> the sound of the ocean wave. Here is not a character anymore. Donkey Kong Jr. No, he's still a character. He's in Super Mario Kart. For the Nintendo Switch Online. With nature. <coughs> Redly, join me! Hmm. What in the what world, in the world? Does this really mean? <clears throat> it's Super Mario Kart for Nintendo Switch Online. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably like, why do you keep bumping me? Stop bumping me. Uh, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Ah. Hmm. What in the world ah. do these symbols really mean? Ah. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I've gotten literally everything on this boat. Chew. Whoa, it's Sir Nodal uh, Nodally Mini Celebrity Cool Gaming 62 Grinch Gamer. Hi! <coughs> Do those symbols really mean? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, there we go. About to say, man. About to say, I'm like, it's gonna go start up the, the next one, I guess. <coughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you said you were done with your cutscenes. I don't know what we were waiting for so long for. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, you probably never go on the ship, Pichu, considering how little you play the game, so... We don't play with randoms, though. We just play the two of us. That's kind of lame, actually. I was hoping we get some randoms in here too. No, I'm gonna ram you. I'm gonna ram you. Ugh. You're doing the event. Oh. Crazy, man. <coughs> Oh, stop giving me freaking whirlpools, man. Like, you get a whirlpool, you get a whirlpool, you get a whirlpool. Alright, I got one more coin in you right now. Okay, okay, we got some blue balloons. No, no. <coughs> Let's go. Ah. Not use. Oh wait, it's not re it's not blue anymore. Oh, it's red. Oh, I'm stupid. <coughs> Man, he's getting all of them right now. This is so bad. This is so bad. I'm so gonna lose this one. I didn't even 
grab that. 190! Oh my gosh, I'm getting owned. <coughs> no! It spawned right in my face! <coughs> oh, oh, he, he died too. He died too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's all about who dies last, am I right? Why am I one hit away from dying again? Oh gosh. What happened? Nice! GG's! GG's. Aura Maker. Total challenge coins obtained. Oh my. So I seriously lost at the last second in that last one? That's terrible. That was bad timing. <coughs> GG's, Redly, GG's. Alright, well, that's all the challenge points I need for this. Excuse me. Okay, let's go up there now. Can turn, I know, right? The boat does not steer the way you want it to. <coughs> Time to it go. is truly a curse. Yeah. Hello, Oz. I am here. Oh, jeez. Drifted into a balloon and died. <coughs> I know, right? Not a good way to go. Not a good way to go. But you tried. <coughs> All right. Into the wind. Boom. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. There we go. That's more like it. One with nature. I'm a little hungry too, honestly. Bro, I don't know. Watch the playthrough when I resume it. Uh, or better yet, go and watch the stream archive. Of it. It's been sitting there. Definitely quickly scroll through it and figure out your the answer to your question. <coughs> oh hey, Mystic Enhancement Ore. Wait, you're playing Mask of Deception? Okay, that's cool. I don't, like I said, I don't know. <coughs> I don't know why you'd be playing it if I already spoiled the entire plot for you, basically. Send the GIF. Illusion. What GIF are we talking about? The wind knows me. Uh, the wind knows me. All the leaves. Man, I love spamming elemental burst. Wait, that was it? Okay, next. Fair enough, then. Fair enough. Time to go. 
I don't know. I mean, a game like... I mean, Udo Wear Ramona was cool and all, but it didn't really seem like a game with a lot of replay value, if I'm being honest, but, you know, it's just their own. Aw, snap. <coughs> Good job, we win. Faster? Okay. Chi Chi sound effects are so unnecessary sometimes. <coughs> Was that really a fast load? It didn't seem fast. <coughs> oh great, Electro Slimes. My royal Bro. One with nature. Alright, that works. Boing. Very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Oh, yes, indeed. We're gonna go to the portals now. We're gonna go flying through things because we can, and then we fly through the things. <coughs> well, that's good anyway. Oh, yeah. Fire, man. Let's go. Oh, God. Everything's on fire. It's terrible. Everything's on fire randomly. <coughs> I <laughs> hit a shield rip. Let's hit the freaking shield with the burst, cause yes. Alright, opening boxes. <coughs> okay, uh, good challenge. Oh hey, it's in Sumeru. Eh, I mean, the characters are that well written, honestly, but I mean, eh, they're alright. How do you keep swirling Pyro? <laughs> because Hilla Churls. Hilla Churls love playing with fire. <coughs> Just kind of a fact of life, you know? Time to go. Oh, excuse me. Okay, boom. How did I swirl pyro this time? Where are the enemies at? <coughs> Hi, Nitro TJ. How are you doing today? What's up? Uh, see, you're cheating. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just like... Randomly swirl pyro because yes. <laughs> I mean, don't you know that uh, Kazaha's the only... <laughs> Kazaha's the only dual... Dual element character. He's a pyro animo character all in one. <coughs> it's so dumb. Sweet. <coughs> Quit that. I can't. Oh, I just can't. 
watching a few Genshin streams. Thanks for coming in ours today. How? I mean, like, yeah, Genshin's fun. Did you did you enjoy the lantern right? I'm enjoying this, especially because I'm just swirling pyro for literally no reason. Is that why you switched to Nahida? Because I keep swirling pyro. <coughs> Oh man, imagine seeing everything. Excuse me. Oh jeez, oh jeez, we are done, nice. Such an OP duo. Alright. <laughs> I don't know! I honestly don't know. I don't know why I keep swirling Pyro. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> It's not making any sense at all. I got another fate though, that's cool. Alright, next. Can we swirl more pyro, please? It's your first open world PC game experience? A nice. I think mine was... <coughs> Excuse me. You're gonna kill us both. I'm not trying to. I think my first, I want to say my first one was Skyrim. I mean, I played Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360, but I think for my first, like, PC open world, I think it was Skyrim for sure. Alright, here we go again. Here we go again. Why am I almost dead? Okay, well, at least we're not swirling pyro this time. <coughs> well, I'm about to die. So, uh, can we bring Chi Chi back, please? Kinda just getting murdered right now. Okay, but it's my first PC game experience in the open world. And Genshin was his first. By royal decree. I can't. This is... What the frick? I was like dead in mid air, like in the middle of my elemental skill. I was dead. <coughs> oh jeez. Good, good job, elemental bursting that electro slime. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, there we go. Dang, they're dying. So what was the first open world game you played on PC? For me, it was Skyrim. For him, it was Genshin. Pretty simple concept, honestly. Silly. <laughs> Thanks, Nitro. I appreciate it, man. Uh, if you're wondering why my voice is constantly dying, it just—I've been—I don't know. It's just, it just—it just happens sometimes. But I also have like a kind of like a chronic cough that doesn't really want to go away, that I've had for like a couple years. So if you ever wonder about that, it's just—that's just why. <clears throat> I think right now I got like a phlegm thing right now, so that's. Part of the cough at the same time, it's like, eh. It blocks COVID, that's funny. <laughs> oh man, but anyway, uh, Genshin stream wise, since you said you were finding Genshin streams, I do, I don't stream Genshin a lot. I usually stream it maybe like once or twice per update. So just keep that in mind. Wait. I don't want to wait, though. I need, I need to revive my nobody, actually. I'm not reviving anybody. I'm just going to switch characters. I'm going to use... Honestly, I don't know who I'm going to use. I'm going to use... Venti and... Yeah. <laughs> There we go, this makes sense. Not Wendy? Yeah. Yeah. Go for a swirl. 
Oh wait, Benji's not even ready. Of course he's not ready. <coughs> Imagine being ready, could be me. Gee, she is too short. Think you can get away? Oh well, it happens. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Mihoyo, please don't ban me for cheating. I'm, I'm totally not doing anything, I swear. <coughs> so dumb. For some more PC game was... That's literally... Okay, I was going to say. It was GTA 5. Okay, gotcha. They might be, but I mean, even then, I was fighting freaking mushrooms earlier and I swirled pyro, so what happened there? I, I'm, I'm still wondering about that part. That part really didn't make any sense. <coughs> well, I guess I can't do anything else. Taking my wood. Imagine taking the wood. Oh, hey, I got a crown. Let's go. I'm going to wait until I do my standard banner wishes. So this is a day in the life of the traveler. <laughs> wow, a day in the I'm life of the traveler. So time. inspirational. <laughs> All right, learn that, learn that. And that's it. A burning desire, pun intended. Spontaneous combustion, don't worry about it. Invite Yao Yao. No, I'm good. I I I think if I don't get Ningguang in the standard banner, I'm probably going to go for Ningguang C6. Cuz I think that makes sense. I definitely think that makes sense. Okay, so I gotta go over there. Can't initiate in co-op mode, which is a sucky thing. Oh wait, I need to revive Kazuha. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Let's go jumping in puddles and see who can make the biggest splash. He's the only good <laughs> dendritic four star. Dendri dendro. Why? Just why? <laughs> Honestly, Den Dendritic sounds kind of cool. Oh, a shame. I wanted to play some more. We should just make that a new word, Dendritic. Okay, Kaza, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revive you real quick. Well, I mean, if you're not already revived, that is. <coughs> Wait, where is he? Oh, he is already revived. Okay, okay, we're good then. You're a hundred percent good. Showcase an abyss run? I'd rather not. I already have 36 stars. Not to mention this abyss sucks because Golden Wolf Lord and Rift Towns. <coughs> At least I can 36 star, it's just still annoying though. Wouldn't gliding be faster? The last one was freaking like, what the crud was that, man? Like, I feel like even the most powerful characters in the in the universe couldn't even 36 star that abyss for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to Leeway and then proceed to kick you out so I can do the quest again. Let's go jumping in puddles and see who can make the biggest splash. But would what have you? How much wood do you need? Have you not gotten all the wood in your world yet? <coughs> Wait, commissions reset. When did that happen? Yeah, they definitely reset, alright. Hey, Redley, do my commissions, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, it's gone. It's already? Oh, a shame. I wanted to play some more. I'm just gonna shoot arrows out of her because yes. Anyway, gotta go see another video or stream. Thanks, Nitro TJ. Take care, man. Thanks for subscribing, some subscribing, 
And uh, I hope to see you around, man. We forest the entirety of Tevat. Need more wood. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, now we're eight minutes ago. I know, I know. I was... <laughs> Jeez, I wonder. Is this one of those co-op submission quests? It totally is, isn't it? <coughs> see you again, man. Alright, I'm gonna swap party members. I gotta swap to a friendship team. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I need friendship? I mean, don't we all need friendship? I mean, what? Um, uh, let's see. Let's use... I don't want to use Albedo. I'm going to use Razor and Rosaria. Chi Chi. Fungi are after you. Imagine. <coughs> Imagine having fungi after you. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go and talk to this person now. <coughs> Leave it to me. Go pick mushrooms. Things are going amazing, man. <coughs> Alright, well, I now proceed to die. That is the question. Oh, it's just pick mushrooms. Okay, we can do that. Alright, let's go. Mushroom. I'm gonna pick those mushrooms now. Oh, yes, we're gonna pick some mushrooms now. Oh, yes, we're gonna pick some mushrooms. Okay, where's the last mushroom? Oh, I haven't seen the last mushroom yet. Where is it? Where could it be? There it is. <coughs> Smooth. Now, do we need to submit these mushrooms in the co-op mode? I wonder. <coughs> Chi Chi and, and Nahida? Yeah, you're right. There is no synergy there. You're right. You suck. Game, you are so stupid. You are so stupid that you like, bro. My commissions stink, do they? What about defeat the fungi? You can do defeat the fungi, can't you? <coughs> I'll go do touring light show. You can go defeat the fungi, right? <coughs> I mean, I would think you'd be able to, but I don't know. Because you want to go defeat the fungi. Fungi's lame. Okay, that's defeat the fungi. I want to go to over here. Oh, the weasel thief. All right, I'm going to go kill the weasel thief now. <coughs> I can do all these commissions with Razor and Rosaria except for defeat the fungi. What do you mean the fungi are too strong? I thought your Chi-Chi was OP. By the way, Redly, I forgot to mention, my cheat sheet is actually 666. So, yeah. That's what she's at. Not whatever I said before. <coughs> she's just O. Oh. <coughs> What? Mine sucks, though. Mine doesn't even do 5k on hits. You probably use, like, a Pale Flame on her or something. Pale Flame Bloodstain. Doing that physical damage, man. Do-do-do-do-do-do. 
You have a problem? What's your problem? I would like to know the problem. <coughs> you can't reach them? Can't reach what? Who's them? Open chest in 50 seconds. The frick you can do that? Indeed it was. Didn't they add a randomizer mode to it, by the way? I've been questioning that lately. <coughs> I don't know if I should go back and play randomizer mode. They did? Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Empty chest. Good for storage. Wow. I've never heard that line before because I've never used Razor to open a chest before now. Please help. I don't know if I can really help with Razor and Rosaria, but I could try. <coughs> can I even reach that? Oh, wait, there's a thingy over here. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay, I don't know if he's about to finish the fungi mission or not. One out of three. Okay, hold on. I need to. I need to go on to. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna switch to Dendro really, really quickly. I'll do Kale in case you finish it before I. Okay, party set up. Blah, 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 blah. Back to Razor. Alright, there we go. Nice. Do I even know what I'm doing? No, I don't. Nice! Hmm. There are a few interesting trinkets here. All right, good job. Judgment. Oh, yes, Judgment, man. So cool. <coughs> totally pro move. Just leave stuff in an empty chest. Not like this is Minecraft. True. Very true. All right, I'm coming, Redly. I'm coming, but I'm going to die. And that's a fact. I don't know what nice to even means. I don't know Japanese. Please help, they're camping. It looks like you're doing just fine. <coughs> I don't see the problem. Emergency commission accepted. Uh, what's battle tendency? All right, let's go. Let's do this. Die, monster. All right, very nice. I missed. I see the problem. <laughs> I do see the problem. That's probably why I like using Kazaha. There's a chest over here too. You can't run. Can't run, but you can't hide. All right, all right. We need to kill this now too. <coughs> Very nice. Super conduct. I'm gonna die for literally no reason, probably. Do, 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 do. 
I do A15. That's not too bad for my dull blade razor. These things useful? No, they're not useful at all. Okay, I watched English dub in JoJo Pichu. Waster Greatsword. I swear I thought I had a razor with an actual weapon equipped, though. Why well, can't you just know it by name? Oh, yeah, I have my Deluc with a freaking prototype archaic. Of course I do. <coughs> I mean, I guess I could give Razor the bell, right? Right? Am I right, man? Give him the bell and he'll deal a little more damage. <coughs> oh, he has one five star artifact for some reason. Okay. At level 20. My artifact set literally just has crit rate because, yes. There's another one? Okay. <coughs> I suppose it doesn't really do me much good to use these characters right now. Alright, Eula... Eula Zhongli. What nice. Do we have here? That chest wasn't even appearing to me on the map, oh. that's so weird. Oh. I mean, literally, Joseph is perfect in English. I don't know what you're talking about. Crush. I mean, he was just, he's literally just as funny in English as he is in Japanese. More speed. Oh. <coughs> at least good luck I didn't know where the last the enemy was at, so I was just kind of confused and lost. These things also count towards your exploration percentage, I believe. At least they did in the other regions. I don't see anything else. Fungus from Among Us. Those little tower things that give you like 10,000 more randomly. They're made out of stone. Pretty sure those count towards your exploration and percentage, just like the treasure boxes in the ocean do. All right, Redley, I, I, I still gotta kick you though, cause I gotta do, I gotta finish Lantern right. And start all Haytham's story. <coughs> you saw one earlier? You know where it's at? Oh. Maybe. Very maybe indeed. Let us see. Alright, do, 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 do. <coughs> Cannot start challenge one co op mode. Oh, okay. That's cool, I guess. This game is so limiting. It's so sad, honestly. How can a game as broken as Scarlet and Violet have better co-op than this game? It doesn't make sense. Alright, I will go to Do 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 <coughs> Let's see, now we are sitting on nineteen thousand primo gems almost. Nice. Mm, give me your meat. Thank you for giving me your meat. You have no clue where it was. Ah. Well, that's alright. It happens. Thanks for trying, anyway. I don't 
can't see anything either. Maybe it was never real to begin with. <coughs> Alright, but I, I gotta go finish Lantern right. Finishing Lantern right is coming for you. You better watch out for the Lantern right indeed. Turning to single player mode because I have to finish Lantern right. Bum 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 dun 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 Oh I forgot about the I forgot about the commission. What do you mean that was mean? I gotta finish lantern right, man. Silly goose. Did I did I not die? <coughs> I was trying to sacrifice Kazaha to the Ganyu gods. <sighs> Greetings, traveler and Paimon. Uh, what time is it? I didn't hear Kazaha you die, though. Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? Uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Let's discuss the matter at hand. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot about the story Paimon told me. In essence, someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. If that were all there was to it, it could have been many people. Human or Adeptus. But the tune was allegedly three so times. wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else. Even his own impending death. And only came to his senses after being brought to shore. Perhaps there was an Adeptal power at work in that music that... He, as a mortal, could not perceive. I don't know what Mountain Doom or is. Perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him, but lacked the words to describe it. And we're definitely not, not throwing her in from. there. Either way, if this part of the story is true, then the rescuer has to have been an Adeptus. You really think so? Never watched Lord of the Rings. This story's all the way from Fontaine. <coughs> Isn't this a bit of a long shot? Also, Paimon's really curious about how people from Fontaine think this fairy lady looks. Maybe they gave her horns. I do everything wrong. You're right. <laughs> and she looked just like Ganyu. Hmm. Guess that does technically make sense. Actually, Ganyu, if you had to save a drowning person, how would you go about it? Uh, I would swim me? after them. Um. Well, I get them to the shore. Okay, Pichu. That's more than I have. I'd Probably hide behind a tree and watch them for a while. Once I was sure that they were going to be okay, I'd slip away without a sound. Yeah, that's funny when that happens, Redly. I agree. So stealthy. So cute. Got it. So basically, Ganyu's a What? I wanted a reaction out of that. Gosh dang it. Whatever. Fine. No, it's not like that. I'm just not very good at explaining things. And I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Well, what if this Adeptus in the story had a similar attitude? That would explain why she just left without saying a word. She was probably thinking something <coughs> like... <clears throat> One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this... And I don't know any of the lore, Pichu. ...one's graceful zithering at once. You may keep your thanks to yourself. <laughs> that was actually a very good impression of Cloud Retainer, Paimon. As far as I'm aware, Cloud Retainer isn't the most musically gifted. Still, we can't completely rule her out just yet. Um, if we set off now, we could head to Mount Outsung and ask her about it. You'll be able to confirm either way if it's her, and I can... Um, I mean, I know I've you shall not pass, and that's so basically my that knowledge of Lord of the Rings. I'm not familiar with the Adepti anymore. If there's anything we want to know about them, she's the best person to ask. Sounds great! And we're pretty close with Cloud Retainer by now, so we probably don't even need to bring her food this time, right? You I shall not pass! Festival, just in case. <coughs> However... It's always funny when Regal Bryant in freaking Tales of Symphonia says that line to, You shall not pass! Like, oh my gosh, no. You figured that was a Harry Potter? No, definitely not Harry Potter.
Um, Cloud Retainer spends most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. She's on her own so much of the time that the moment she has someone to chat with, she just... Never mind. I promised I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and now that I've made the contract, I can't be having second thoughts. Traveler? Paimon? Let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. Seems like this is a tough decision for Ganyu, but she's made up her mind now. I know, right? Where does the freaking J sound come from? Okay, how about this? If Cloud Retainer tries to start telling stories about her again this year, we should pipe up and change the topic. Wait, did she leave already? Hey, Ganyu! Wait up! They go hard for new replaceable soul started. <coughs> so, um, I'm gonna just go over here real quick because yes. <coughs> I was gonna say, is that a book I can pick up? Kinda looks like a book you can pick up, honestly. I'm going for it right now, Redley. I'm going for it right now. Time to go. Down here, right? Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Radiant Spin Crystal 27. I just saw it in my DMs like literally just now, so. Made an immediate beeline for that. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish that commission, then I'm gonna go back to Lantern Rise. <coughs> Let's go. That gives you music in your teapot. It's called a radiant spin crystal. You managed to gather the mushroom. Yes, I did. Wonderful. Is this before or after taxes? There's taxes in this world? Dang. Alright, that's done. Do indoor sets? I need to do that too, honestly. Add Astra. <coughs> Thank you for comp. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I've basically done all my weeklies, it looks like, so that's kind of nice. <coughs> Sucks I can't really do that until the next Abyss reset, but oh well, what can you do? I've done all the, all the event stuff, though. Okay, cool. And now we just go ahead and switch back to this party, because yes. Wait, what weekly? What do you mean? Weekly boss? I don't want to do weekly bosses, though. Oh gosh, don't fling myself off a cliff. Ugh. You, you, 36 star the abyss though you can't be too weak <coughs> there's no way man do, 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 do. my Kazaha did not die apparently so I guess he really did survive barely Retainer is not here. Huh? Did we miss her? She doesn't like to travel. So in the past, it's always been the other Adepti who come to visit her during the festivals. You're running in trouble? Somehow Paimon doubts that anything could cause serious trouble for her. I'm True. ahead of you in a battle pass? Now wow. Now think about it, 
Cloud Idea <coughs> would be quite capable of taking care of anything on her own. There's no need to worry about her. Since she's not here... Except for the, the fact that was an act because he was trying to get Mace Windu off guard and Anakin fought uh -oh. on the dark well, side. A lot more traveling. Mm, um, 20, Redley, 20. Paimon has a great idea. Please go on, Paimon. <coughs> Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped Dvorak's ancestor, right? We can't hear any music right now, but if she's really as nice as the story suggests, she'd definitely come to help anyone who was drowning, right? Ooh. Yes, I think that's fair to say. So, all we have to do is get the Traveler to pretend to fall into the water, and the Adeptus will come to the rescue! If you're so sure, why don't you try? You know perfectly well that Paimon can't swim! Paimon would sink like a rock! I guess I can give it a try. Just trust Paimon! The water's pretty deep over there! Quick, swim to the very center! He always looks so done. When does he not look done? Dude, what if I didn't want to swim? Rise. Okay, Quake. we gotta make this happen. We gotta make this happen, man. Rise. <coughs> Someone carries you ashore so quickly on? you don't catch who it is. Well, the pillar is still there. How do you feel right now? Oh, it's Shen He. Wow, the character they totally forgot existed because they haven't given her a second banner yet. Still, <coughs> Zhao Camp's Ether. <coughs> uh, Shen He and the Conqueror of Demons. Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. <sighs> okay, fine. Paimon will explain. We're looking for an Adeptus who's good at being a lifeguard and playing music. But if the Adepti aren't going to stay home, then how are we supposed to find them? What pronunciation? It wasn't me. Uh, yeah, so this Adeptus is most likely a woman. And I am not an Adeptus, as you both already know, Traveler and Paimon. <sighs> okay, so this is Paimon's fault. No way Whose pronunciation? Mine or Paimon? Yes, you know how awkward this was gonna be. I'm sorry. Sorry for troubling you both. <sighs> Glad you're okay. You're leaving already? As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. And one last thing. <clears throat> Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. Not as fast as I was instant transmission. As ever, the conqueror of demons comes and goes, just like the wind. Right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. How's Hi, Nitro. Doing? Welcome Shall back. I... Have you made any plans for Lantern Rite? We could spend it together in Liyua Harbor if you'd like. Sturdy birch vanity, indeed. Oh, I had planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However... Oh, speaking of Cloud Retainer, when did you see her last? Earlier this morning. She set off for Mount Hulao at dawn. I noticed she was using an Adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Hmm. Maybe it was a gift for Mountain Shaper. I did not inquire. Uh, so we just missed her. Please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. Sure. Thank you. It sounds like Ganyu and Shenha have gotten a lot closer recently. Yes. During the summer and winter, I continue to train with Master. In the other months of the year, 
I have been learning to adapt to human life in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu arranged accommodations for me in the city, and also recommended several work positions for me. But when I try to blend in by referring to her as Miss Ganyu or Lady Ganyu, like the others, she says I mustn't address her like that. Hmm. Sometimes I'm supposed to copy other people, sometimes I'm not. It's a little difficult to keep track of everything. Ganyu gets embarrassed and people call her Lady Ganyu. Oh, is that what it is? Hm. Noted. So, you came looking for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the Mystery Adeptus. Is that right? Yep. Oh, speaking of that, have you ever heard any music while out training in the mountains? Music? What is that? Uh, it's... Uh, a kind of a happy or relaxing sound. Or a, a nerve-wracking sound. Primordial gems? Or even a terrifying one. Randomly's okay, been watching too much Yes 9 I also left her a note so that she knows where to find us. We won't miss her again. Yay! That's really helpful. Thanks! We were just talking about this thing called music, and based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. Oh, really? Great, let's go! Let's go! <coughs> Your teapot is cool, it's very cool. You find Paimon annoying and adorable? Interesting. <laughs> Usually people either say one or the other, but not both. I find that interesting. I don't know, Paimon's alright. She's alright. I don't find her annoying. Like most people do. I just want to go on top of this mountain right now. Thank you very much, please. <sighs> What is ours Gotia? Rise! Oh, come on, come on, give me give me the goods. Give me the goods. Crumble! The share a birthday and a brain cell? No. This is the place. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. The music from that pillar, you know? Oh, you haven't played for a while? Oh. How long has it been? Oh no! Paimon's got death! Paimon can't hear anything! Me too. My condolences, Paimon. Oh, whew. Paimon hasn't gotten death after all! Paimon heard you when you just spoke. Uh, anyway, uh, where is this music? The faint sound of birdsong. The quiet murmur of the streams. <sighs> These are relaxing sounds. <clears throat> are they not the music of which you speak? Oh. Uh, Paimon wasn't quite done with the description. <laughs> okay, fine. It's all Paimon's fault. What we're looking for are not the sounds of nature, but melodies played on special instruments. Yo, yo, could destroy <laughs> writing. And a melody is... Yanni, why don't you sing that folk song you sing to glaze lilies? No, no, no. Paimon's got to sing us a nursery rhyme. Hey! Don't you patronize Paimon! Let's get one thing straight. Paimon knows plenty of nursery rhymes, but Paimon does not sing on demand without payment. Hey, why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand what we're talking about. Fingers crossed, this won't attract any Whopper flowers. Whoa. Whoa. Over half a year? Oh, dang. <coughs> that has been a while. Oh, was that from the opera that Yunjin sang? Mm-hmm. That was a melody, and melodies can be called music. It felt like I was transported back to the past, 
In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. <sighs> Is ball Dr. Sigmund Connell? <laughs> and drinking to our heart's content on the Jade Chamber. As I watched Yun Jin's performance, I felt a warm sensation in my heart. <sighs> and as the drink reached my stomach, it went from warm to hot. When you hummed that melody just now, feelings from a whole year ago came right back to me, as strong as they were on that day. Huh. Both have a connection with so electricity. that's the power of music. Mm. It's true. Wow. That's true. I didn't think about that part, actually. That was so deep! Music definitely has the power to bring up memories. It's like a time capsule with all the special moments from our life squished inside. What about you, Ganyu? Are there any melodies that have left a deep impression on you? The one that's playing um, right now, of course. I don't remember if my parents ever sang any lullabies to me. I know some local folk songs. And a few other things come to mind, too. The songs of the sailors down at the docks. The little ditties that the vendors call out in front of their beloved shops. The tunes of folk artists performing on the streets. Oh, so you're half a year hiatus wasn't really by choice then i see i see dang that sucks though all the sounds of viewway harbor yes that's right in the past whenever i heard the sound of those tunes i always felt that they were worlds apart from me many in Liyue probably view me as a non-human and they are right in the sense that I never could connect with humans' artistic expression and their sentiments. So I haven't been able to integrate into their community and be a part of their lives. That's a lot of primordial least, gems. That's the view I held in the past. Only more recently did I start to realize that the only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all that different from other people after all. They're about mundane details of everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, joys and sorrows. Even though we come from different backgrounds and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things that we see and experience around us each day in the city, in that sense, we're all the same. Oh, well, fingers you crossed you get access to the PC You're back then. Harbor when you think about it. Like, um. Okay, maybe some are more like co workers and bosses, but at the very least, Kuching and Chenna are your friends now, right? Yes, I am. Technically speaking, we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. Why is she but so tall compared to Ganyu? A friendship. I do believe we are more friends than co-disciples. Thank you, everyone. Standing in a higher Once elevation, she seems warmer, like she's so much I taller. I host you at my home in the city. Please, invite Kuching as well. I've planted many types of flowers. I'm sure some of them will be to your taste. Ah, uh, you are too kind. I couldn't possibly. Nonsense. You are my friend. I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. <laughs> We're just so Once you've keep seen them for sure. yourself, I am sure you can advise me how to do an even better job next time. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I will save some for decoration. We can feast on the rest. <laughs> then, thank you in advance. Wait, what is that saying again? If you insist? Aimon's annoying because that. everything you can say also comes from her mouth I'm and her dialogues are very long. Either. It doesn't matter, okay? You got the point across. No need to split well, hairs. Yeah, uh, this is definitely pretty long. I'm more concerned about your idea of a girl's night out. Eating flowers? Really? Does this have anything to do with you both being the disciples of that illuminated bird? I like how the first thing Paimon says after that is a freaking paragraph. Like, yup. <laughs> okay. I doubt Kaching will be munching on any flowers. <coughs> hmm. Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title, but merely as that illuminated bird? Master. Hello. Our greetings, Cloud Retainer. Ah! There it is! The illuminated bird has landed! 
double humph. Now she has the gall to use it rather than she, even after being chastised once already. Well, Cloud Retainer got a moment has got to make sure we respect Cloud Retainer's pronouns here. Has reached new heights. Very well. If you refuse to learn your lesson, one shall scold you no further. One has received your message from Ganyu. On the matter of the Adeptus you seek, one suspects to know their identity. Cloud Retainer discovered Twitter. Well, shall one lead the way? Yes, please, Cloud Retainer. I still have to complete my training for today, so I will bid farewell to everyone here. Very well. Await my arrival at one's abode later this night. On this special occasion, you should indulge yourself with some savory dishes. Happy lantern right, Shen He. If you want to release a Shao lantern, come and find us anytime. Thank you, everyone. Happy lantern right to you, too. <laughs> Shen Hua. Why does Paimon share a name with the deep Paimon? Why does Paimon share a birthday with me? <laughs> that is the real question. Wait, you did just mention that? I didn't see that. Yo, Ham, what's up, man? Yo, sup, everyone, boys and girls, helicopters and basketball, the meme is back, let's go. Hello, Ham. Ham, I am. How are you doing? <laughs> Stabilize. That's not the same thing. That's just completely different. I would say it's different anyway, but I don't know. Dude, nice. Is this Quailey Plains? Cloud Retainer, why did you bring us here? Well, the pillar's still there. God, you is of course familiar with the name Guizhong, but have you ever heard of her? Heard it somewhere. Guizhong is another name of Agentis, the god of dust. She was extroverted in nature and adored social gatherings and inventions alike. Long ago, this region was yet a prosperous assembly. Gui Zhang often invited her friends to visit her home, reserving for us seats around the largest stone table. Seagazer would always bring out his latest treasure and place it upon the table. Wait, I thought they just said Gan Yu was uh, Gui Zhang. quite the braggart. Though usually a mild-mannered fellow, when it came to those collectibles <coughs> he was so fond of, he always loved to show them off. Paimon remembers that name. So that's what Seagazer was like. He was an old friend and a former rival. One has many memories of him. Once he had brought out the treasure, it would predictably become the center of attention. Neither Gui Zhang nor one was content to let him just steal the spotlight. So we would then also present our proudest mechanical creations. Don't get struck by As lightning. As I, we were each gifted in our own ways, and naturally proud of our accomplishments and our respective fields of expertise. As a result, one often quarreled with Seagazer. His treasures were not even of his own making. He just used his exploration skills to dig them out of the ground. How, pray tell, could he compare to me when every single one of one's accomplishments were crafted by one's own hand? Cloud Retainer, you are getting competitive again. Uh-oh. <clears throat> one digresses. Regardless, every time an argument occurred, Wei Zhang would come over to watch us during our mutual lambastics. On some occasions, she would join in, and on others, she'd take one of us by the limb and start uttering the most ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> uttering. What kind of nonsense? No kind of nonsense were we spared. Sometimes she would brazenly opine, 
Ah, why argue between yourselves when neither of you could ever hope to beat me? Other times, she would make unsolicited suggestions, such as, once you two are done arguing, let's go to the foot of the mountain and grill some meat. She always sought to make everyone happy. And one must say... Did you like it, Ham? ...quite the gift for it. No matter what nonsense she said, one never felt bothered or offended. That is fun. It also fun. helped that she never referred to one as that illuminated bird or ladybird. Come on, get over yourself. <laughs> anyway, just as our impassioned arguments would reach the apex of acrimony, Marchosius would bring his delectable dishes to the table. Who would dare snub the stove god and his wondrous creations? At the sight of him, we would all immediately drop the argument and prepare the table for a night of feasting and drinking. <laughs> Alpha Snorlax, <laughs> Back nice. Then, one was always bothered by how the cups Rex Lapis brought were always too square for one's taste. Can you see yourselves ever enjoying a drink from a square cup? I mean, really matter? I mean, it's a square cup. I mean, I don't think I'd really mind. I feel like I wouldn't mind. Then you are most <coughs> different, but that is its own virtue. Even one could never find fault with Marchosius's cooking. As we ate, Guizhong would continue to find topics for conversation, filling the table with humor and laughter. Each of those old fossils had their character flaws and points of obstinacy. So why was it that whenever we dined together, we always had a marvelous time? We would drink together from a spot high in the mountains, until the moon set and the sun rose, and only then would the banquet finally come to an end. Streetwood Rambler would often remain to admire the flowers with Guizhong before returning to her own abode. The glazed lilies were far more abundant back then. Entire fields of them would appear to the eye as a veritable sea of flowers. Streetwood Rambler? That would be Ping. You probably know her as Madam Ping. Ooh, oh, Madam Ping. Okay. Wait. This is a lovely story and everything, but didn't we come here to find that Adeptus from Mr. Dvorak's story? You know, or I don't know the best way to level up, actually. It was Guizhong. Didn't she... um... already... um... Alas, long has one avoided this place for precisely that reason. The sights here are a reminder of a time long gone. And evoke much sorrow. One should have guessed that you would disrupt one's poignant moment of mourning with your incessant questioning. No matter, one will share the whole story with you now. Oh yeah, catching things is EXP2, doesn't it? So do that too. Oft with Guizhong concerning mechanical principles. We each had our ideals, and neither would yield. Under the pretext of a social gathering, one invited the impartial Rex Lapis to judge the quality of our creations. But Rex Lapis declared that Guizhong's obscuro vulpus mechanism was superior. <laughs> Though one was too proud to acknowledge it, in one's heart, one knew that Guizhong was indeed the superior talent in the mechanical arts. As for the story between Guizhong and Streetwood Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. In Guizhong's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute for human composers, they were yet capable of producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetwood Rambler believed music to be an expression of the soul, an emotional enterprise that could never hope to be replicated by machinery. They argued endlessly, until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede, he confiscated the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Thereafter, one would often find them convening in the mountains, 
Discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal. Why was Rex Lapis a human in that one? I thought he was only a human until but these just recently. Good times were not to last. War <coughs> broke out between the gods and soon engulfed the Gueli plains. Wei Zhang was overpowered by the Running enemy from cops is and hard. fell in Very battle. True. When Streetwood Rambler and I arrived at the scene at long last, all that remained among the ruins was her lifeless body. Oof. After this, sure am. at Streetwood Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches to her ballistic device. Man, I love ballistic devices. Many lantern rites have passed since then. Many greetings and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Gwaili Plains? No. It's... everything. We think of human life as like a lantern that's... lit one minute and extinguished the next. But are we Adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, we too must one day return to the world below. Well, this has got to be one of my favorite genders. <laughs> one has always been oh, austere no. and private by nature, and has never relished socializing. One's dealings with Guizhong were born out of discussions on the discipline of mechanics. What? You have loads of friends, and you seem pretty chatty. Just because one is not ignorant of social graces does not mean one is fond of them. One is perfectly capable of partaking in conversation despite being introverted. But in the end, one is nothing like Streetwood Rambler. She is dauntless but thoughtful, not to mention eloquent and wise. Moreover, her friendship with Guizhong was far greater than one's own. Back when they were rivals, they would often compete against one another in the realm of musical composition. That cleansing bell was one of Guizhong's proudest works, having the ability to both compose and perform. Wait, that's weird. Didn't Madame Ping say she pestered an old friend for that bell? Lightning and she strike. Also said something about being a vain beauty when she was young or something. Streetward Rambler, a vain beauty. <laughs> My foot. That bell has a sad history. Clearly, she refrained from sharing with you the truth of its origins, since the right time had not yet come. As for her old friend, who else could it be? As soon as Streetward Rambler heard, that a certain Zhang Li wished to borrow the bell. She realized that the man was none other than Rex Lapis, and that he had made an enormous decision. After all, we all have known each other for several millennia. Some things between us are implicitly understood. Whoa! So they were talking in secret code? Oh, First I might armor. not see that one coming. <laughs> Enough of your intrusions. Where was one up to? Ah, yes. One remembers now. The cleansing bell is powered by a mechanical art and can be used to great effect as an accompanying instrument. After the passing of its creator, it was used on numerous occasions during rites of parting. But Streetward Rambler did not acquire it from Rex Lapis for the purpose of producing further funerary tunes. No. Each time she rang it, it was to play the tune that Guizhong composed on it. The two once clashed over their beliefs about the meaning of music. Who would have thought that with Guizhong's passing and Streetward Rambler's mourning, Two tunes composed in discord would eventually become one harmonious composition. <sighs> Once upon a time, 
Streetwood Rambler also loved gatherings, liquor, and music. But after Gui Zhang passed, she preferred her own company. She could often be found sitting alone at a mountain summit, contemplating and reminiscing with her zither. The music would go from mournful to soothing to impassioned. Many years passed before she finally composed a melody to her satisfaction. In celebration, she played the tune to the clouds. Regrettably, one has only ever heard her play that tune once. Which brings one back to the matter you've been investigating. Perhaps it was during that performance that the ancestor of your Fontaine friend fell into the water and was saved by Streetwood Rambler. But if she was so happy with the melody, why would she only play it once? One was also greatly perplexed by this. After suppressing one's curiosity for a long while, one finally approached her and asked why she would retire the tune after having spent so long on it. In response, she said, Though the strings that played that melody survive, the one who inspired it is gone. Tell me, Cloud Retainer, when the one attuned to my soul is no longer here, who else could hope to understand this tune? Oh my gosh, it's totally not Scaramouche. Hi, totally not Scaramouche. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Aw, poor Madam Ping. I just remember being taken care of by you when I was young. Once the Archon <laughs> War came to an end, I stayed behind in Liyue Harbor to honor my contract. Although I met Guizhong a few times, I never knew anything of this particular story. Gui Zhang was quite the visionary. But tragedy what would you like to borrow Eula for? Her, time. her manuscripts still lie unfinished in the realm of clouds. The blank pages give one cause for contemplation on what might have been. Had you not decided to search for that mystery Adeptus, perhaps these stories too would have been lost to the sands of time. I don't think Eula gives you potted plant crystalline breeze, just saying. As of now, you know the truth. That the Adeptus who rescued the drowning man was none other than Streetwood Rambler. Do you intend to discuss this with her? Uh, Do you mean I don't know. Ping might find the topic too distressing? Precisely. The passing of our old friend is a heavy topic that both of us are usually careful to avoid. If I may be so bold, Cloud Retainer, could it be that this is just your own personal opinion? Oh? How so? I've been in Leo Harbor for quite a long time now, and I've witnessed many farewells along the way, so... I, too, am well acquainted with the pain of the passing of a loved one. But this doesn't bring the city or its people to a standstill. They have to keep moving forward. Someone as perceptive and wise as Ping will surely have come to understand and embrace this. Though these immortal mountains have lost an Adeptus, the harbor of mortals has gained a wise elder. No loss can ever be undone. <laughs> But there is always much that can still be gained. Ping has helped countless people, and will guide many others in the years to come. And all to whom she extends a helping hand become her friends. People she can admire flowers and discuss music with. Though it is heartbreaking to lose a kindred spirit, life goes on. Because there are new friends waiting for you further down the road. Ganyu is right. We even asked Madame Ping what she thought about adding a music festival to this year's Lantern Rite. Oh, when we get back, why don't we just ask her if she'd like to perform? Maybe we can even get her up on stage. <laughs> you youngsters and your imaginations. Why don't you come with us? It's been a long time Offering? since you last spoke with Ping. 
And Leoa Harbor is always decorated so beautifully during the festival period. Is not every lantern rite the same in this regard? Were there ever anything new to discuss, one in pink could meet any day of the year. I disagree. Each new day and each new year is different from those that have come before. How long will you simply let them pass you by? Nothing else, do it for Ganyu. Do it as a favor for me. Hmm. The edibles she brought this time were indeed quite delectable. Very well. Then one will be off. If the other old fossils have sneaked away into the city to amuse themselves, one shall soon find out. All right. We should be getting back to the harbor as well. We don't want to keep her waiting. <sighs> Once the Gwaili assembly, now the Gwaili plains. Say, if we planted flowers there, and cared for them carefully enough, do you think that one day we'd be able to recreate the Sea of Glaze Lilies? Allow one to take back one's praise from a moment prior. You are still far too given to flights of fancy, child. What? Cloud Retainer? Y you were still listening? I can't one believe it! One that you were making no effort to leave. And return to chasten and hasten you. This time, one is departing in earnest. <laughs> okay. General Leeway Harbor and talk to Madam Ping. What if I don't want to talk to Madam Ping? I'm feeling forced into this right now. It's just like, nope, nope, nope. You're gonna do this and you're gonna like it. Wait. This. Oh, for the stupid TCG thing. Okay, I gotcha. Saw that. I'm like, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Go back to town. Oh my gosh. Help. How may I help you? How may I help you on this fine e Oh. More speed. Do 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 Oh. Uh excuse me. That makes more sense. Ooh, a Yan Mega. Very nice. Quake! Excuse me. Whoa! Madam Ping? And Cloud Retainer? It appears you made haste after all. One arrived but moments before you. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Miss Illuminated Bird, haven't you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? You're the one who's known Madame Ping the longest. <sighs> Street word. <clears throat> or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Oh, Cloud Retainer, you are uncommonly polite today. One, uh... uh hmm. Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. Ahem. Ganyu, please continue from here. Huh? Uh, all right. So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. Johnny recounts the story to Madam Ping. Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Oh, sorry. Ah, let I me can't... think. I'm looking at something real quick. Yes. I do believe I recall that encounter. Uh... 
What a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. <laughs> it appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? We like to call her Guizhong. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I sense that she has already told you all about her. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. Oh. <laughs> there is no harm done. After all, Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liu Wei. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. she proven herself right again exactly once upon a time she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom but as she interacted more and more with them her opinions on them began to change she marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake. With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them, and a human who has reached their full potential may well be her equal. Someone who could have as much to teach an adeptus as to learn from them. Hm. She always had a way with words. That her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Of course. Gui Zhang and one both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. As Gui Zhang once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. When I see the site of Liyue Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. Well, she's been through a lot in her time. Also, if you're going to sleep, Pichu, good night, man. Sleep well. I'll see you later. Bradley the Yon Mega. Do it. Do it. <sighs> of all of us. What? It was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. Oh. <laughs> if she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. I can make arrangements right away. Oh. As much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm, it's been a long time since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did. And don't hate everything. I play What's that wrong? Tune, it always reminds me of her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming. It almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too. 
looking just like they did in the old days. No matter how much time goes by, the moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? Oh, I would be lying to myself if I claimed to have completely moved on. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that even if one wished to mourn for an eternity, it would be a nigh impossible feat. Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. <laughs> be that as Ooh, it may. That sucks, Ridley. I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. Well, if you're sure. Granny! <laughs> it's Yanfei! What's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Oh, and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no. Everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Well, in that case, happy lantern ride, everyone. Happy lantern ride. Happy lantern ride. Oh, I, I just remembered that I had some... Uh, work to do at your high pavilion that I need to discuss with Yenfei. I haven't been able to find a chance until now. I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer, Ping, we will be off for now. Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu! <laughs> It seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. What a pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Since it's been <coughs> so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. When you next see the Fontaine musician, Please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You got it, Madam Ping. Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my nattering for one day. As for that melody, I will play it for you all another time. Goodness knows I need to practice it first. <laughs> when that time comes, where my <laughs> spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains. I'm on an ether, got that, that synergy Perhaps going, that's for sure. She will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. All right. Let's do it, man. Let's freaking go. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do 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 do. Zing Shu Ning Wang Zhang Li Yunjin. A lot of people. That's definitely a lot of people indeed. All of them Geo too, except for one character. Ah, oh, so close. Right. Perfect. Mr. Oh, almost, almost. Ah, and Kuching's here too. Thanks for helping <coughs> us up. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. <coughs> are, are you serious? Got the true story of the fairy lady to Kaching and Dvorak. Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? 
That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally, a deaf guy don't age at all. But she, <coughs> Rambler, or Madam Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. It's just Madam dumb in general, Vamp. It's just dumb in general. Wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Yep, Kuching summed it up perfectly. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. I think... Hmm, yes. I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. Ah, speaking of, Madam Ping wishes you all the best at the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. Just treat it like any other performance. Okay, all right. Nope, another <coughs> order is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. I don't know, two plus hours, I suppose. Uh, Mr. Dvorak? <sighs> He's already gone. Paimon wasn't even finished telling him everything. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Please, share your insights with me. Uh, well, we found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Um, it can make people happy and mood, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. And music is, like, a kind of memory written in people's hearts. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. Background music is it the Leeway main theme, right? I don't know. Need a lot for this one, Rip. Pretty much, though, that was more to it than that. That was a broad summary, but not the most detailed. <laughs> it sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry. I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Wait, does that mean you're going to carry on working? Mm-hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Happy Lantern Rite! Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. Whew. That should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. Paima feels like she's forgetting something. Ugh. What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. Ah, uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! Bamboozle soup! Zhang Li said he wasn't in a hurry, so... If we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway... Aw, poor Cloud. Make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked him by himself. Ugh. Anyway... Let's go check with him at Wang Chung Funeral Parlor. Oh wait, what? Okay. Hold on a second, I need to check something real quick. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, ba ba da ba do 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 ba 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 do ba ba do 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 do, 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 do. Gonna run over to the Wang Shang Funeral Parlor because we gotta go run over there right now. Oh my gosh, it's Tao. Say bamboo, everyone says Paimon. Right. Paimon's my favorite bamboo. Mm hmm. Da 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 Oh! All right, let's take a break here. Oh, wow, look who it is! Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? So you just 
casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh, okay. You're, uh, freaking me out a little. I, uh, wow. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all Always this second open week of school. space. A clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Invisible audience members? Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Who's way of talking. <laughs> Shinyan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Come on, knock it off. What's wrong? I've never seen Ribbit. someone look so confused Whoa. before. Ribbit. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, M. looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shinyan's chorus and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. Heck yeah! For sure! The whole dance floor will be yelling encore! Encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Huh. Guess we'll just have to trust Chinyan on this one. Have you seen Zhongli, Director Hu? Oh, Zhongli. Director Hu. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Shinyan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth, though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here. Especially if you're in the mood to try something new. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. Actually, Shinyan, what jump scares? I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Oh, sure thing. I'm all ears. Oh, Traveler and Paimon. I believe Zhang Li was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhongli, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight. But I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. Aw, I'm sorry though, Cloud. I hope you feel better though soon. Bamboo Mount Hu Tao, I know, right? Mount Hu Lao, more like Mount Hu Tao. <laughs> oh gosh, that's that's great. That's some good stuff though. Oh no, wait, wait, what? Wait, how did I get turned around like that? That was so weird. That was bizarre. Don't know you know where I'm going. Oh, I want to stab that bird, but I couldn't do it. I haven't seen that. Barely. It's illuminated deer and illuminated bird number two. Greetings, everyone. Long time no see. Hmm, a familiar face. Have you come from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? The you pillar know, almost blocked him. So curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself. In fact, Mooncarver has been taking Hi, on Mount Tianhung in recent times. 
I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Shangli <laughs> looks for Shangli. Hey, here you are. <laughs> We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted. Impeccable timing. Oh, that's funny. Shangli puts the net. No, I don't know. Traditionally, that. bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait. That mechanism. Is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her Supreme Cuisine Machine. Can Supreme Cuisine machine? machine? What the flip? Uh, actually, never mind. She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yes. Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Of course. Oh, Zhang Li, who tells us to tell you something? Those are definitely characters, she Redley. Said, it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. When she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh... She didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. As for the banquet, hmm... Since the Director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Hmm. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of this machine is commendable indeed. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Bum bum bum. Return to Liwei Harbor. I intend to reminisce with my old friends for a while longer. You ought to get back to Liwei Harbor. There is a performance you do not want to miss. What the heck is that? Had one known that Cloud Retainer was in possession of such eminently useful devices, one would have sought to borrow one from her long ago. And yet, since you share my lack of enthusiasm for mechanisms and fine dining, it would have become a mere decorative ornament in your abode. Not so. Had one had such a device to make up for one's lack of culinary prowess, Shenha would not have had to rely on flowers and herbs alone for sustenance, while under one's care. Hmm. In that case, shall we rendezvous the with... The deer's voice freaking sounds like Alucard from Symphony of the of Night. One more supreme cuisine machine. A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. And again... What again? I'm so confused and what's going on right now. Oh man, that deer's got a great voice though. But seriously, sounds like freaking Symphony of Night Alucard. Like what That's so weird. I know it's not him, but okay. That range was very close. I was not putting a pillar down in this cutscene, no way man. <coughs> to be here on the iridescence tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hutao, and this is a little something called <laughs> the Bling Lilies. Doing what, Redley? <laughs> zero rhythm Tao time. What? What do you mean zero rhythm? It's Hai Chong Yun, Gong Li. I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. Light Oh, 
you'll get burned! Hey! Woo! Yeah! Who Tao joining Jin Yen on stage for a song seems Does really anyone random. Does have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? I can't miss out on that. <laughs> Want to engrave it into your mind. Mm. Kind of nice. Yeah, I agree. Whoa, I, it was Chi Chi. <laughs> Zhao, those ruin guards did nothing to you. Town Zing Shu canonically have rap battles. Ichi Impact. Imagine Chi Chi Impact. Couldn't be me. Carried an entire conqueror of demons. Wow. Oh, that's kind of OP. The year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I. Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern. We're all crazy, Cloud. We're all crazy. And that's okay. And you must take it to Liu Harbor to display its magnificence for all. Got a good OST. That's, that's understandable. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you're, you're, only as, you're only as crazy as you want to be, Cloud. You're only as crazy as you want to be. <laughs> That's a lot of listening. Oh, there's a jump scare. How come Jin Yen and Hu Tao's song didn't last that long? That was like a very short song. I wanted to hear them sing longer. Oof, every piece. That's a rip. Quest completed to be continued. What do you mean to be continued? Wait, there's more? I knew a ten Hu Tao's dinner. Okay. Wait. Are these two the only ones that are here? Okay. Now I need to get a move on and write my next song. Listen to you. You only just fulfilled one lifetime dream. Are you really thinking about your next goal already? Don't try to tell me you ain't the same way. I bet you've already thought up a name for your next opera, haven't you? <laughs> you know me too well, Xinyan. The Adeptus Seeking Voyage. How does that sound? <laughs> oh, man! Yeah, I can already picture it. I've also got just the finishing line for it. I'll close with, and the celestial melody echoed through the clouds forevermore. Whoa, superficial. That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, perfect time. 1900 on the dot. There's the jade chamber just floating up there because, yes. Good job, Jade Chamber. Good job. You just exist. I heard him. I heard him trying to start it up right there. Oh, the following night. Oh, I'm stupid. Gosh dang it. It was like just past freaking midnight when we ended that, so I guess that was kind of a rip on the timing there. <coughs> Ooh. 
Do 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 Chandler, hurry! It's almost time for us to join Hotel for dinner! Oh, and we'll be meeting at Shinyue Kiosk. It's the place with a really long wait list. As expected of the parlor director, always so generous! Come on, let's go! I like how Jin Yen and Yoon Jin are still standing right there. Like, yeah, we don't move. Moving's overrated. Alright, I'm gonna try to put one down as soon as I walk in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, I couldn't do it. Shame. Oh, so that's how it is. Thanks for the suggestions, Mr. Zhongli. I have them all noted down. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli. But I never knew that you were well versed in the art of cooking, too. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. No need for formalities. I too feel humbled to be in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. Oh, you flatter us. Um, if it's possible, may I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field. But if you don't mind, we could start by discussing... Oh, there's so many people here! All we knew was that hotel invited Zhang Li over. Paimon never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends! <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite, everyone! Happy Lantern Rite! Likewise. Please take a seat. You got it. Lantern right. Are you having fun? I'm learning a lot. I have become musically cultured. Me too. I've seen Shinyan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. I heard that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. I'm wondering that she's too if Pai busy than ever, and Yunjin's going to help her. I'm wondering too if Paimon would take a seat cuz like I mean, she just floats, but they really need a chair for her. But I mean, I don't know. Yep. And nah, she's just right next to the traveler. Season's greetings to everyone. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. The performance was oh, like how traveler. Indeed. However, it gave Shang oh, a man. huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. I find it funny that traveler just took the seat away from everyone else. Like everyone, everyone's just sitting right, ne right next to each other. But Travis is like, I'm gonna sit over here because yes, us. I'm not sitting next to Zhang Li. I'm not sitting next to Zhang Ling. Rick, I hate how they have their names are so similar sounding. Zhang Li, Zhang Zhang Ling. Doesn't want to sit next to either of those two. It's like, nope, I, I sit by myself, man. <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> She's a ghost. Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yoon with eating my share too. Hold on, Xiang Ling came up with a new recipe. <gasps> Let Paimon try. See, someone here knows how to encourage people. Thanks, Paimon. Oh, and I have to thank Mr. Zhang Li too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. Yes. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around cooking. Chong Ling's ideas are truly unconventional. Her choices in both ingredients and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the tongue. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. Oh, the two of you always deliver. <laughs> Now I'm getting embarrassed. Anyway, I'll get everyone to have a taste after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. How about I sample the dishes next time? Speaking of eating, Paimon feels like we're missing someone. Oh, Huta was the one who invited us, but she's not here. And <gasps> where's Guoba? Oh, the Guoba volunteered to help Dad at the restaurant. You know, lots of people come over to eat during Lantern Rite. 
Without Quova helping out, I probably wouldn't have had the time to accept Hu Tao's invitation. As for Hu Tao... The director went to collect a guest. She asked me to stay here and host you for the time being. Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Hu Tao went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they are super important. Could it be... Kuching? Ningguang? Or... <gasps> Captain Beto? She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry into the details, could I? Suddenly the door to the restaurant burst open as it was struck by a something. They have arrived. Oh, we're not late to the party, right? Right? Good thing the Conqueror of Demons and I are both as swift as the wind. And whoosh, we made it just in time. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Oh. I see. So the important guest is the Conqueror of Demons. I've been looking forward to meeting you. The director didn't mention anything when she invited us. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace, Adeptus Alanis. To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor. Uh... A few days ago at Wangshu Inn, It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. <sighs> the director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Rex Lapis, may I ask what troubles you? The director asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebrations. Huh. Then why would you come all the way to Wangshu Inn? I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Chao and received some spices from him. And, see? Here's some matsutake and a portion of ham. What about the sesame oil? Mm, ham. Mm, it's a shame. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. Elemental reactions when dendro cores blah blah blah. Whoa. I'm sure you're exaggerating, Zhang. <clears throat> Sir. <sighs> There he goes again. Enough with the pleasantries. Go let our guests take a seat. Everyone here today is well known in their own field and has probably heard about one another to some extent. Some of us are even old acquaintances, so there's no need to be this formal. I heard that the Conqueror of Demons and the Traveler are pretty close, no? We're old friends. Great. You two sit together. You should take a seat too, Director. Oh? Finally remembered me? When we arrived just now, the host at Shinyue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Let's not wait any longer and ask them to bring up the food. Aw, snap. Delicious looking food arrives and a pleasant scent fills the air. I would have never guessed the person who tell There's an open chair. Oh. That's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. You know Xiao Chu? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. You might not know this, Paimon, but we exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open and from the shadows. Hard to imagine that thanks to Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Chang Yun has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. Uh, we know each other too. He helped try my dishes during the Masterful Chef's cook-off. <laughs> I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. Happy Lantern Rite. No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Sing Cho, 
Shangling and Chang Yun's friend. The pleasure is all mine. Whoa. Everyone's getting all formal and polite all of a sudden. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what she should say anymore. Uh, Adeptus Xiao, mighty conqueror of demons. Please accept Paimon's greetings to Belated Happy Lantern Rite. Belated isn't the right word to use here. Paimon tried very hard to look for a fancy word, okay? Don't be too harsh on Paimon! I'm gonna be There's harsh. There's no need to be so polite. You're right. This was meant to be a nice little get-together between friends, after all. Too much formality kills the atmosphere. I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. Hiya. What's your true intention, then? A little get-together between friends, sipping the finest tea and watching lanterns float into the sky, bidding farewell to the past and embracing the present with joy. And that is something our consultant would say. I think it deserves a standing ovation. Indeed. Exceptional acting skills, Director. As for me, I'm just here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. We all worked really hard this year. Whether traveling or guiding, cooking, helping with the family business, exercising evil spirits, or conquering demons. And, of course, our consultant, who's been helping out at the parlor every now and then. Everyone has done some pretty amazing things. As the one who brought everyone together, it goes without saying that I'm the one most deserving of praise. Huh? Sounds kind of self-important, but... Paimon thinks it's pretty amazing that she managed to talk Xiao into coming. He rarely ever enters Liyue Harbor, after all. I'm curious about how she did it. It wasn't as complicated as you think. Not long ago at Wangshu Inn again. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, boss lady. Uh, it's not boss lady, just boss. And there she goes. What a lively girl. Conqueror of demons, adept as shall. Guardian of Wangshu Inn, hero of Dihua Marsh. I know you're there. Spooky. Quiet. Do not disturb the peace. Sorry, but you wouldn't show up if I didn't yell your name, would you? I know you. You're the 77th director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Is there something you need? Man, 77 directors. So we are all there are. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. Sayu, Haiju, and Hu? So that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? There might be other reasons. <laughs> Smart guess. Huh? There's more to it? It gets pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the Guardian Yakshas. You know, just to be sociable. In the time of the Archon War, disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook the land. Humans couldn't escape from the torment of the plague, nor could they escape death. The Adepti vanquished the demons, Who? the Millilith fought valiantly, and Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits <laughs> of the dead. Oh, that is no. how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. And it effectively prevented further incidents from happening. That's right. One point for the consultant. But despite our deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. I'm sorry, but who's that? Uh, was he worried about his karma? Pretty well, huh? This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. True, but I've kept that in mind too. That's why everyone here today is in one way or another acquainted with elemental power. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. There won't be any lasting consequences. But I didn't expect there to be so many people. There's no need to worry, Conqueror of Demons. We're not feeling anything unusual so far. 
Our young exorcist over here is protected by his pure yang energy, so he's probably the most resilient. That, that's not the same. And did you just toss your carrots into my bowl? Hey, don't look away. Huh? What? I'm siding with Chong Yoon. I saw that too. You're lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being picky with their food. If he'd seen that, he'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. Huh? Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromising? Hmm. But now that I think of it, Shangling told me that Guoba used to be the stove god. Re? <laughs> it sounds like you've heard the rumors. <laughs> In pretty quiet today, is everything okay? Not used to being around so many people? I'm doing fine. Not long ago, before Lantern Rite, I met an old friend. Thanks to his help, things have been a lot more stable than before. Good to hear you give everything you don't eat to Paimon. Wait, what? Huh, on the wind? Seeds of story brought by the wind. And cultivated by kind. Uh, did Paimon just unconsciously complete that saying? That voice? Could it be? It must be. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. Uh, don't just sit there, Zhongli. Go welcome our guest in. No such need. I'm coming in. Better watch out, because here I come. The brewery restaurant gets blown up by a gust of wind. <laughs> You finally let me Why in. the frick are you here? Hello, hello. No matter if we've met before or not, this moment marks a brand new encounter. Old friends and new. Happy Lantern Rite! Oh, it's of course, me using part. the venti profile picture summon him. <gasps> oh, <laughs> he seems to carry a valiant breeze wherever he goes. It looks like we're gonna be friends. Fate has brought us together. It's so really ironic, to honestly. And be my guest. Help yourself. Oh, I'll ask them for another set of cutlery. Mm hmm. This young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. She, no doubt, is the one with the most authority here. Whoa, these dishes look amazing. Is it really okay for me to join in? <laughs> All right. That's not Take true, it. is it? Huh, it's you. Oh, isn't this Jen Yu? Hmm? Jen Yu? Is he gonna have Zing Shu's pen name away? Uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're a fan of Jen Yu's works, aren't you? No, I can't say I, I have Zing Nitro. Light like novel convention. Oh, <coughs> how I wish we'd met sooner. I never expected that there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Genu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. <clears throat> could this new guest be Master Singcho's friend? I was afraid. Oh no. He's my old pal too. It looks like Zhao knows him too. Yes, yes. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Rite. I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few days ago when I happened to run into this. this. Hmm? You've already forgotten? I'm a bard, remember? And bards go around singing wherever but they want. This like. is my waifu. Oh, right. And this bard was performing in Dihua Marsh. It was a moving melody, and it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. So that's how it was, I see. I understand now, too. Kato. I'm <laughs> having two gods and Sarah Currently and working at gods. the Wangsheng funeral parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Mm hmm. And I'm his boss. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, let me know anytime. I like how That's Zhang Li is a god and, and yet Hu Tao's his boss. <laughs> no wonder. Only 
a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an impressive consultant. <laughs> oh, you're too nice, Venti. Not to brag, but our consultant truly really is impressive. His knowledge extends across the stars Wait, and the land. Wait, why? When did you get to the other side of the table? There's history that he doesn't know. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. So Hi, Lei. How are adeptus? you doing? Do you think it might be possible? <coughs> I... One of the gods' I'm sons sorry. has to pretend their dad isn't I'm a god. I'm only good at conquering demons. I'm afraid I don't have much Wait, who's that? Conquer. None of them have a son, do they? Uh, really? But Paimon thinks you're super knowledgeable. Zhao? Zhao's a son? Of who? Zhang Li? Paimon, play along. Huh? Zhao's the oh, son oh, of Venti? Right. Uh, Zhao's a warrior. Oh. He doesn't come to the city very often, so it's uh, pretty normal for him to not know anything. I'm doing good, Lei. I'm doing good. Eh? Really? I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. He didn't order Osmanthus wine? Mention it. I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. I've heard that he's elegant and amiable, his works witty and vibrant. It's no overstatement to regard him as the best bard in Mondstadt. <laughs> now you're making me embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run-of-the-mill sometimes. There's one I heard a while back that went, <clears throat> The old house is renewed, welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine, a new flower that grows fine. Oh, good one! It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. You have great taste, Bendy. I was right about you. Let's shake hands. Of course, of course. Hmm. What is this conversation, honestly? <laughs> hey, Xingqiu. Hmm? Mind lending me a few books when we get back? Pick out some well-written ones. I don't know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. Does <laughs> who tower Chen crush on right. Venti? It's not our fault. Holy, what is this text box? Paimon, watch and learn from Hu Tao and Venti. This will come in handy for your ugly nicknames. Oh, you have a point. But speaking of, she, she's not going to be offended by that. Part here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Right too? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? <laughs> or a listen. Getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, don't you think? Huh, but the music festival wasn't planned beforehand. As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. The Iridescence tour has finally been held successfully for once, so I had to congratulate him. Thank you, he must feel very grateful. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> Whenever Lantern Rite comes around, Liyue Harbor becomes bustling with activity. People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly, and we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. 
This is no doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. To come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. In a moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. Uh. Very well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt, but since Mr. Zhang Li insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast with tea too. Everyone, thanks for the treat. You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. May this year be better than the last. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. Uh... Hi, Lei. Uh, all of a sudden, they started proposing toasts. Should... should we? Ciao! What's with the urgency? You done eating? Wanna head out for a walk? I ate too much. Could you come take a walk with me? <sighs> sure. Have you two finished eating? It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. Um, uh, I will come too. I'd say pretty good, Lay. Pretty good, you know. I gotta go to my grandparents in about six hours. So, trying to get this done quickly so that way I can... Well, maybe I'll get some more sleep beforehand, but we'll see. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Okay, then. Don't forget to come back! Leave Jinyu Kiosk. No, I'll get top tier one first. It seems like our new friend is an expert in wine. I deserve no such praise. I only drink for fun. It's nothing compared to your expertise. I'm glad we're only having tea today. What if I got drunk and said something nonsensical? I'd surely become an object of ridicule to someone I've just met. No such thing. I wouldn't dare disrespect the director's guest. Or would you? Quake! Alright, we quaking, man. We quaking. Did you talk about anything interesting before we started the meal? Anything fun I missed out on? Oh, we were talking about cooking. Mr. Zhongli told us that he went on a trip to Chaoyang Village the other day and got a hold of some uncommon ingredients. Tea seed oil and sesame oil. He suggested I try using those in my new dishes. Oh, no wonder he left his post for so long that day. Those ingredients would be difficult for anyone else to find. I guess I'll need his help next time as well. Oh, snap. About you and Venti. Uh, <laughs> Could he be a partner Wait, in why the family Paimon business? Still over there? That's right. You know how my family is. A lot of business secrets can't just be divulged. I mean, I did lay. I got like four hours uh, of sleep before the just stream. Just as I thought. Oh, Paimon doesn't actually pop up. That's weird. You're not allowed to leave Paimon here alone! To be honest, Paimon's worried about saying the wrong thing. Mmm, that food is such high quality. Crumble. Crumble! Let's go. Let's depart. You go ahead. Hey! Hi, Zen! Thank you so much, dude! Are we up in that membership? How you doing, man? Oh, snap a ruse. Rise. We're getting a rise out of the the pillars. Happy lantern, right? Ow! Oh! 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 Okay. Ow! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Hold a muscle. <laughs> Not really, but I mean, kind of felt right? like it. Hold a muscle in my chest. 
Uh, wait. Oh, oh, Zhao. I should be the one asking you that. I. It's about to head to bed. Hey. To That's cool. Oh no, Zhao. Why? Conversations are so short. <coughs> <laughs> That's good, that. man. That's good. There Late morning today, I, I, loved I suppose. Chit -chat. Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. We all need to get Even some I got sleep. Along to many times. The adepti all have their specialties, making most of them proud and arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. But this mm. time. I understand it's all Zhang Li's fault. It's all Venti's fault. Always blame Venti. No, no. I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity. I'll get Thanks, Zen. Point. I appreciate you, man. The Animo Archon is a free spirit. Hope you have a his good sleep, dude. Thanks again. He plays on the flute. It's easy for a god like him to live in harmony with humans. Oh, man. And that's something I might never be able to do. Turn off the fan? I mean... Probably really cold. I would turn the fan off. You do you. Hmm. That does sound like something you would say. Or does it? No matter. I know my circumstances. Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels strangely novel. That's pretty cold, Bradley. I don't know what you're talking about. Strange in a good way? Yes. The parlor director went out of her way with the invitation, so it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power, and I knew that you would be here. But I didn't expect the other guests to be... No one would have guessed. General Capesis always said that we should live in the present and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. Whoa. But I think he meant designing clothes for those around My phone him. is noisy. <laughs> clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Rex Lapis did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. I never saw him wear this during the war. I didn't expect why, to start Vamp, why? Oh, here you are. Um, I'm not intruding, right? You're not. What is it? A hotel saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. But not so anxious that she can't eat. Sounds like she'll be okay. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of worried too. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here, and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yen Chao made. You're worrying too much. Yeah, I don't pull any lumen, lu, lemon, lemon, stat, lemon static, went, what the frick? Lemniscatic wind cyclings on us. Why would I? Anyway, let's head back. Carpet? Oh, Hi. Please wait. There's another reason why I came looking for you. Here, take these. I brought them for you. Almond tofu? Yup. Since the Masterful Chef's competition, you could say that Yen Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Xuan sometimes to discuss our cooking. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. I'll be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guest she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. So I made a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. When I told Globa that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot too. 
Thank you, Zhongling and Guoba. Thank you for the trouble. There was no need to... Wasn't that hard? You could say it easy peasy? Sure. Ahem. I'll take them. Ingredients take so much effort. True. And Guoba too. You're welcome. Oh, the almond tofu I made probably tastes and feels a little different from the Taipian Shao cooks. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Okay. <laughs> That's all. Alrighty, we should head back now. We can't keep Paimon waiting. <coughs> Return to Jinyu Kiosk. I don't want to. Can't make me. Simple words. Alright, well then say it, man. Say it. Tell me. Do it. No, you didn't. You're finally done whispering secrets to each other? Say so it, say it for the stream. Paimon, you'll be back soon. Not for yourself. Say it for the stream. You're pretty quick. You're only angry because you have no sense of time. Ha! How could you say that to Paimon? <sighs> yeah, you gotta keep Paimon healthy for it's that very no reason. Sense of time. Paimon will let you know what having no sense of fullness looks like. Your dessert is all Paimon. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. No worries, we're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Whether we're chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. Trying to be more like Hu Tao, Paimon. Hmm. Paimon's too busy eating to talk to you. But even though we're all well acquainted by now, I think this festive Friendly. gathering deserves something ceremonious. Oh? Is this some local custom? Nope. This is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side, that's all. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's use this incense burner on the table. It's been lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. Lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected of Hu Tao. And speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's Mr. Zhang Li. I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye-opener, even for a bard who has traveled all across the world. If knowledge were a form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. But when it comes to having a way with words, Friendly, the why? notable bard is certainly one cut above the rest. I just happen to have a good memory. It is such an unexceptional skill, yet you made Dong it sound got like that an goldfish memory. talent. I am truly impressed. Since we all get to nominate someone... Mm-hmm. I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Huh? That won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. We are looking for the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion at all. Now that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honors? Um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. It's not a big deal. Just look at her. Xiangling, the disciple of an adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of clap, the clap, Masterful clap, 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 clap. Chef's competition. The only heir of the famous One Mean Restaurant. A good old friend of mine. There's no better choice. <laughs> uh, why does Paimon feel like we're back at square one again? Why not? Square one's cool. Clap, 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 clap. You're making me embarrassed. If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Fayum Commerce Guild counts. It's one of the largest commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. Huh? Don't get me involved in this. 
Ooh, not a bad choice. With the Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of mora in the new year. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish, but it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. Which means we should choose Chong Yun, the skilled exorcist who keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Huh? Now you're nominating me? I can't be the one when we have the Conqueror of Demons right here. Adeptus Xiao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should... I refuse. I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. Is he going to say it's Zhang Li? You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. Wait. Don't. One person here is well acquainted do it. with everyone else. Hmm? Very hmm indeed. Oh, that's right! Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty popular with other people. No, wait! Paimon said she wouldn't talk to you again. I'm not the only well-connected person here, though. Huh? Who else is there? Traveler's older than Xiao, you think? Maybe. You, of course, take a look in the mirror. Huh? Huh? Does that mean... Paimon's the most distinguished guest? Oh, well, that was unexpected! <laughs> I agree. Paimon's just the one we need. Without a friend constantly by your side, a long journey would become dreadfully lonesome. But once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, everything along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Ah. The Traveler has traversed many nations and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. Paimon plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth one. You guys... Paimon's not used to being praised like that. Uh, those were genuine compliments, right? Of course, you're the best travel companion ever. Like, at the absolute minimum 500, and that's if he was born and instantly got cubed. Thank you. Instantly cute. You made Paimon wait for a long time, but Paimon's not mad anymore. Don't take everything to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. Hmm. That is indeed true. That means Paimon is as important to the Traveler as Guoba is to me. Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? I trust the Traveler's judgment. Then Paimon it is. And now, the world's most excellent traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend, Paimon, will be refilling and lighting the incense for us. Here you go. Take the match, and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go really wrong, here's a two-for-one coupon. Amidst everyone's laughing and applause, Paimon clumsily lights the incense. You all have a relaxed heart-to-heart -heart chat all the way until nightfall. Emergency. Now that everyone's had their fill of delicious food and tea, it's time to say goodbye. I think Vince gets wine easy. Probably doesn't look young. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> that was a little strange. <sighs> it's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. Food and desserts were delicious. Thank you for the treat, Director. Yep. The tea was amazing, too. You don't have to go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. Hmm, let's see. It's dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiao You're Lang, fine, Lei. You're Cho fine. And Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. No need. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble one such as Mr. Zhang Li. 
I think you know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. I will. It was great getting to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. Venti's we'll friend? I don't think then. so. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Understood. See you later. Bye! <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhongli will do. I live as a mortal in Liu Harbor now. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire to rest at sundown. If we were to consider status and seniority as Zhongli, I should be respectfully referring to you as Adeptus Shao. Ugh. Heaven forbid. Adeptus Shao, let's stop teasing him now. <laughs> I meant what I said. I heard that during the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge about the past? The same truth will sound different coming from different people. As more bear witness to a story, feelings and interpretations expand in variety too. I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya, and learned a few things about her research topic. From the evidence she found and the conclusion she made, her area of research is already very close to the truth. But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods were depicted as arrogant and condescending, while others were kind and capable. But whether to me, Streetward Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti such as Shao and Ganyu, those Adepti and gods that may seem extraordinary to humans are something more akin to close companions. This was as true back then as it is right now. Why would everyone think Just you're dead, Lei? may seem unapproachable to most, but the Traveler has proved crazy? otherwise. So there's no need to dwell too much on certain things. Rex La... <clears throat> I mean, Zhongli. Is it Zhao, Redly? It looks like you understood what I meant. Ah. The director asked me to accompany you on your return. But I don't think you'll need my protection. I'll be taking a walk around and admiring Azuha? the night scenery. After that, it'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the director. Goodbye for now. Bye, Shangli. Everyone's gone now. Is it Wanderer? Climber always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. But at least you always stay by Paimon's side. No, no, no. Paimon got it mixed up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide, will always stay by your side, traveler. There will be a lot to ask you, future too, most distinguished Paimon. Hmm. Good that you're aware of that. Shell, is there anything else you want to do? We could take you on a tour of Liyue Harbor. No need. I've stayed here for much longer than I had expected. The city lights are a fine sight. But it's time for me to leave. The events of today occurred so abruptly. I appreciate your kindness. Feelings mutual. You don't have to thank me every time. Okay. <laughs> See you next time, then. Bye. Teleports out of here like that. Are we done? Is that everything? No, there's an epilo. No, wait, never mind. Oh, we, we are done. We actually are done. Alright, I'm gonna do my standard banner wishes and see what my four star is, I guess. <coughs> Let me go find Venti. Where? Well, should I just go back in here then and see? 
in here. No, but Francis is here. Francis is definitely here. Okay, where Venti is here. Where is he? Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. All right. Anyway, standard banner wishes. As I was saying. As I was saying. Got nine of them. Let's do it. You literally said, "Where you silly the ship." I never said the ship. <coughs> Why would Venti be on the ship? I mean, he is, but why? This is such a cool ship! Facing the sea breeze and gazing out at the soaring seagulls... Oh, makes me want to sing out loud! Kazuha! How about I stay here and be the ship's resident bard? What are my prospects? With your level of artistic finesse, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. But I'm afraid the sailors aboard are not the most versed in the arts. They probably wouldn't understand the deeper meaning your poetry holds. <laughs> you can't say that for sure. Poetry is spur-of-the-moment creations. Anyone viewing the same sights and experiencing the same atmosphere would surely understand. <sighs> There's a port in Mondstadt, too, but I rarely get the chance to board any of the ships. Speaking of ships, everything's perfect about this one, except... Hmm? Um, Kazuha, could you tell your captain that my height says nothing of my age? I'm way past drinking age. How often does one get to enjoy a seafood feast on a ship? <sighs> It'll be a real shame if there isn't anything stronger to enhance the food. Pretty please. Hi, Wiz. There's How are you? Not much I can do about that. It's not because Captain Beto's not on the ship right now, but because there's no room for negotiation on this matter. Even I have to sit in the no drinking zone every time. Uh, but I don't get drunk after just a few sips. Trust me, I can hold my liquor really well. Now, 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 Venti. Drinking is not good for ya. Just ain't, man. Just ain't. Anyway. Standard banner wishes. Let's freaking do this thing. Alright, I believe we're on seven for our four-star pity, so let's do this. <laughs> Harbinger of Dawn. There is our four star, very nice. Sounds like a 13 year old. Wow, the Wid Sith! Oh, that's so cool. <coughs> Osmanthus wine tastes the same, I remember. Where are those who share the memories? Well, I guess I have two R5 Wid Siths now, that's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and like yes I got two of those now. Oh my gosh. <coughs> mm, your waifu Yoimiya. You're a Yoimiya fan too? Dang. Oh and, and, and Nitro's been here for a, a bit, Wiz. He's been here, he's been here. Mine. It's Redleys. Oh my gosh. Alright, more standard banner wishes. Let's go. That's a nope. That's another bloodstained greatsword. That's another magic guide. This thing is clearly a Pharoah's shadow. Oh my. Ooh, early four star. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I'll take the star glitter. I'll take it. That's more star glitter for Eula. 
when we get to that point. Not quite going where we want this to go now, no sir. <coughs> Alright, so I think our pity now is 73. That's pretty fantastic, no doubt about it. Yeah, I'll hate them, Zhao. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse. What I am gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a C6 Ningguang right now. <coughs> Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, C6 Ningguang. Let's freaking go. Only one invitation may be sent during the event. That means Wiz is three hours ahead of you, viewing from Trinidad. Oh, snap. Yeah, it is 5.39 a.m. right now. Here. I wish I could help you, Redley. I wish I could help you. Alright, C6 Ningguang. Very nice. What? I have enough festive fever to invite another character. Come on, man. Come on. Have they seriously... Okay. So you're telling me... That since the last Lantern Rite, because I believe Yoon Jin got introduced at the last Lantern Rite, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken. So since the last Lantern Rite happened, Yao Yao is the only new character to be added to the Li Wei roster. That's cool. <coughs> That's definitely pretty cool. Besides Yao Yao, anyway. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. Oh, hey, I could actually... I could just go ahead and level 8 as normal attack right now. That'd be cool. Probably do that. I guess I should also do that, but I don't have enough now to think about it. Okay, whatever. Let's light it up, man! Oh, yeah, Bennett. Bennett, Bennett, Bennett. Bennett, 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 Bennett. Here it's 6.11 p.m. Dang! It's like the other side of the world right there. What am I doing? Anyway, uh, Ningguang. Are you? There you are. You got your C6 now. When Star Shatter is used, Ningguang gains 7 Star Jades. Nice. And those that come across Leo tend to stay a while. Wait, what do, you, what do you what do you mean? For Genshin? I'm playing PC. PC, PC, and PC. Solidify! Genshin is only on PlayStation and and PC and mobile. <laughs> Some of these characters would be a good in future Pokemon game. What? Why? Blow all your wishes on the standard banner and pray you get an Aquila or PJC. Redly. Why would you do that? Why would you even think of doing that, man? Oh, don't know that. I have heard that Al Haytham's been made acting Grand Sage, but for that personality of his, who oh boy, uh, you think things will be okay? No. Why don't we go to the academia and ask around? Just don't do it, Radley. Literally, go wish for a weapon banner. Why, like, why? Why would you do that? <coughs> all right let's do this i play all my pc games with an xbox controller
Standard banner is a super scam. How's everything going with your thesis? Yeah, I, I play Pokemon Reborn with an Xbox controller. Huh. A few days ago, I was worried that I'd have to stop my work on it. I'm cold too. Thankfully, that didn't come to pass. Well, Azar was one of your thesis advisors. Honestly, I was afraid that you might have gotten dragged down as well. How did things get settled? The newly appointed Acting Grand Sage reviewed all of our projects and gave us permission to continue our research. Acting Grand Sage? That sounds like a new thing. Yeah, I heard that selecting new sages has been taking some time, so he's just filling in. But it's all things Nitro, to that our research out of curiosity, where are you at? If you don't mind Once answering. my paper is published, I'm definitely giving myself a long vacation and getting some much-needed rest. Mondstadt sounds like a good idea. They're really out of their minds, making I'll hate them the acting grand sage. Take it easy, Professor. I'm puzzled as well. Oh, India. Just going by qualifications, neat. you're one of our most preeminent scholars. I don't know why they picked a stripling like him. Fool! Do you think I'm angry you're because fool. I wasn't chosen for the position? No! It's because I don't understand why they chose him! Oh, the tropical was part. One of That's my neat. Students, but he rarely attended class. When I asked him about it, he retorted that self study was better use of his time. What brazen arrogance, misery of miseries, for the academia to have him as the acting grand sage? <laughs> Man, he is not happy. <laughs> Professor, don't get so worked up. I'll go get you some water. Psst. Want to hear a secret? I've heard the new acting grand sage is from Haravatat. Really? Who is it? Someone named Alhatham. Never met him myself, but he's a real hot topic right now. Lots of things being said about him. Hard to tell what's true and what isn't, though. There's also a Vahumana scholar who's been in the spotlight recently. They say that he's a likely pick to be one of the next sages. Oh, is he teaching any courses? Maybe we should drop by. Wow. News of Alhatham being the acting grand Raj sage Kumar. Fast. I Some people don't, don't know. know who he is, though. Guess he's less famous than Paimon Dodge. Some people are saying good things and others bad. Especially that old guy just now. He really doesn't like all Haytham. Oh. I doubt that, Wiz. I doubt uh, they would do that. Hey, are you okay? Oh, the old uh, guy. You don't look too good. The Matra. I'm not okay at the all. The Matra? Of the Matra. I'm Ilias. I have to talk to a Matra about something important. In the state you're in? You shouldn't push yourself. Why don't you tell us what happened and we'll pass on your message to a Matra? No, I have to tell them myself. They are the only ones I could trust. Sorry, can you lend me your arm? This is an important matter. Failure is not an option. Since you put it that way, fine, we'll take you to Amatra. All right, take him to Amatra. Let's go. The illusions of the mob. I didn't know we were dealing with the mafia. We promised to take him to Amatra, but we don't know that many, do we? Oh, wait, Sino should be back at the academia. Let's go find him. This is all Haytham's story quest, not Sino's story quest. Jeez, man. <coughs> Quake! Oh man, not quite, not quite. There we go, perfect. Yes, yes, blocked. Uh, hey there. Oh. Excuse us. Are you <laughs> at the academia? You two look familiar. Are you friends of Mahamatra Sino? Um, I'm afraid he's out on a mission right now. But if you'd like, I can pass whatever message you might have on to him. By the gates, and he seems really eager to speak with Amatra. It sounds like something urgent. Oh? If you don't mind, why don't you tell me about it first? 
Siraj. Siraj. That name sounds familiar. Isn't he a Vahumana researcher? Vahumana researcher? Yes, one of their most renowned, in fact. I hear he's as daring as he is intelligent. There are rumors he'll become Vahumana's next sage. Uh, but please continue, good sir. What about Siraj? I want to report him for conducting a dangerous experiment. He kidnapped me, tied me up, and took me to that horrible cave. Experimental equipment everywhere. I ran as fast as I could, a little slower, and he would have caught me. There's no rush. Please, take your time. Bradley. What kind of experiments was he conducting? Where is this cave? I don't remember. Warm hugs are nice. You can't remember? All I remember is Siraj walking towards me, and then my head started feeling weird. It's like Pokemon a nightmare Magenta. that I can't recall. I just know that that place is dangerous, and that they must be stopped. Oh, I heard can't they afford. in the tavern. We have to hurry. Uh, Even if what you say is... All right. I'll have some of my colleagues look into Siraj. But before that, I would like to administer the Matra lie detector test. You think I'm lying? Please don't take it the wrong way. This is just standard protocol. Sorry, but can you two wait out here a little while? We'll be back soon. Crimson would have been better than Scarlet. You wait somewhat longer than expected. I'm gonna strap my controller. Huh? I'll hate them. I'll hate them. What the frick are you doing here? Let me bring you up to speed. First things first, Ilyas passed the lie detector test. This indicates that what he said is highly credible. Oh, come on, he decided to launch an investigation and based on the leads he provided. Oh, no. Per protocol, this matter was reported to acting Grand Sage Alhatham. After hearing about it, he left a message for Mahamatra Sino and then asked to join the investigation. Huh. It's kind of weird for you to be working with the Matra. Is there a special reason? You're overthinking things. My interest was piqued, is all. <coughs> Ow. Really? I'm unsurprised you have this much free time. In that case, let's join in as well, shall we, Travis? Pokemon Live. It's already against protocol for acting Grand Sage I'll hate them to participate in this investigation. As for you two... Oh, never mind. After all, you were the ones who brought Ilyas here. I'll allow you to accompany us, but you have to promise to keep everything confidential. Don't you worry. Our lips are sealed. All right, in that case, I'll fill you in on what we know so far. Ilyas claimed that Siraj will be conducting some business with a Kasharawa researcher at the tavern. This is one of his few clear Pokemon memories. Lemon in a third game he Pokemon stumbled Sprite. upon this information while escaping. Incidentally, Siraj isn't at the academia Pokemon right Sprite, now. Pokemon he Seven Up, Pokemon Sierra Mist. One month ago, it's close to the time that Ilyas had given. So we've decided to head to the tavern and investigate any suspicious persons. That's right. Aroth, prepare to head out. You two, do as you will. Oh, come on! We already said that we're coming! Pokemon Pepsi and Pokemon Coke. Oh, snap. Where is it at? Oh. I'm actually starting to be a little optimistic. I might actually be able to get a little sleep at the end of this. That'll be nice. I definitely feel like I need it at this point. <coughs> the quicker we get all hate them done, the quicker we can just get some sleep. You shouldn't see me like this. <laughs> you can see he's dying. We're here acting Grand Sage all hate them. What's our next course of action? Hmm. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham. Looks like you haven't read any memos lately. The new Academia Decree clearly states that even a sage doesn't have the authority to interfere with the Matra's actions during an ongoing investigation. If your superior were here, he wouldn't be asking me what to do. Instead, he'd be telling me to stay out of the way. You're right. Understood. Then please wait here as we lock down the perimeter and search for suspicious persons. Ilyas, please stay here. Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, I'll have to trouble you with the protection of our primary witness. 
Pokemon Burger and Pokemon <sighs> sure. Pizza. Though I'd rather he just protect himself. Time to use Chi Chi in domains again. <sighs> You're the same as ever. Casually ignoring people just like you did back at Aru Village. Answering a simplistic question only enables the questioner. Besides, I need him to understand my position clearly. What do you mean? I mean, did it ever go away from the tree theme? I don't, I don't remember it actually doing that. Then again, I have no idea, actually. Arab has just as many doubts about my coming along as you do. But unlike you two, he's making this matter more complicated than it is, with his considerations like the acting Grand Sage is trying to seize the Matra's powers. That question was obviously bait. The Matra were once under the influence of the Sages, and so were often subject to these bureaucratic traps. Dang, Redley. The test was strictly unnecessary. Yeah, Juniper's though. a tree. I hope that our exchange will assure him that I won't interfere with their work this time. Uh, I wanted Legends why Arcus. Is so complicated? This is why I, I was know. against becoming the acting Grand Sage from the very first. Titles and rank inevitably make a lot of things more troublesome than usual. Excuse me, acting Grand Sage Alhatham. I've had a question on my mind, and I need to know the answer no matter what. Have we met before? No. I have no recollection of ever meeting you. Ha <laughs> ha! I thought so too. <clears throat> I probably wouldn't have had anything to do with someone of your caliber. Then why did you ask? Well... For some reason, I felt a sense of familiarity when I met you for the first time. Really? A misperception, perhaps. Or... Acting Grand Sage Alhatham, we've apprehended a suspect. Siraj? No, it's the Kasharawa researcher who has dealings with him. His name is Narendra. Magnolia so, is a tree of all time. Sage all I don't know about Laventon. Wait, uh, what game was that one again? Please explain what's going on. I admit that I, I did steal some mechanical components from the lab and sell them, but does something like that really warrant the personal interest of the acting Grand Sage? What have I gotten myself into? I, I know I let Greg get the best of me, but, but, but please, I promise that this won't ever happen again. I would like to ask him a few questions. Of course. Do you know Suraj? Yeah, that's the name of my buyer. He asked to make the transaction at the tavern, but he never showed up. What were the details of this transaction? He's doing some kind of experiment that seems to require many power generators and electrical components that can only be found in our project. He contacted me in private and said that he'd pay a large sum of Mora if I was willing to put some aside for him, under the pretense of them being defective parts. We had originally agreed to meet at the tavern earlier today to do the trade. I sure didn't expect to get stood up. Or the gum tree, Professor Gum. Perhaps Siraj was aware that Ilyas might leak information, so he intentionally didn't show up. Whatever the case, it seems that this lead ends here. The good news is, regardless of what Siraj was planning, his progress will now be severely hindered by a lack of power generators and electrical components. We still have time to conduct our investigation. Do you have any more tree. questions for the suspect? No, he's all yours. But I'd like to borrow Ilyas for a while. Oh, that's fine. We conducted a comprehensive lie detection exam, which showed that he has a genuine case of amnesia. We're not planning to pursue any further breakthroughs on that front. However, I am curious. What do you need him for, exactly? I've read some papers regarding amnesia, and I'd like to try restoring his memories. I see. We'll be returning to the Academia, then. I'll leave Ilyas in your care. Follow me. Oh, I, for I forgot I died before that cutscene started. Um, yeah. Very confused. I'm here. Uh. Siraj 
Ash didn't show up at the tavern, and Narendra didn't give us any leads. Ugh, that means we're stuck. The names are from past and future? I hate oh. them. Are you serious about seeing things through? Paimon's pretty surprised that you're this interested in the case. I thought you would have guessed the reason by now. Do you know Siraj? Hey, do you know? Yes. No. We were <laughs> classmates. Oh, so that's why you asked to come along when Arab briefed you on the situation. So you're not here because you're interested in the case itself, but because you know the suspect? You couldn't be further from the truth, but I wasn't expecting much from you to begin with. For the time being, all you need to know is that we were <sighs> once classmates. I became the scribe afterwards while he continued his academic endeavors. Oh, a he submitted a thesis one year ago, and the Grand Sage at the time asked for my opinion. I did not approve of it because it committed one of the six cardinal sins by touching upon human evolution. From violating matters regarding human evolution to attempting the forbidden and fearing none, the six cardinal sins are the origin of all evil in this world. They are also what the sages use as a reference when formulating or amending the rules of the academia. My opinion was that Siraj's research was both overly naive and in violation of various core principles. The Grand Sage took some of my suggestions on board and ultimately decided to reject the application. So that's why he's buying energy sources and electrical components. He's most likely trying to circumvent the rules and conduct his experiment in secret. That sounds super suspicious. Oh, we gotta stop him. Ilias, can you try to remember things again? Maybe something new will pop up. I'm sorry, but I've already tried many times. And no matter how hard I try, it feels like everything in my mind is shrouded in a thick mist. It is possible for a person to subconsciously forget some of their memories as a defense mechanism against extreme stress. However, these memories aren't truly Later, lost, vamp. but merely sealed away. They can be restored with the appropriate stimulus. Now, try to recall things you care about. They don't need to be related to this case. Well, actually, I feel like I've forgotten more than just the memories of the time I was kidnapped and experimented on. The kind of person I am, the things I've done... I can remember some things, but I can't recall some others no matter how hard I try. But I do vaguely remember that there are two things that I have to do no matter what. Do tell. The first is to get my paycheck from the academia and give it to my younger sister in Gondarvaville. I'm not oh, sure about the details, it but it bro. seems that I would send money to my younger sister every month to pay for family expenses. And the second thing? What's the second thing? I can't remember. Sorry, there's just so much I can't recall. Not unexpected. However, you're the only one who has seen Siraj and knows the exact location of his cave at present. As such, we'll do everything we can to help you regain your memories. Losing your memories must be really painful. But don't you worry, we'll help you get them all back. Oh, thank you so much. This feeling, it's more than just pain. I don't know how to describe it. I have so few memories that I don't even have a clear idea of who I am. And my head's always ringing. It feels like I could faint at any moment. But amidst all that, it also feels like I've been set free somehow. Nevertheless, I have you all to thank for bringing me what clarity I do have right now. Now, I do remember that I worked part-time at a place in the academia called the Research Preparation Center. That's also where I got my monthly paycheck. I see. In that case, let's go and find whoever's in charge there. <laughs> the English Laban Town is a medium-sized tree that grows well in temperate climates. Has a broad spreading habit and can reach heights of 25 30 feet. Our oval and green flowers are pink and purple. Ah! That's pretty neat. Alright. 
Let's go. We're gonna use the stake. Oh, yes, indeed. Gotta use our tall character so that way we can do tall character things. Oh. oh. Hey, why is it just cut off randomly? That was weird. Our Gold and Soul Silver were good games, though. It's kind of sucked that they had the health mechanics that they had there, but I mean, eh. I don't know why Chikorita is the least fair. Maybe it needs a new evolution. No. No, no, no. I mean, it's just because Totodile and Cinequil are just that much better. Nothing wrong with Chikorita, it's just that it's outclassed by the other two Pokemon. Oh, I am not even in the right spot. I thought this is where it was leading me. What am I what am I doing? Where am I going? Ooh. <laughs> Gonna run on down the cliff right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's time to go on down. Shoot, where are we even running? Where are we even going? How far must we go to see where we must go? Oh no. Oh no, this is going to take a while, isn't it? The game should be made fairy. Grass fairy? Eh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Rise. Oh wait, no, not yet. Okay, here it is. Go <laughs> 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 down, Cinecore are the worst water and fire star in your opinion. You hate Cinequil more than Tepig? More than Chimchar? I don't know. I mean, I feel like Fennekin's kind of dumb too, and Litten. I don't like Litten either. I, you know what? I don't like a lot of fire starters the more I think about it. Quake! Zinoqua's one of the few good ones. Oh, um, uh, acting Grand Sage, I'll Oh! Help. I've sent this period's research expenses. Hi, King. Good morning. Hi, Noodle. Work. Are there any issues with it? I did. Recent research expenses have decreased quite a bit compared to past figures. Yes, though that is primarily because there are fewer scholars with research needs. But that can be a rather convoluted topic. Might I ask why you are here today? I believe you know this individual. His name is Ilyas. He worked part-time here, and he's here for his paycheck. Oh, yes, of course. Though, Ilyas, where have you been these past few days? That was our busy period, but then you disappeared without a word. Everyone had to pick up the slack. I'm sorry, something unexpected came up. But I know I've caused trouble for everyone. Is there anything I can do to make up for it? The other researchers have more or less finished your share of the work. However, there is one thing that is yet to be settled. Do you remember Chandra? You were in charge of following up on his off-site research application. He retracted his application a few days ago and canceled his off-site project. He's the twelfth person to retract a research application this month. I'd like you to ask him why he did that. Hmm, Chandra's probably having coffee at this hour, so you can find him at the cafe. Understood. Then, about my paycheck. I'll pay you in full once you return. However, make sure you don't disappear without saying anything again. Be considerate to your colleagues and give them some forewarning at least. Mm, is this acceptable, acting Grand Sage Alhatham? I have no objections. Bump, but a bump, 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 bump. I float to the best starter ever. Starter's fine, it just gets too many forms. I agree with that, honestly. Blaziken. Blaziken's alright. 
Definitely, definitely, definitely. That's why I didn't really mention the Gen 3 fire starter. <laughs> Let me out there now. We need to go over there now. Rip my window. Oh no. Bumper to need me to like his tiny legs in his mega. And Blastoise is neat. Blastoise is very turtly. Right. Nice. Nice. Alias? I'll hate what them. <laughs> what can I do for you? I heard that you canceled your research project, so I'm just here to ask you why. Oh, that. Um, it's really nothing special. I I just don't feel like going anymore. I'm I'm not the only one who canceled, right? I mean, uh, people have had no motivation to conduct research lately, haven't they? No motivation to conduct research? Yeah. I like how Say, he just moved. Who might you be? You look sort of familiar. No, um, don't mind me. Please, continue. Well, with the downfall of the sages not long ago, many of the projects that they led were put on hold while they were being investigated. With the situation being so volatile, people are picking up random things to do to kill time. No one wants to risk starting any new research until it's clear how things will pan out in the future. When you say, how things will pan out, you actually mean what the new sages would have interest in, right? Wow, talk about blunt. But that isn't the only reason for the lack of motivation to start new research. So what are the other reasons? Well, because the Akasha Terminal shut down. I'm sure you're all aware that we require all kinds of knowledge to perform any of the research we do. Back then, the Akasha would respond to any of our requests for the knowledge we needed. It was beyond convenient. We didn't have to spend an extended amount of time studying, so we were able to immediately run various tests and experiments. I see. You get it, right? After having had a taste of something so amazing, who can be bothered to manually sift through data and files ever again? There are only a handful of people at the academia who are starting new projects or performing research. Most people are like me, waiting for a recognized researcher to start a project before immediately applying to join. Although our names will be further down in the paper, we'll have a much easier time. We don't have to do most of the mental heavy lifting. All we have to do is focus on our assigned tasks. <sighs> Sounds like something got him. Elias? What's wrong? My head. It hurts. Well, I think he's going to die. I remember now. Europe region for next Pokemon I remember games. They already did Sarah Europe for me. Sword and Shield. That was the UK. You will become Siraj number And then 36. France was Gen 6. Fuse yourself with a consciousness under my control. Think only in accordance with a set module. Like a worker bee in a beehive. Byron doesn't get it. What does that even mean? It's what Siraj was researching and the topic of the thesis he had submitted. Collective consciousness and the path of evolution. Collective consciousness, path of evolution. Siraj believed that by achieving three objectives, he could create a collective consciousness in human society and drive humans toward their ultimate evolution. First, he would rank test subjects in descending order of ability, with number one serving as the overmind. This Overmind would then divide tasks into numerous modules and delegate them to the Collective's members based on their assigned number. Lastly, members would share their memories and emotions to facilitate <coughs> the rapid exchange of information within the Collective. Dot dot dot. Paimon still doesn't Australia get it. region. What's the point of all that? Think of it as linking many minds together and tailoring a given mind's assigned work based on its compatibility. Eventually, everyone's minds will be consolidated into a new form of existence that is both an individual and an organization. Siraj believes this collective consciousness is superior to individual humans. Whoa! Squishing a whole bunch of people together? Paimon thinks that sounds horrible! It's just as Alhatham said. 
Siraj gave all the test subjects different numbers. Bigger numbers meant you had a lower rank, so your assigned tasks were less complex, such as being responsible for everyone's basic needs. Smaller numbers were ranked higher, so you'd be given more complex assignments like planning for the future. Siraj referred to me as number 36, and I think that was a low-ranking number. I also recall that Siraj said his plan was proceeding very quickly, and that the hive would soon be complete. Oh no! Then we gotta hurry! We have to stop him before it's complete! I tried my best, but that's all I can remember. I still can't recall where the cave is. I'm really sorry. Take your time. You'll eventually remember it all. However, something doesn't seem right. Some details don't add up. What's off? You were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. I'm not sure what Siraj's numbering system is based on. Anyway, we're done here. Let's go. Please, wait. I heard you all talking about Siraj just now. Are you looking for him? Huh? Do you know something? Well, Siraj is pretty popular as of late. I heard he's gained recognition from a lot of well-known researchers. Supposedly, he's a strong contender for being one of the next stages. There are many who would give up everything to be a part of his research team. I'm nothing special, though, so I doubt I'd get the opportunity. That said, I do know a researcher who received an invitation from Siraj but declined it. Her name is Janaki. If you're interested, you can try to find her. She's usually reading at the pavilion in the garden. A look for Janaki. What if I don't want to? It's region for next gen. Quite large as well. Sewer Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, like, I'm never really good at navigating this area, so I just kind of like, Stop making me go around places. I don't know this city very well. I don't know the layout, man. How do I do things with the layout of everything? Crumble. Okay, perfect. Are you Janaki? Never mind, not perfect. I'd like to ask you a couple of things about Siraj. Ilyas? Do you know me? I'm sorry, but I don't recognize you. Ooh. Are you playing dumb with me? No, I'm not. I actually have amnesia, so I've lost a lot of my memories. And? Are you trying to say that I should forgive you just because you've forgotten what you've done? Or are you using the acting Grand Sage as backup to settle things with me? The two biggest loners teaming up. <laughs> what a terrible thought. That's enough. There seems to be a dispute between the two of you, but I have no interest in that. I heard that Siraj once invited you to join his project. Is that true? So, what if it is? Siraj did extend an invitation to me, and I was also interested in his project. I think it was about collective consciousness or something. Anyway, he said that I could be number 45. I refused, because I thought that rank was too low. No one wants to be placed at the bottom. <laughs> Certainly not me. Elias is number 36, and Janaki was supposed to be number 45. Ugh. Just how many people did Siraj have his eyes on? Tell me, did Siraj tell you how he assigned numbers? Yeah. Remember how the sages took advantage of the Akasha and extracted Yana energy from our heads back then? They left a document that records the amount of Yana energy that the Akasha had extracted from each person. I don't know how Siraj Vegas. got his hands on that document, but he used it as the basis for his numbering system. Hmm, I see. He believes that this data can be used to evaluate a person's computing power. Is it true, though? Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. At most, Nyana energy can only be seen as representing a portion of a person's abilities. Humans are complicated beings, so it is impossible to evaluate them using a single criterion. See? 
I knew I couldn't have only been ranked as 45. What else do you know about Siraj? That's it. He came to me, I refused, and that was the end of it. Is there anything else you needed? If not, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this eyesore. Please wait, I, I... I still want to know what I did in the past. You really forgot? I swear, I don't remember anything. Paimon can vouch for him. Amatra also said that he truly lost his memories. I see. You know what? It's better this way. I get angry just thinking about it. So I really don't have the patience to fill you in. All you need to know is that you got a lot of people in trouble back then, including me. That's all I have to say. Goodbye. And she's gone. She doesn't seem to like you very much. Do you really not remember anything? Silly Redley, really getting a Hawaii. But after she said that, I've had this heavy feeling in my chest. I guess I did something really horrible. Do you want to remember? Huh? Even though you're a witness against Siraj in this case, you've also lost your memory. No one can force you to remember if you don't want to. Even if you manage to remember, all you would need to do is feign ignorance and tell us that you tried the best you could, but to no avail. I'm not sure what to do. Like I said before, for some reason I felt a sense of freedom when I realized I had lost my memories. But I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to go free so easily. I still want to remember everything. What should I do? I can look up your file. Something that caused trouble for a lot of people in the past must be on file somewhere. Would you like me to look into it? Yes, please. All right, then what let's return that? to the house of Dana. We've spent enough time here, and you should go and get your paycheck. What was doing? Did anyone hear that? What was that? <laughs> Redley, was that you? Making crunching noises. No. No scrunching noises. Oh, maybe. I mean, I checked and I see you're muted, but I'm like, I doubt it's Phil. He hasn't made a sound in like four hours. Not even a sound. No, I, I don't even know. Oh, why? I don't know. Yeah. Granola. Dang, the granola craving, though. I think I gotta go higher for this one. Gotta go even higher and higher. You better watch out, cause you go even higher. Then here you go, and then that's what's gonna happen today, indeed. Oh, I didn't get the crumble. Let's split up for now. Ilyas, you go and deal with that. The rest of you, come to the archives with me. We'll X and Y, definitely. And over to Gandarvaville. X and Y. Okay. Thank you all so much. Relax, Ilyas. Being nervous accomplishes nothing. That's true. <sighs> I'm ready. No matter what I've done, I'm ready to face it. I'll also try my best to remember anything else related to Siraj. We'll put an end to all of this. I'm holding you to that. See you later. <laughs> Gotta talk to all hate them. Ride the elevator to the house of... The house of house. Going up, slowly but surely, up into the air we go. Gather! We're trying to nuke the world for like the third time in a row to heat. Look at this little jellyfish. X and Y Team Flare. Yeah, Team Flare was stupid. They were terrible. They were unimpressive as heck. I mean, you went from freaking Team Plasma that tried to freaking literally. 
destroy the entire world, and it's like Team Flare's just like, uh, yeah, whatever. We're just bad guys. Quick. And then it just got even worse after that, so it's like, okay, well. Right. Oh no, I have to put it on the, on the chair. What, what if he sits in the chair? Okay. Okay. Oh. The important files oh. For the last few years should all be here. Oh, I should have put that more on top. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Let's investigate a team if I want to destroy the world. Well, they weren't very threatening about how they want to destroy the world. Hmm. Oh gosh. What's wrong? Nothing. Anyway, I found Ilyas's file. Sounds very excited. Let's meet downstairs. Let's go a little, huh? Yeah. What have I done? This file indicates that you were once commended by the Academia for your courage and sense of justice. You were considered a hero. Huh? Team Skull is definitely not evil. Yes. Definitely not. Your instructor was engaging in academic fraud, and you were the one who reported him. What was Sword and your Shield like was found to be true after a series of investigations, <coughs> and your instructor was brought to justice by the Matra. This incident Team Star is also a joke. And the Academia sent you a commendation. <laughs> what is it? Are any memories coming back to you? No, it's just... Uh, my head feels like it's being ripped apart again. It hurts. Did I seriously do that? Then why? Let's put this matter aside for now. It isn't directly related to Siraj, so there's no need to push yourself over it. <sighs> I'm sorry. That should have been something good to hear, but my body is instinctively rejecting it. I feel like I'll black out if I try to remember. Take it slow. Recovering memories is no easy task, especially when it involves memories that you don't want to remember. Just do what you think is right. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're so calm and composed all the time, but it does make me feel more confident about the situation I'm in. Let's head to Gundarvaville and deliver Ilyas's paycheck to his sister. Come on! No, it's just a cover up for cover from Macrocosmos. Literally just the average friend group. Or is it? Am I going? Am I still here? Oh, okay. No, I, I'm I'm leaving the area. Alright. I do need to heal Zhongli, so I guess I'll go to the freaking statue then. <coughs> That'll be fine. That was at least funny sometimes. True. I suppose, I suppose. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Stabilize. Okay, I, I could not see because my computer just kind of like had this weird flicker moment. The stream is still okay. That's good at least. Got some dry cereal to eat for breakfast. Back, be back in a quick flash, guys. Alright, Wiz, take your time, man. Quake. We should be close. Let me think. It should be this way. Walk in the pillar. Walk in the pillar. Dang it. Ilyas, what are you doing back here? Partially blocked. Dad, uh, it's nothing. I was just wondering how everyone was doing. You sure everything's okay? Did they bully you again? It's all right. You can tell us. 
Jeez. What's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. Just a minor headache. I haven't been getting much rest lately. Back then, I told you not to be a hero. Look how things turned out. Oh, watch this other killing I can't imagine how things are going for you at the Academia. We've even been receiving threat letters. You don't have to force yourself to stay at the Academia. You can always come back home. I'm all right. I just need a little rest. Ilias doesn't seem like he wants them to know that he has amnesia. He doesn't want his family to worry. Hey, hey! That's enough, you two! Ilias isn't feeling well. You can keep nagging him once we get home. Ilias, let's find somewhere to talk. Ilias' sister so, brings you to that. How's your headache? It's much better now. Oh, here. It's this month's paycheck. How's everything at home? Same old, same old. It's just that everyone's worried about you. Don't mind their nagging. Deep down, they know that you did the right thing. It's just that after hearing a lot of bad rumors about you and seeing all the threatening letters, well, they're mom and dad. Maybe they just want you to conform. Good morning, more. Twisted. How are conform. you? Yeah. You don't remember? After the incident, you... Ilias? What's wrong? Ah, I see. I remember now. Uh, don't worry, I remember now. You're acting a little weird today, you know? Anyway, I understand your decision. But Mom, Dad, and I just want you to be happy. I don't care if you're a hero or not. I just want you to enjoy life and relax more. Your understanding is a great comfort to him. Is it? That's good. Are you a friend of his? More so these two. My name is Al Haytham, and this is the Traveler in Paimon. Oh, that rings a bell. At any rate, I feel more at ease knowing that my brother has friends. Now you're fast. Would you like Whoa. to join us for dinner? I just happened to buy some extra food. Sorry, but I still have things I need to take care of. Well, that's a shame. Okay, I'll get going then. Take care of yourself, Ilias. Don't worry. I won't do anything to make you guys worry again. You remember now? Yes, I do. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Is that your way of conveying gratitude? Oh, my apologies. But I meant every word. Remember when I asked at the tavern if we had ever met? I said that there was a sense of familiarity, but what I really meant was a sense of loathing. Loathing? Yeah, but having spent some time with you, I realized that you're not someone I dislike to that extent. Read fast. Strange, isn't As it? Fat. Why Good job, Redley. I have those thoughts at that time? My strength is that I don't care about what others think. If you could also develop this quality, then you won't be as bothered by complicated social relationships. It'd be great if I could think like you. <laughs> uh, but first things first. I remember where Siraj's cave is now. I'll take you there. Really? That's great! Uh, Bruno remembers that you said there are two things that you had to do. We've only checked off one, right? What about the other one? Are we not gonna do that first? There are more important Wait, when did Ash hand. evolve Pidgeotto into Pidgeot? Stop Siraj before he completes his collective consciousness, or it'll be too late. You're right. Let's head out. Dun 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 dun. Head to. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Not over there, at least. That's good to see. Ash had a Pidgeotto as one of his, like, staple Pokemon in the early anime. <clears throat> like, you watch Pokemon, it's like, oh, he had a Pidgeotto for, like, a while. I don't know if it was ever a Pidgey. Caught as a Pidgeotto. Well, there's your answer to that question, anyway. Do, 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 do. 
the right of Shogun coming to destroy your face now. Man, very nice, very nice. We gotta go over here now to go see what's over here. Can I activate this? Not against your answer playing. Why? Original anime on Netflix. Do you remember Ash trying to catch a Pidgey but failed? That's kind of funny. Don't need unusual Hilly, right? No, I haven't needed that for forever. That's being done. Got it. You got to get when you showed up. Nice. It is very sad that Ash is dying. They shouldn't commit murder on characters for no reason. Go. Bro, really? Oh my gosh. It's so bad. It's so bad. There we go. Boom. Wow, what did Ash ever do to you, Twisted? Dang. Try it again. There we go. Redly, I'm literally gonna go back to the uh, the quest after this. Fine. There we go. After this, I gotta kick you again because I need to go do the the thingy. Where is this one at? Am I just blind? third one right oh hello there it is bruh every time I shoot it I don't I don't have any energy left there we go I'm gonna start the challenge now because he hit it with a rock then it came back in the beginning of arc one down, six to go, nothing's going. So when Ash, Saving Team Rocket, Jesse, and James will be gone too. And that's that's really sad. That's really sad because they were they were great. They were the best. Alright, let's go, man. Very nice. Wow. Into the wind. That is so unfortunate. Oh, the second one? Oh my god. Wait, I don't have enough time! Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough time for this. This is sad. Wait, Redley, where'd you go? Why? I thought you were. Aww. Here, I thought you were helping, trying to help me with a the puzzle there. Alright, well, I'm just getting shot, so that's, that's pretty cool, too. Challenge failed. Alright, I need a real team back. Alright, bye-bye, Redly. <coughs> team Rocket was after Pikachu. Pikachu is still around. Team Rocket will still be around. Okay, and who is Pikachu hanging out with again? Ash Ketchum. Yeah, 
work out like that. Okay. One with nature. Clouds high. The birds come. Dang. Oh come on, this other one needs to get over here. What the frick? That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Take some of this. Not the Pikachu. Brings a smile to my face. Nice. <coughs> okay, you do understand Team Rocket would end up being like way, 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 way older, right? Because Ash is gonna go from ten to who knows how old at that point. You have to presume at least 30 at that point if the kid's going to be 10. So... Yeah. There's a lot of you and yeah, fans, definitely. If it's Ash's kid, then Team Rocket are going to be dusty old pile of bones. Exactly! Exactly. Gets it, man. He gets it. You're the only Yoimiya fan? Man, imagine being the only Yoimiya fan. Uh, oh, excuse me. I like Yoimiya too. Yoimiya's cool. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do. Yeah. This is the place. But Yoimiya's so cool. Thin. There's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. Secret cavern. <coughs> I need Dendro and Electro. All right, I'll keep my team then. <coughs> it should be fine. I don't want to use all Hatham. Ew. Sucks. Ooh, resurrection unlocked. Weird. Okay, that's in real time, but in anime time, it's amazing. probably like a couple years. Are you sure it's still a work in progress? Ilias, do you remember this place? Uh, huh? Uh, Ilias? Where'd he go? Hmm. I don't sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around and look for him? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, all right. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. <coughs> and in the heart of the research base. Maybe I don't want to. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, That'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. But he's obviously taking advantage of you! He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research Ooh. data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not That's say That's like anything. all they do is cameos, though. I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> it's okay. He's at least paying me. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. He's treating people like cattle. 
Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. What's the matter? I think I saw a glimpse of Ilya's past. Huh? You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? <laughs> of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was connecting to the collective consciousness. Connecting collective consciousness? I'm confused what we're talking it's clear about. That this now. place isn't a work in progress. The hive has long been finished. The collective consciousness project is already complete, and Ilios is now returning to the collective. So he tricked us. Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. And in the heart of the research base. Quicker. Let's see. Gonna operate this without keys. Imagine not having keys. Where is the wall? There it is. Thank you for the free primo gems. Where did I where did I miss a key? Makes sense. Man, he seems so unimpressive, honestly. One with nature. Oh, there we go. Ugh. There we go once again. We're going to go here. Do this now. Oh, yes, we're going to let me freaking attack. The Dang it. Shot fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. One with nature. Snap! Oh, hello. There you go. There you go. Mine, mine, mine. It's completely different from what Ilya said. This place looks like it's been done for a while. Mine is a funny word. Okay, let's start this thing up. Our said, mine. Contributing to the collective by only thinking to your strengths. How easy. Just keep going up. That's all you gotta do, just keep going up. Going up, going up, going up some more. Oh, oh. I hate them. Just thinking of that name fills me with hatred. We must yes. get rid of him. Gosh. Oh gosh. We are just on a floating platform. It is pretty cool. Indeed, it is a very floating platform indeed. Fine. Fine. Ah, yes. Oof. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you brought down? You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer, but he chose now, of all times, to... In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the mantra of putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, <coughs> needed this project to complete their studies? 
Hi, Sylveon. Our futures are oh. up in the air. Ow. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Hey, you're blinking out again. What did you see this time? Ilyas. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Yeah, exactly. Save your words. Don't waste your words. Okay, nothing in here. That's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, let's go. Alright, just probably go down there first. Dang, Minecraft. That's crazy, man. That's some... Crazy hot saucer. Okie dokie, then we're gonna fly up here right now because we can. Because we should. Definitely should do that indeed. And if we don't do that, it's gonna be bad. Oh, yes, indeed. <coughs> Good job. <laughs> Whoa. Mine. Well, I tried. Can't Time say I didn't try. Hmm. Mine, mine, mine. Ah, Elias, this is all very strange. Is there really no research group that will take you? Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for heroes, now can we? Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too unconventional will not stand you in good stead in the long run. I understand. <sighs> You seem troubled. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Siraj. Siraj? I've heard of you before. Do you need something from me? Mm, the world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of trouble. After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you are ostracized. And shunned. Even your family can't understand your actions. However, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a collective. That way, your life won't be so dolorous. How about it? Wanna have a go? What did you see? Can she be only his? I I mean, I thought you wanted her too, but I mean, sure. Uh, why, why not? Why not? Let, let, yeah, let's put an end to this. It's, it's okay. Um, the Raj persuaded Elias to join the hive. Elias wasn't forced. Paimon can't believe it. He really did trick us. That giga jerk. No, Siraj is the real giga jerk here. Elias is just a regular jerk. Ooh, I'm so mad! We're gonna find him, and we're gonna make him explain himself! Hmm, Door of Resurrection. Oh, snap, Sylvia. Oh, snap. <laughs> you good. You've come. I intentionally I what? <laughs> slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last time as Ilias. And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. 
bring you all here. To throw off the Matra and bring Alhatham to the Hive. That was my task as Siraj number 36. You, you were already Siraj number 36? But you passed the Matra's lie detector test! Yes, I truly did forget many things during that time. Even my identity and assigned responsibilities. However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. I chose to delete those memories. It's difficult to fool I'll hate them, so I had to create the perfect guise for myself. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Correct. I only told you that the hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of its completion. It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now, I choose to return to that identity. Only here can I be truly free. That's all I wanted to say. After I enter this room, my consciousness will merge back into the collective. And so, Ooh. this is goodbye. You can think of how poorly it sounded. This is your grip. decision. is painful sometimes, but Paimon doesn't think that's a reason to run away. Do you need more time to consider, Ilyas? Hey, more! You don't that know that, Nitro, do you? Siraj. So you're that giga-jerk! Giga-jerk? Huh, how bold of you. Have I done something to offend you? I modified Akasha Terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Then, I recruited researchers from the Academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone and divided the experiment's tasks amongst themselves. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. This is what they have chosen. All I've done is fulfill their wishes. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here and the outside? There are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle and listless. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering setbacks. Isn't that right, Elias? <clears throat> There's no need to deny this. As it is fact, it is natural for social creatures to congregate together. And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm, replace the bees with humans, and this model becomes even more potent. Welcome to the hive, I'll hate them. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before the Grand Sage. A few simple words from you, and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. You don't care about the pain of others. But I didn't give up. I made my thesis into reality. When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the Academia. They're executing another phase of the plan. Plan to install me as a sage. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strengths as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategies in response to unexpected situations. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. With you out of the way, I'll use my growing influence to turn the collective consciousness into a legitimate study. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... The hive will be in control. 
and it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! Why not? We can't can let him do this. What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Yes. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about you. And you aren't an outcast! Aren't we your friends? That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the Academia? When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. Return, number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make life any easier. Ilias? Why? You two are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize that most people simply want easy lives. I allowed number 36 to leave the hive without his memories only because I knew he would eventually return. This proves that I know more about human nature than you do. I'll hate them. Do say a word or two. I will consider them as your last. I made those words quite clear a year ago. The model you presented was extremely unstable. No amount of garish packaging will change its fragile nature. Huh. <sighs> it can't be helped. If you were clever enough to realize those problems, then you would have been aware that the Hive changed when Ilios returned to this collective consciousness of yours. What? What's happening? Stuff. The Collective needs motivation to execute its plans, just as machinery requires energy to operate. That's why you, as the Overmind, synchronized your hatred of me into the Collective, prompting them to create and execute a plan to eliminate me. However, when Ilias returned to the Collective, his memories and emotions were shared with the rest of its members. This includes his perception of me. Thanks, Rush. You know, you seem like such a bad person. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? This contradicts the hatred you had provided them, and these two differing emotions will give rise to new conflict. So that's it! Wait, so you knew that Ilias would return to the Hive? And then you pretended to keep him around just to fool Siraj! Wouldn't expect any less from you, all Haytham. Once the collective consciousness bugs out, we'll take that opportunity to... Uh, wait, it's back to normal already. All Haytham, I told you, you're too arrogant. Did you really think that oh, your little scheme had to would be to enough other to the last the line hive? Yes. Ilias's return had indeed introduced abnormal emotions into the hive, but such a meager drop a cannot give rise to waves. Your struggle has been in vain, and it's time to end it. Allow me to show you what makes the collective consciousness so formidable. So many monsters. Where did they come from? And something feels off about them. I also integrated monsters into the collective, though I ranked them last. Even so, they are part of it. Despite their lack of intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved. Much like soldiers who have undergone strict training. Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay for your ceaseless arrogance. Hey, I'll hate them. Uh, your plan didn't work, so what do we do now? I've already sent my gift to the Collective. It'll take some time for the recipient to receive it. You two just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front of us. Well, all right. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but we'll hold them off for as long as we can. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's light it up. Let's light it up, man. Let's freaking light it up. Flicker. Oh, yeah. Oh, so that's... 
see. Interesting. The wind knows me. All right. Oh, you did not just jump over that, you jerk. I'll hate them. Isn't that bad of a person? But it has to be done. He must be eliminated so that we can evolve. Imagine eliminating someone for evolution's sake. Okay, can you, like, get back towards the center so I can, like, push you? I'm going! There we go. That's more like it. Oh, that's it. You see? No, it's not it. That is the will of the collective. Even with the hatred gone, they continue their work. An external anomaly cannot shake the collective's stability. Oh, adventure time. Oh, I'm sorry, Nitro. I don't know anything about the situation, obviously, but fingers crossed for you. Hopefully, it... I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but hopefully, it's uh, okay. Into the wind. All right. There we go. Let's get some of this. Something's gone wrong with the The marks right. Good job, all Haytham. <coughs> I summon thee. Oh, I summon thee. What's going on? What's with this sudden influx of information? Silence. Has the Overmind? I command you. Um, Sylveon, that is absolutely not what that's about at all. Everybody, stand. The wind one with it's wind really and not. How is that possible? Why hasn't it been resolved yet? Oh, was was. Dang, man. The will of the collective cannot be wrong. The overmind must have made a nice, nice, nice. Let's get some of this. But Siraj is the most intelligent among us. He is number one. Take some of that. Is that true? It kind of sucks, actually. Too much money for voice actors. Oh no. What have you done? What's? What? Calm down. Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? Designated as number 36. What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. What you said to Elias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! You're trying to destroy my Hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable. And your hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. Is it worth living here like a machine? Being a tool for the rest of my life? As soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. It's not over yet. I am the Overmind. There has to be a way. It's too late. You're great. Once the right? desires for the hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king.
It's over. What happened just now? Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an intractable diffusion effect upon encountering negative emotions. Selfish desires. The disturbance that Ilios caused wasn't for naught. It made the collective question the overmind. Why not Set both, Sylveon? Why not further both? Amplified doubt, which diminishes the overmind's influence. This inevitably causes the collective to generate negative emotions. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, avarice. These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as humans generally do not share completely transparent channels of communication. But in the hive, where there are no secrets, negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, what I said to Ilios was the trigger for all of this. A few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. Even back then, you knew that Ilyas was the bait all along? But how did you know? Since when? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I Dang. never looked down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution. But you are intelligent and disciplined. My hands are cold, Ridley. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mistake without a resolution. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those Whiz words. Whiz back come on from the account you. hype. But if you're saying that out of sympathy, spare me. <laughs> I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance that comes with being a genius. Nobody likes being treated like that. Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you. Someone who doesn't fit in. However, I've never placed myself on a pedestal. I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at everything objectively. On the other hand, you, Did you microwave your arm yet, Redley? You truly are. You care too much about winning and how others perceive you. You mean no. to say that That's fast. I'm the arrogant one here? Is that not so? Arrogant and emotionally fragile. You view people as a simple mediocre collective. <sighs> while you regard me as one of your kind. Regardless, I have lost. You can take me back to the academia and stand trial. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. No play as you and Mia with your other arm. Member. I believe it is the General Mahamatra's duty to escort you away. Sino? What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. Good, you didn't need me, huh? Symbols? I left a similar picture in my letter to him. And I made several similar symbols on the way here. Wait, what do you mean you left the letter? Oh, Paimon remembers! When Paimon first saw you, Arab said that you had left a letter for Sino. So you really did know that something was up with Ilyas from the start! Uh, <gasps> you lied to us too! It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you practice the method discussed therein, your vision may improve. Do you need it? Seriously? This guy. By the way, Sino, 
I'm a herd that Siraj sent more people to the Academia. We can't let those jerks get away! Don't worry. The Matra have started screening suspicious persons. And we've already arrested many of Siraj's associates. This was likely one factor that caused the Hive's consciousness to waver. Everything went as you predicted, All Haytham. Good. <laughs> Seems like the interesting part is already over. I'll leave the arrests to you all. See you. And off he goes. <sighs> there still are a lot of test subjects here, so let's stick around for a while. I don't think so, Redly, but I don't know. Oh, what a shame, you know about powdered milk? Uh, kind of. Never sounds appetizing, though. It's not real milk. Oh no. My water is just that, but oh, water. No. Lay, hi. Oh, hi, Lay! Plans to get rid of the acting Grand Sage? What happened? What came over me? How could I do something like this? We were accomplices without knowing it. I'm afraid that Alhatham might pressure Ugh. the Matra into giving us heavier sentences. Whether he's the scribe or the acting Grand Sage, we can't afford to offend him. It seems our future at the Academia will be full of uncertainties. We can discuss the future later. Leaving the Collective left me with a strange sense of guilt. I didn't feel anything towards Alhatham at first, since he wasn't well known. All the opinions I heard about him were negative, though. Siraj made us hate all Haytham, and we blindly accepted that hatred and thought of him as a bad person. From how things look, we've done a lot of irrational things. I guess we're getting what we deserve. Uh, could you help us apologize to all Haytham? Sure, Parma will help you tell all Haytham, but whether he chooses to forgive you is up to him. It's okay. No matter what he chooses, apologizing will make us feel slightly better. If he chooses to remember this, we're prepared for our punishment. It's time to go. <sighs> Let's go. So, were they all doomed? We can ask all Haytham about that later. I didn't see the Genshin anime trailer, no. Looks like I can't exist as Siraj number 36. <laughs> Yet, my life as Ilyas goes on. When I was at Gundarvaville, I thought about whether I should just come forward with the truth. But I didn't have the courage then. So in the end, I lost my sense of justice. But I also wasn't able to conform. Ilias? Don't be sad. I'm the one who deceived you. Lay, what However, do you mean? I didn't come out of this completely empty handed. The moment the hive collapsed, an idea popped into my head. I realized that the collective I was always trying to fit into wasn't as powerful as I had imagined. Understanding that gave me courage Ooh. somehow. Perhaps one day, I could be just like all Haytham, and not care about what anyone else thinks. You can do it. Paimon believes in you. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I should get going. I'm one of the primary suspects in the case, so I'll have to receive my due punishment. Can you keep this a secret from my parents and my sister? I just don't want them to worry. Also, please apologize to all Haytham for me. Goodbye, you two. All the test subjects have been taken away. I'll have my subordinates seal the place, retrieve all documentation, and destroy the system. Are you two hurt? I brought bandages and hemostatics. Hyman's fine. <sighs> Just a little tired. Get some rest. Oh, Haytham is probably waiting for you at the entrance. Go see him when you're done here. Watch out for any of Siraj's associates who might still be in hiding. If you encounter anything you can't take care of, come find me at the Academia. Okay, you stay safe too, Sino. Let's go meet up with all 
hate them. Challenge completed. I'm gonna go to right to bed, Redley. It's so freaking late, man. I need I need, need to go by dad 11 a.m. It's like it's gonna be a rush to bed as soon as possible. In most potent damage. Are you okay? What happened? I'm the matter is settled. We can return now. I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Ugh, that's what I say every time I do a story faces, quest. It took it much seems longer. Like you two still have some questions. I'm quite curious. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now, so I'm not going to field any questions. Hey, when are you coming? Um, you couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? What? Are you kidding me? You're not leaving today until you explain what happened back at Siraj's secret base. See ya. Bye, I'll hate them. Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me of some other people. Stop changing the subject. <sighs> it's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with me. You'll know when we get there. Oh, I'll hate them. I don't want to. Okay, over here. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. There we go. Okay, back to Zhongli. <laughs> gotta run faster. Oh, it's a building! Okay, so I was never gonna have anything happen there. Whoops. Is this your home? Yes. Yes. He lives here. What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite and inviting us over? Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. It's Toma and the Second. Huh? Who are they? Stop making a fuss. They're obviously guests. You're not from the academia, are you? No, we're not. I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the person from that time in that one place! Yeah! Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh no, oh no, do people know that I live here? What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Oh, you guys are roommates! Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please, don't tell anyone else. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Uh, hey! Hey! You're leaving just like that? What's the deal, I'll hate them? Uh... <laughs> dot dot dot. Uh... Well, that'd be an interesting Sorry, concept I know for we've sure. Only just met, but I have to ask, are you, um, you wouldn't happen to be actors that I'll hate them hire to pretend to be his friends, would you? Well, supposedly that concept's been used in ROM hacks already. Uh, what? Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. But aren't you his friend? Uh, I wouldn't say friends, exactly. Okay, well, we used to be. 
but we're not anymore. Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kabe. I'm sorry to have met you under these circumstances. Anyway, please don't say anything about me living here. You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some more will make Paimon shut up. Are you serious? How could you... Ugh, of course. You're all Haytham's friends. What? That was a normal response. You expose your own weakness. Still, why do you have to treat me like he does? Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. Skim through. I'm oh. I'm dizzy from reading. This is way too complicated. Why don't we just ask questions instead? Vima wants to know. Uh. Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness is weakness? A year ago, Siraj presented his thesis to the <sighs> Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually responded with two lines of reasoning. The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human evolution, a subject prohibited by the academia. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. That's way too dangerous! You're not seriously considering that, are you? Cause, uh... Whew. I'm merely stating the facts. If Siraj had done that, I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Huh. Paimon gets it now. Ha! <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some other species in another decade, I wager. What about you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? At least I'd be a fungus with empathy. Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? Uh... Did you say? I don't know, well, hey, maybe we just happened to be there. Huh. So that's how things went. Ah, <sighs> such is life. If only he'd known, Alhatham could have stayed indoors today, and the whole thing could have been avoided, right? Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not gonna read them, tidy them away! They don't belong there! Uh... Uh... <sighs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? I hope you're aware of your lack of conversational skills. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hm. Well, having said all that, are you okay? I'm doing quite well. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on the wall. You... You don't understand anything. Stop criticizing my taste in decoration. Oh, this is upset again. Is more problematic. <sighs> Wait, why would I what? Why would I have a comment like that? Did I miss something? I love your curiosity, Paimon. You whisper very loudly. Oh, um. <sighs> yeah, Paimon's been told that. Indeed. Do you have any more Character questions? Development. Let Paimon think. Uh. Oh, by the way, the other researchers apologized to you. They hope that you can forgive them. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really bed. care about what they think of me. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas 
also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gondarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. He apologized to you, too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come forward with the truth. Judging from his experiences, he's more courageous than the average person. There's no need to lay even more criticism on him. Criticizing the brave only shows how weak you yourself are. -E. I'm going for dinner in 10 minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. You only started investigating with the Matra at the Academia because you were interested in something, right? But after meeting Siraj, it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experiment. I had no interest in him personally, but I was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him. I now understand the reason. Something to do with the current atmosphere at the Academia, I suppose? Correct. The fall of the Sages and the shutdown of the Akasha Terminals deeply affected the Academia. The fact that Siraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting Grand Sage, I'll have to figure something out. In addition, what happened to Ilyas is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't deserve the outcome that he had received. Paimon understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work, huh? Good morning, Light Maya Jedi. I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Excuse Wait, me. Your resignation? Oh no, yes. don't resign. I've already submitted my resignation to the academia. Soon, I'll resign as the acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. The official process to select the new sages is already underway. But this process is long and what takes do you mean, far unlike too much Ito. time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. You have pretty clear direction for yourself. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. Oh, now that you say that, Paimon's kind of hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some yummies! Goodbye. See ya. Arataki eat uno numero ito. Why are you streaming so early? What the fuck? Was he in your class? Um, good morning. I'm literally about to be done soon. He isn't someone who would leave an impression, so it's mm, expected that you still. don't remember him. Uh, as I've I've always had a hard time appreciating the way that I'm going the academia to my grandparents at 11 a.m. So my dad once again responsible for great so, sleep, sleep schedule. Can't be left to you. Or perhaps I should say that I'm delighted to mm. see that you have a base amount of self-awareness. Redley says People hi. In the academia haven't gone mad. Hi, they know that Pepper. I'm much more suited to be a sage than you. And I suppose they'd let everyone know that your career as a sage will be that's a That's Paimon's entire pace. thing, Light my Jedi that is talking like that. coming from someone about to resign. In a few days, you'll be managing files again. You'll be back at rock bottom. But my salary will likely stay the same. Whoa, Wait, his salary. How come? Why do you get special treatment? At least I don't have to be an architectural designer who works himself to death just to get a smile from his client. Y you... Purper -pur from Minecraft? No, just purper -pur from purple because I took time out of I'm my like day to clean the purple. living room for you, and this is the thanks I get for it. Purper -pur from red catching yeah. up on my work. I still have designs to finish. No, it's Make purple. Sure to pay what back the, the rent fuck? You owe me. I'm going to buy some furniture with that, Mora. What? 
Are you trying to annoy Where the hell's Phil? The decorations you buy keep I don't know. He's been quiet uglier. for like the last five the hours. Having a boring wood mm. in your house. You'll have to blame that on my financial freedom. Fine. Go ahead and hide behind your financial success if you want. What's the point of this cutscene? This cutscene's not even second. part of any do story, you have apparently. Of true value to Just boast skip about? it, man. Oh. That's what I do. Why? Well, you on the other hand. Oh my god. Can you think of any just because his voice acted doesn't mean it's important. Artistry, Man, I just sure. skip all the fucking the bad lords. Better. Design. I skip the Don't go silent off random stuff. Furniture unless you take me with you. So I'll have to bring you along and then You're buy stupid. you drinks. Of course. Dang, they're gonna buy drinks. But it's crazy. This is it would so just great be lore. another form of a loan, and you'd have to pay me back eventually. Do I have to play Can't you just be too? nice and not ask for the Mora back? What, how, what's wrong with rank 10? Pretending that you're not in debt is as ridiculous it's so as far away. I barely just got home. to rank 6. We'll get out sooner or later. Okay, so you got four Speaking days left. Which, your friends won't say yeah, anything, that's a right? lot. Tell them to keep all this a secret. There's no need to hide it so carefully. No. I think the truth's already out. You're such a lightweight that a few drinks at the tavern had you spilling what all your beans. What do you mean? No. Okay, fine. What? Whatever. No, it can't be. Whatever, whatever you say. Dang, we're just looking at their face for a while there. Oh, it's cool. The name Siraj doesn't ring a bell. Was he another in your one? There's a second one when you walk in. Are you serious? He isn't so man. I hate One Piece. So it's expected that you don't remember him. Oh, this is so I've dumb. always had a hard time appreciating the way that the academia pressures people Oh by god, them why am I getting geniuses. One Piece shit on my YouTube feed? But even so, the it's academia the same one? What do you mean it's the same you? one? Or perhaps I should say that I'm delighted to see that you- And I suppose they'd let it- Again, that's mighty rich. But my sound hey, will likely- Wait, what? what? At least I don't have to be an architectural designer who works himself Wait, actually, to death. Wait, I actually forgot what I was gonna say, never yeah, I saw the salary comments, so yeah, it is the same. Make sure to pay back the rent you owe me. <coughs> I'm going to my salary will stay the same. <laughs> You'll have to blame that on my I financial you freedom. Just, oh, you're just rubbing Fine. it in. I think I'd have too many choices, to be honest. You, on the other hand, can you think of any huh? reason for hey, artistry? There we go. So I'll have to bring you. Of course. But why would I do that? What are you just talking about? Pretending that you're not speaking they of which, your hey. friends won't say. There's no need to. What? No, with salary. Yeah, all Ethan was talking about a salary, and then Kava was all like, "What? Why Who? do you get special treatment?" And I'm like, "Okay." Who? Kava. Oh, I love Kava. Yeah. He's hot. <laughs> what? What about all Haytham though? Oh, him too. Are you gonna get Daddy all Haytham? Yep. I'm going to spend money. You got nine days and eight hours left. Yeah, I'm gonna spend money. <coughs> I know. I gave him I a know. pillar at his throne earlier. It was funny. And it looked like he just... Yeah. <laughs> you like big salary? I like big men. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> celery's so early cool too. Yeah. I said salary, not salary. No, what the hell? no, no, no. Redley was talking about celery. Uh, you mean purple? Yeah, Redley. You mean purple? Yeah, Redley. You mean purple? Yeah, Redley. Oh my god. Coral. <laughs> what do you mean, how do I have a lot of promos? I'm too tired, man. I'm too tired, too. I'm gonna end the stream and go to bed for two and a half hours, and then, um, I, I'll go take a shower and I'll wake up if I wake up in time, and then, and then my dad will pick me up and we'll go to my, my grandparents' place, and then and that'll be my day. What, what, what scent is your shampoo and conditioner and body wash? Don't have a scent. I don't know. What do you mean you don't have a scent? They all have a scent. This shampoo. What's the scent of the shampoo? There is no scent, it's just shampoo. There is a scent! Go look. Shampoo and conditioner. No, just go look. 
Oh, I one is salicylic acid, one is coal tar. <laughs> what? And the other one is just normal shampoo. That's just shampoo. What do you mean it's normal shampoo? Okay, one, it's a brand. Two, it has a smell. I don't know. Mm. Both are very important, Light my Chatter. They're very important. Both are important. Yeah. Quake. Um. I'm gonna quake yeah. this tree. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sleep. So um yeah. Wow, he won't answer my shampoo conditioner in body wash question. Okay. Uh, Redley is in the voice chat actually. Lay, he's been in the voice <laughs> chat for the entire stream. <laughs> gonna piss me off with you calling him redly well blame him he won't let me he stopped he stopped letting me call him purple so i and i told him oh. i'd start calling him redly on january 1st and i've been doing it ever since purple right if if, if i can call him purple again i will but until then he's uh, he's redly now because he told me to damn he really does not like you. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to sleep. Why would you do that? Shampoo. Yeah, it's, that's the flavor of my shampoo. It says poo flavor. That is not... Ew. <laughs> what? Exactly. That's why they call it shampoo, because it's poo flavored. Oh my god, man. You are so stupid. I know. <laughs> Anyway, Wait, I'll tell you what my okay one. I have coconut for my conditioner. Body wash is raspberry, and I believe pomegranate. And shampoo is uh, I think rose and chai. I had an avocado oil um, shampoo one time, and it. Gave me really bad dandruff. <laughs> that is... Oh my. Considering I already have a problem with that thanks to stupid psoriasis, like, the fact that it made it even worse was just like, yep, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> and thus, I, I decided not to deviate again. Deviate. Damn. Purple. Anything. Sand noises? Really? What? Huh? Purple made fan noises. Oh, I didn't hear fan noises. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's my best friend. Showed up. Finally, a long last. Phil's not here, though. Huh? Caleb's not here, though. He's Whoa. gone. He's talking about you, dumbass. My best friend, Morado. My best friend, Morado. No, Lay, that's not Phoenix. That's Danny. <laughs> I do not sound like German boy. <laughs> I do not sound like German you don't. boy. You really don't. You do, to be honest. No, oh, she <laughs> doesn't. What the flip? Are you... Your ears work. Do you hear the accent? There's no accent. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, she's coming. Where? Dumbass. Dumbass. Stupid ass. So mean. Yeah. Yes, I am. Hey, at oh, least dude. I'm not racist to you 24-7. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. You are, though. You literally called me a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. When? You did. When? All right, time to find that time hey, you called me hey, like seven at least times. At, hey, at least I didn't call you a black refrigerator. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Monkey, um, monkey. So monkey, anyway, monkey, anyway, guys, monkey. we're gonna go ahead and word, leave for the word, day. I just want to say, monkey, monkey. Lay Nitro <laughs> TJ. Light-minded Jedi, um, Wiz, 
th th thank you for being here today. Uh, Cloud, also thank you for being here, of course. Uh, Redley and Danny, thanks for joining in the oh, voice chat. Purple, please fix this. Purple, please <coughs> fix this. I can't stand him calling you Redley. And um, everyone, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah, thank you to um, Rise of Zen for re-upping that tier one membership. And thank you to the tier four members, Phoenix, Edwards, Acheron X2, Lauren, and Reaper Dev. And now I will leave and we will play Genshin another time. We have a whopping grand total of uh, 19,063 Primo Gems and 20 Fates ready for Eula whenever she comes back. And, why um, do you? <coughs> why? Because Eula is great. OP character. Actually, <coughs> there's other OP characters. <laughs> Yeah, there's not many characters you can hit 5 million damage with, though. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, I cannot hit 5 million. Anyway, guys, see you later. Vamp was here at the beginning. We're not counting people who were here at the beginning. We're just talking about people who are here now. <laughs> and, I, and I say, and I always say everyone was here earlier. Anyone was watching the archive. Anyone person was looking for didn't call your name. Crap, hold on. Like that. What? Shut up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I yeah. I don't know what Shut we just up. said, but anyway, bye guys. See you next time for the next I exciting episode of Genshin time. Impact. Whoa. My arm hurts. Mine does too. Get a new one. That's okay. All right. Shut the fuck up, purple. Bye everyone. Oh. Bye. Yeah. No, thanks. Yeah. No. <laughs> See you <laughs> later, alligator.